Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of uh, nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. My name is Matthew Mercer. I'm the Dungeon Master for the show, and we're excited to have you. Uh, a couple of cool things about this, those who are checking in or aren't aware of what's going on. Uh, our main party, Vox Machina, has been split uh, for two different trials, and we'll get into that story in a little bit, but because of that, we have some guests playing. This will be the second week of our two fantastic yeah. guests, Will Wheaton and Will Friedel. Oh, I love those I'm guys. so excited awesome. about them. They're so great. Awesome. They're, they're, they're pretty nice. <laughs> this is the second week of the Wills. Um, we're excited to have them. Um, also, do we have any other announcements you want, anyone else want to talk about? Uh, anything crazy coming up? Uh, speaking of the Wills, going in the giveaway tonight, I have two, just two, so for the first two giveaways that we reach, our, um, uh, no, oh just God, one. Just we have one. one. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Once it hits the floor, it's done. I got um, another one so in my bag. I'll flat. throw it in. Uh, yeah. Sure. Sure. So three, but these are tabletop nail wrap specific. Oh, like from, oh from yeah. Show. These are from our friends at Espionage Cosmetics. Yes, these are our yeah. Espionage they're Cosmetics really nail, wrap, cool. no, nail wraps. Yeah. And they're actual like tabletop like. Yeah, they're from, official licensed tabletop merchandise. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, uh, that was that we made happen. I'm very happy. Yeah, oh, that's so cool. Yes. Wear, wear the support on your fingertips. Uh, I have two announcements. Yes. Oh. yes go on Announcement the first uh, for the next um, five hours and f uh, sorry four hours and fifty six minutes Pacific time. I am the king of the internet because I won yesterday on at midnight. Congratulations! Oh! Thank you very much. Also, um, Hardwick hipped me to this movie that I want everybody to see, so I'm telling everyone I know about it and I won't shut up about it. It's called What We Do in the Shadows. It hmm. is a it's a it is a comedy that is a, a documentary about a group of vampires who live together in a house yeah. in Wellington, New Zealand. Oh wait, oh, is this the one that has uh, Jermaine Clement in it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've heard of this. It is, it, it is it is one it is one it's of the great. most amazing, hilarious Pitch perfect, well done, genre comedy and 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 uh, and horror films I have ever seen. Mm. Wow! It's it's it is it is a delight, and I want everyone to watch it because I I'm afraid it's not going to get the attention it deserves. <laughs> there we go. So this is a new movie. This isn't like something from it's years from ago. Year, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. That's great. This episode brought to you sponsored by what we do. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's we called? Um, there's awesome. a, at, tomorrow on Friday, I gather your party. Um, uh, my uh, Ida Thumbtack comedy buddy Alex Lewis and Keith uh, Habersberg, Habersberger. Um, of uh, which that's, together that's they, not they a real name. I know from <laughs> from from, from, Bur from Buzzfeed uh, together there are Lou Burger and they're going to be playing here and I'm going to be I know uh, and I'm going to be uh, doing some songs with them and uh, uh, performing with them as well and uh, check it out or check your party tomorrow or gather your party tomorrow. Fantastic. What time does that start exactly? Seven p.m. Seven p.m. Seven p.m. Uh, tomorrow. Yes, this is yes. Wonders. Uh, I would like to announce that I am nervous as shit. Why? I can't imagine why you would be. Yes. <laughs> is it because you're sitting so close to me that you're worried no, that you're just not going to roll anything well tonight? No, well, I should feel comfortable. You're going to soak it I'm all here. Up. I've got oh, it. Oh, yes. Sure. Right. Yes. Look, um, you're the regular. I'm the guest star. I can die and it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's not matter. fine. No, it's totally, it'll be dramatic and great. I plan to sacrifice my life for someone in this group who deserves it. Spoilers. Wow. <laughs> Hopefully you don't fail at that too. Just like we did. Oh, oh, snap. Not for you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I had not to for you. Moment. Don't hug me. Okay, now not for you. Yeah, it's a hug-worthy <laughs> moment. It's yeah. just a good day. Only uh, because of the dice, not because of your Too late. Yeah, no, no, yeah, he's right. You can't back out. Late. Let's move on. All right, come on, guys. Just like we did in rehearsals. <laughs> All right. so, so, our charity, A26, no. Um, yes, A26LA, our charity. Everyone should go check them out. They have amazing storefronts in cities all across the country. The one here is themed after time travel in Echo Park and also in uh, uh, Marina Del Rey. That's the other city that I'm trying to think of. But yes, a portion of all of our donations go to them, and they're amazing, so thank you so much. And thank you for everyone who has donated in the past. We yes. love you. And I think we are going to be doing a video. I know I've been saying that for a while. We have a date scheduled. But we have a date scheduled now. It is happening. We have to wait for everyone to get back in town. But it's going to happen. And we're going to have a field trip. Yeah. A fun field trip. Deliver all your wonderful donations to the DLO. Yes. 
Uh, last announcement I have to make. Um, let's see. The wonderful folks, uh, Midnight Syndicate, for those who don't know they are there, they make fantastic music and soundtrack uh, tracks. They've done an official D&D soundtrack years ago, and they've done stuff for like World of Darkness and Call of Cthulhu, and they do just great uh, atmospheric music. They finally got back to me, and they gave me permission to use their songs on this feed, so my playlist finally. expands even further. Wow, wow. congratulations. Thanks, so, uh, guys. So they're really cool guys, and uh, if you have- How long ago did you send that email? Uh, that was a while back. That was yeah. before we started the stream. and But they responded, and they've been really cool about it. And uh, if, you, if you're looking for your own soundtrack stuff to work on, they have a great array of stuff. I highly recommend checking out Midnight Syndicate. So, Are you still you. trying to get Queen, too? I'm trying, but Freddy hasn't hard. returned my emails. Yeah, no. Sure. He's hey, guys. Um, oh, this is weird. He's not going to return your email. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, it, it, he's, he's not a fan. He's more in the shadow run. Oh. Yeah, he really, would be, wouldn't he? He's really a Shadowrun guy. It's okay, Shadowrun's cool. Shadow Very Enjoy much a Shadowrun guy. I played that on, on Genesis. <laughs> we uh, kind of uh, need to build bleachers back here. We've got this thing. We, lo we lost Wheaton we lost. to... Uh, he's already down. Right, right. So now we got a shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, step in a camera if you're going to make such a big two. Come here, come here. All right, so I didn't say hi oh. and then get out. You, you already pulled Will out of the picture. Corbier died really fast tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we got Alora. You were touching me. By yeah, and by the way, yeah. unlike Torbier, I did not <laughs> trip over anything or fall yeah, down trying to go Travis? down one step. That's true. Okay, okay, That's true. he is here. Out of you. <laughs> Just so we don't mistake the actor for the character. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Distinction. Mm -hmm. It is a creative character. No buckets were harmed in the announcement here. All right, so um, I think if we're all ready, let's go. Oh, ahead. I don't have a pencil. You don't have a pencil. I have right, a pencil. Pencil, actually. Throw, a throw pencil throw, at me, dungeon I master. Mean, let me gingerly hand it to our fantastic overlord, who will deliver it. Oh, are we Thank going into the intro? Right, yeah. So let's go ahead and get ready to play ourselves some critical role. <laughs> Welcome back. So, as we left off last time, to give you a little backstory, uh, Vox Machina, put into some sort of legal trouble in the city of Vasselheim, found themselves uh, breaking a contract for a guild called the Slayer's Take that was essentially a monster hunter's guild, and all kills near the city of this magnitude required approval. So to uh, make sure they weren't uh, sent to the seat of judgment to essentially be arrested and or tried for this infraction they didn't realize they made, they were given the opportunity to actually join the guild, which they chose to do. However, as part of joining it, they had to go through a small trial in which the party was split and had to go off to their own smaller contracts. Uh, one half had journeyed through with uh, our guests, Mary Elizabeth McGlynn and uh, Felicia Day, and they went after a white dragon. They were awesome. Um, everyone survived, barely. That time. Uh, it was pretty rough. And uh, this, this venturing party met as the second contract and were given the task to seek out and destroy and harvest pieces from a Rakshasa, uh, a demonic entity that stems from the Nine Hells and uh, apparently was somewhere in the city masquerading as the assistant to the owner of the Velvet Cabaret, an establishment for uh, upper-class pleasure seekers. Um, the party, uh, after essentially uh, forcing this individual to reveal himself, the uh, Rakshasa fled through a tunnel underneath its room into a long subterranean tunnel fraught with traps that were set to protect it. Uh, the party managed to avoid these rather deftly until the steady 
decline of the uh, <laughs> of the hallway, combined with the increasing moisture and scent of refuse, caused a slick surface, and our fantastic cleric, uh, Brother Cash, uh, Kasha, slipped and fell down. Two party members, uh, <laughs> Keyleth and Tiberius, decided it'd be a fun time to go slip and sliding. Join him at the bottom of the tunnel, uh, <laughs> where Torbeer and Vax stayed up at the top, shaking their heads with uh, frustration. Upon splashing down into what appeared to be some sort of underground cistern or, or a, a, a collection of compost and refuse that had been just rotting food and all kinds of nasty stuff, uh, the party pulled themselves up, now knee to nearly waist deep in this nasty uh, substance, uh, began to hear skittering and screeching sounds throughout the room, hundreds of small ones, while two large thorny tentacles jettisoned out of this, this call it a dung heap if you want, and pulled itself to the surface with a central body filled with the teeth of one giant toothy maw. Uh, and that was where we left off. So, in the nature of that, I would like everyone to roll initiative. Even, even those of us that are very quietly walking, slowly, yes. and not with, okay. Yep. Can you, you can continue slowly on your turn if you'd like. <laughs> It's entirely up to you. Oh! Natural 20! Yeah, baby. There Just you two. Go. Nice. Good start. 17. I'll, I'll take it. That's 20 for me. Well, I guess that just leaves me then. Come on, Will. <laughs> Do it, baby. Two. <laughs> <laughs> and they're off! We pick up where we left off. <laughs> it's like we never left. It is. <laughs> I mean, it's. MIT is just going, come on. I know, seriously. <laughs> oh, it hasn't up because I forgot, guys, for subs tonight, every 100 subscribers we get uh, one person in the chat will be chosen to win a signed cast picture and a signed poster of one of our artists' kit buses, wonderful art pieces for Critical Role, signed by us as well. So And espionage cosmetic and espionage. nail wraps. And nail wraps. So we got, we got some cool giveaways. Now available at the in top. the store. Now, anyway, uh, 20 and up. 22. 22. 20. 20, 20. all right. Yeah. Uh, 10 to 15. Uh, 13. 13? 13. All right. Yeah. I don't know if you have numbers low enough to... <laughs> Keyleth, which count for mine? Six. Six, okay. All right, so, as the skittering seems to go to a fervored frenzy, you can see masses and masses of extremely uh, matted fur moving and quivering through this refuse as a series of rat swarms pour out of the edges of this giant dung pile. And we're at the center, that giant entity has revealed itself to be a terrifying visage of some kind. Uh, I'm gonna have you go ahead and roll a, uh, an arcana check. Remember that, what is that? Uh, 22. 22. Uh, immediately, as soon as this creature comes out, <laughs> this horrible kind of guttural uh, bubbling sound its throat makes as it pulls itself out of this this nasty collection of, of, of refuse. Uh, you've read of this in quite a few times before in your travels. This is known as an uh, atyug. And it, uh, a what? I'm sorry. Atyug. Oh, nasty things. These and atyugs. Usually. Riddled with disease, they're uh, controlled co uh, garbage disposals for those who can keep control of them. And it is Kasha's turn. Do we get to know how dangerous they are to us? You you currently have no idea. You've never seen one everything of these creatures is dangerous before. dangerous to us. Yes. So should we just get rid, try to get rid of everything right now, then, as it were? Mm. But you, they're not even there. They, yeah, they're not here. No, they're not with us at all yet. Right you. They're up about 15 feet up. You can see the opening of the tunnel where you guys slipped out, and you have no visual uh, sight of the rest of your party, but you guys are left in darkness, by the way. You can see, you have dim light. You have dim light, so you're fine. Uh, <laughs> whatever you do, don't go up next to it right now. Yeah, uh, can I can I uh, turn on some, uh, you know, cast some light? Turn on some light and see what we can see down there? Right, we still have his lights, bro. Oh, you're still, we're still lit up. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Um, you can see these, this creature now. <laughs> <laughs> You know, now is there any chance that any kind of uh, a spell that I cast could hurt them, even though we can't see where they are? Uh, it depends on on the spell's radius. Um, if it's relatively small, then probably not. They're not even within visual range, so you have to be really you have to try hard to hit them at this point. You go ahead. And how about the rest of us, though? How close are we to this thing and you in guys, the cylinder? 
You guys are all about uh, five. You're all about ten feet away from this pretty giant tight. creature right yeah, now. Yeah, it's a pretty tight, tight area. area. Okay. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to try to at least slow this thing down as much as I can before everybody else gets down here. I think that's the best thing to do. Let's just okay. slow it down. I'd like to cast a sacred flame. Sacred flame. Yes. Cash all right. Money. Cash money. <laughs> Cash money. All right. So go ahead and look at the spell. What's what's it uh, require from you? Uh, let's see. It's uh, one flame. action. Okay, so the target makes a dexterity saving throw. Let's see if it makes this. <coughs> uh, what is the what is this DC? Your spell DC. My spell DC. It should be at the top of your spell list. Where is that? Oh, oh, I see where you're saying. There you go. Yeah. Okay. No, it's a uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, it does not make it. As you bring out your holy symbol for a moment from beneath your armor, you look forward and thrust your spear forward. This energy travels from the middle of your torso across your arm down the spear and fires off as this burst of uh, vibrant whitish blue light that blasts into the front of this Oxyog creature. Um, go ahead and you deal a three d eight damage to it. So go ahead and roll eight set of dice three times. Nice. Eight set. Now we need the full set, right? Huh. We're going to roll here. Here's, there's an eight. All right, I got the eight here. Uh, you need to roll a eight. one, you can use one of mine. I got the eight right here. Right there. Right? Uh, wait, that's a ten. That's a ten cider. Yeah. Give me another. Uh, this one. There we go. <clears throat> I got it. So three, right? Mm hmm. There we go. Big money, no whammies. Nice. It's all right. Eight, that's, five, and four. That's really good. Eight, five, and four. 17 damage. 17. Yes. <laughs> You can see now it has the two giant tentacles with these kind of jagged spines that look covered in whatever it's been climbing in, and this one central stalk that has these eyes across it, and the eyes kind of flicker in pain and then wince and then focus in on you and looks across your companions. Uh, do you wish to move or you want to stay where you are? Uh, yeah, I would like to move. I'd like to, once I struck, I'd like to get at least a little bit farther away from it to try to distract it from the opening where these guys might be coming down. So the okay. opposite side of the opening where these guys might drop in. Okay, so you could try yeah, and move to, closer uh... this way, probably. You're now adjacent to one of the kind of the rat swarms, but you're okay. you're pulling it away from the entrance yeah. here. Are Good. they rats or are they R-O-U-S's? Uh, they are... I don't think they actually... It, it looks just like normal-sized rats. Not that you would know, because you're not in the room. But there's just clusters and clusters of these rats like uh, swarming over each other. Gross. Was it affected? Were any of them affected at all by the flame shark? By the uh, no, it's just a singular target. But if you have things that hit larger areas, they can hit multiple guys. Uh, okay. That ends uh, your turn. Uh, next up is uh, Tiberius. Um, I can move first, right? You can, yes. Uh, I'll move around to uh, next to Kasha. Next to him? Yeah. Okay, you will get free strikes from both the rat swarms currently because you will be passing through there. And out of their melee range. Right, well, you cool with that? Uh, no, I'm not. Um, okay. Uh, can I take a step back? Uh, you can. This guy, you still get an attack of opportunity on you. Really? I, I thought I got five. I, kept, I thought I could do five feet. Uh, you can use an action to disengage. Okay. Uh, I won't do anything. Uh, this is what I'm gonna do instead. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know if I've been off, and uh, I apologize for how I've been sounding. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my finger, I'm going to aim behind that three-headed bastard, and I'm going to release a fourth level fireball. Over here? Yes. Uh, did you show, show me with your laser pointer where you want the impact to be. Behind him where it won't hurt Kiwa. And we'll just hurt him, wherever that is. Okay, mm -hmm. I'd say that'll probably be right around this area here. Um, Very safe to spend. I'm going to uh, immediately spend um, two sorcery points and quicken the spell. And I'm going to turn around and do uh, three scorching rays uh, to follow up the fireball right at that dude, each head. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm going to, uh, on that spell, um, spend. Another. Uh, Wait, no, let's do the fireball first. Okay. One thing at a time. <laughs> this is the one. This is this is the whole thing. All right. So as you it's you use your ring, your focus, <laughs> the the ray streaks past, slams into the wall behind <clears throat> with a deafening roar, and you guys definitely hear this. The hallway in the distance suddenly brightens up, and you can see a bit of flame roll up, and the scent of smoke comes wafting past you as a wave of heat, it kind of blasts through the tunnel. Yeah, he does that. Uh, what's the DC on your spells? Uh, 17. 
does not make the save, so full damage on the octopus. Wonderful. So let's see. Here's a six. Here's a. And there's that rat swarm would also be hit. Five. Okay, so I'm going to now. Swarm does not make it as well. Um, so what's the damage on the fireball? I'm going to hold on. I need to. I'm going to spend one sorcery point to empower the spell, and I'm going to pick the six and reroll these four dice. Okay. Because I can pick up to that many when I empower. Cool. For do damage. Perfect. Um. What's that? Um, math, so, yeah, so, math. Here's <laughs> math has no power here. <laughs> 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 math is for everybody, guys. Really. Yeah. There's fifteen. There's what is that? Nine. Is that twenty-four? And then thirty. We're gonna pimp out a calculator for six. It's abacus. Forty-eight. Forty-eight points of damage. <laughs> Boom. Wow. Yeah. All right, well, after the, the fireball explosion settles, you can see there's a big char mark in the front of it. Some of its teeth have kind of been blown into the inside of its mouth. The rat swarm behind Keyleth is completely incinerated with a hundred squeak screeches, uh, and the, nice you can work. smell charred fur and hair and flesh in the air. Um, oh, you burnt my new robes! <clears throat> smell. And then the, and then, the, uh, so let me do the, so that's one, two, three right now. Okay, and then so, and then the uh, squishing rate happens. Okay. And, and, and I'm going to, uh, right. and I'm going to heighten that spell, uh, which gives you disadvantage against the save. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, that's what I want to do. It feels like you just did 17 things. Yeah. Well, no, you have to make you have to make a ranged spell attack for each one. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, there was no saving throw for it. Oh, no, actually, I don't do that then. So you I don't, don't spend any points. I, I don't spend those points. I was supposed to do true strike to, to make that work. Um, 20s, right? Yep, so just uh, roll for each ray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, they all hit. They all hit. I got a 14, an 18, and 19, and my spell attack bonus is plus 11. Okay. Um, <laughs> they all hit. <laughs> <laughs> Two A, two D per two D. So I saw that DM sit. move of I'll tell you if it is. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I felt that. Who's <laughs> was there? Six. Yeah. And he was. He was right. Yeah, but. but. Um, okay, so that's. Sixty-six fire damage. Uh, oof, that's gross. Uh, and I'm going to empower that spell as well. Uh, so that's four. And I'm going to pick uh, one, two, three, four out of the six because I will. Oh no! I'll do. Uh, I'll pick five. I rolled a six and uh, 12, uh, 18, 20, uh, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 20, 29. 29, already. <laughs> as each ray, <laughs> you can see just the flashing of the flaming light in the air as this darkened room is suddenly illuminated and burst as each of these rays of burning fire go blasting into the side of the octave. It's nearly pushed back into the pile that it pulled itself from, but steadies itself. Um, is that in your turn? Yes. That All is. right. <clears throat> Iberia's turn uh, has come to an end. Take I've knitted a sweater. Just storm lightning. <laughs> While Tiberius took his turn. Bit, okay, I thank you. Very thank you. All right. So, next up is the Atia, who is extremely unhappy with how that went down. <laughs> you can now see as it pulls from the front of its body one giant kind of backwards looking elephant leg that steps into the front of the material, a second one forward. It pulls itself completely out of the pile, and you can see a third one, like a giant tripod. These thick legs carry it forward. Um, it is going to do a bite attack and a tentacle attack on you, and a tentacle attack on Keyleth, as you're the nearest to it. Um, so, as it rears back with its mouth, its giant uh, maw opens with all these nasty, jagged, broken teeth, and the smell that comes out of its mouth is horrifying, even for your experience as a dragonborn. Um, that would be a uh, 18 to hit. Um, what should I call it? Um, did you roll at? Did you roll a, a disadvantage? Why would I have disadvantage? Cloak, a cloak of displacement. Oh, good call. Oh, that's even higher. 19. Oh. <laughs> but but thank you but thank you for the reminder. It's good uh, to know. Eight, uh, <laughs> AC is 18. So it hits. So it does hit. Okay. So, um... I go home and get your shine box. So as... 
So as you're hanging back and your your image is kind of <coughs> shifting and and shimmering nearby, its mouth is just too big, and as it bites down, while it would have partially hit the side, it manages to find your proper location. The teeth clomp down onto you. Uh, you take 16 points of piercing damage. Mm-hmm. As you uh, reach back in pain, you push yourself out of its mouth, and you need to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, 21, uh, 22. 22, okay. So you pull off in a way you can see where it dragged across your scales. Uh, uh, it left this nasty kind of trail of, of black, whatever we would call it, saliva. But you managed to kind of slip it off your hand and you feel like it's probably not going to bother you too much. However, as you kind of steady yourself, when the tentacles can swing down towards you, uh, that is a, oh, also with this. Uh, that would be a 21 to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. All right. You take uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage from the impact, okay. and oh, it's only uh, uh, four points of piercing damage as the spines slam into your side and seem to kind of stick onto you. You are also considered grappled and restrained for the time that the tentacle kind of wraps around you and the, the spines are kind of <laughs> digging into your body. And now it has you by your waist and it's holding you in place. <laughs> this is fun. How much damage is that total? Oh, that'd be a total of 11 damage. Really? Yep. Well, plus the other? Uh, no, damage? plus the bite, no. Did you not write down the bite damage too? That's 16, so right. 26? There we go. 27? 27, there you go. So what's half of that? Half of that? Mm-hmm. Because of the... Stone skin. My stone skin's still up. Stone skin is still up. That's yeah. correct. So that is, uh, how long does that last? An hour? An hour? Yeah, that should have lasted long enough. You're fine, yeah. So half of that would have been, we'll say. I cast that when we were chasing him. Yeah, it'd be 13 points of damage. Okay, 13 points. Uh, that was a lot of technicality in one turn. Well done, yeah. Tiberius. All right. Well done, Tiberius. Spellcasters. Yeah. No. Uh, I mean, that will be a 23 against you. Math, 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 math. math. <laughs> that turn's done. Uh, that'll be a total of 14 points of bludgeoning damage to you. And uh, five points of piercing damage, and you are also grappled by the other tentacles here, both currently being held. And then there's one creature. Fourteen and five, you said. Correct. Um, that brings us to Vax. Uh, we're how high up? Uh, About fifteen here? feet up, and you're that far back in the tunnel. That far back. All right. So it takes my whole movement just to run to the edge, probably. Yeah. Three, four, five, six. Get pretty close, right All there. Right. That's your turn, and that's it. Uh, bonus action, right? Bonus action, if you want it, yeah. But I can't see. Can I see past the lip of the edge to this uh, top of the it, Whatever you're trying to hit might have three quarter cover. <sighs> that's it. Okay. Uh, that ends your turn. Now the swarms <laughs> moving in. Um, each one of these rat swarms is just like they're start crawling up towards your body and they're starting to find their way into their armor and they're biting and it's a terrible, terrible experience. Um, all right, so the swarm attacking. Keyleth is going to be a 16 to hit. Nope. Nope. You just kind of brush them off yourself and uh, as they're starting to come up the tentacle. I just look at them and I go. <laughs> the rat whisperer uh, attacking you, Brother Cash. Uh, that looks like it's going to be a 10 to hit. Okay, so now what? Are, What's your armor class? My armor class is where? There is 20. 20. These rats come forward and you just whack, knock them out of the way with your shield and they just <laughs> Against Tiberius, uh, that is gonna be a, with disadvantage because of the. Man, they can't touch me, I'm up in the air, yo. You're grappled, but you're not floating in the air. Oh man, I thought he was like whipping me around. Not yet. Uh-huh. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, that's gonna be a 13, so it's gonna be. So the rest, no effect yet. Uh, that ends their turn. Keyleth, you're up. Um, I just Rats. kind of uh, take the tentacle that's grappled around me and I grab onto it and I cast Blight. Oh, yeah. All right. Just to make a constitution saving throw if I'm uh, what correct. Huh? What level is Blight? Blight is fourth? Third. All right, Constitution saving throw. That is a 11. What's your DC? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it, it fails. Yeah, 18. Okay, it takes 8d8 necrotic damage. Go ahead and roll uh, damage. Nice. 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 Nice
Nice work. Uh, where'd all my B8s go? You gave them to me. I did. Oh, Very it's nicely gave them to me. Here's one. Ooh, ooh there's four. So five, six, seven. I just like rolling all of them. I could roll. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. That's all right. Uh, so that's, uh, there's ten, there's twenty, there's, uh, thirty, five, uh, sorry, yes, thirty-six damage. Thirty-six damage? Yes. Nice. Ooh, nice. As you grab the tentacle, you can see the uh, the kind of slippery, slimy flesh has the residue on it. As your fingers grasp into it, its kind of brownish yellow color all of a sudden turns to this grayish, sickly dried landscape. As you can see, the flesh cracking to dust around it. And the tentacle still grasping onto you, the uh, magical energy travels up the arm to part of its side of its, what would be its torso and body, and you can see it begin to withdraw from severe pain. It manages to eventually shrug off any further spread of the uh, of the magical disease of the, of the blight, but you, it has left this horrible scarring across one side of its whole body. Awesome. Uh, you can't really move this turn because you're currently restrained. Fine. Um, yep. All right. That brings us to Tor. Tor Beer, what you got? Um, I'm going to continue down this corridor to get close to the half elf. That's that's a full round of movement there. That's all I can do. No. Leave something for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that ends that. That brings up the top. Uh, Kasha, your turn. Is, is the side that she damaged uh, useless at this point? The the one tentacle that she no, it's still functional. It's still wrapped around her. It's just there's scarring across it in a large part of its upper torso. So it's weird. It's hard to say parts of its body when it has that strange construction. <laughs> Don't attach your body norms to it, man. <laughs> Something no, large. I apologize. Are you body shaming that Otiag? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't we? <laughs> um, can I move to the side? I'd like to move as much in, directly in front of the creature as possible. Okay. I get you there. That one rat swarm does get a free attack on you as you move past it, okay. um, and that is going to be an eleven. Uh, you can see the rats swarming up your legs and trying to get past, but the armor is just too thick and the chainmail is too strong underneath the plate you have, and you just kind of brush them off you as you move aside. Uh, of course, you're right up in front of it now. Its giant mouth is <laughs> angrily gnashing and biting down in front of you, and it's sending bits of that kind of brackish spittle across your face, and it smells horrifying. What are you doing? I'd like to try to take control of it with gaze. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see if I can tell this bitch what to do. <laughs> do it. Not you. I'm like. I was hoping you were talking about me. Never okay. call you bitch. The casting time for Gaius mm -hmm. is one minute. Okay. Um, knowing that every combat round is equivalent to six seconds, so you. Could try it. It probably won't survive that long. Okay. Um, but hold on to that spell for now. Is there another one you'd like to use? I think I will. Then, if I hold on to that, yeah. I think then I'm going to try. What about? How about just another sacred flame for now? Sure. Go ahead and roll to attack, sir. Or does it, uh, no, this one, it just goes ahead and makes a saving throw, I forgot. Yeah. All right, cool. It's going to make another dexterity saving throw. That is going to be a 14. That does not beat it, so go ahead and roll 3d8 points of damage to it. Radiant damage. Bam. Furious, you're on deck. Oh, nice, not bad. Uh, 16. 16 points of damage, nice. Yes. <laughs> Once again. The, the flames burst up, and you can see uh, parts, parts of its body where the, the scarring is across it all of a sudden explode with light, and beneath it you can see these freshly exposed kind of uh, grayish brown fleshy muscle beneath its its outer uh, armored structure. Uh, it is n looking a little rough. Um, that ends your turn. That brings us to Tiberius. I'm going to. Uh, he's got me like this, right? Mm -hmm. Like, all held. 
Um, <clears throat> I'm, uh... Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm gonna <clears throat> cast a two strike on him. Catch up. Two strike on yourself? On him. On him. Um, I'm gonna look for a weakness. Okay. Um, it'll give me advantage on my next... Tackle this target, okay. Um, and I'm gonna quicken spell. All right. Uh, and spend two more sorcery points to cast. Well, I'm gonna look over. Can I see where Vax and um, him are coming? Currently, no. There is so much going on in the room, and you—the only light source is you right now. Um, you have no inclination that they're even at the top at this point, and you're currently wrapped in a tentacle and being swarmed by rats. You have no way of really telling that they've even arrived at this point. I can see behind the creature, though, because that's in the, within range. So I will uh, do Misty Step behind him and get out of that grip. Hmm. All righty. Uh, Misty Step is a second level. Oh, yes. Yep. All right. <laughs> to where you want to go. Far away behind him as it can go. There you go. And that is my turn. All righty. Uh, ending your turn. The uh, Atig turns around angrily now. It looks has his empty tendril. Uh, it's going to step away. You do get one, uh, brother Cash. As it steps away, you get one free swing with your or, or attack with your spear as it tries to move away from you. Okay. So go ahead and roll an attack with your spear. Got a twenty. Mm hmm. Fourteen. Plus your attack bonus. Attack bonus is oh, there, plus nine. Is that right? Plus nine. Oh, that definitely hits. So go ahead and roll damage for the spear. Cool. Damage for the spear. What do you roll? Which is one d eight plus three. One d eight plus three. Where's my d eight? Do it. Right there you go. Ten. Nice. Yeah. So as it moves away, you just reach out. And Hit it with the spear, leaving this big old gaping wound in the side where more of this kind of a dark blood begins to spill out from the wound. Uh, as it moves over, it's going to go ahead and uh, do one bite attack towards Keyleth. Whoosh, with its open mouth. That's going to be a 24. That hits. All right. Um, okay. Uh, that's going to be 16 points of piercing damage to you. And make a constitution saving throw. Uh, 16. 16. You can feel the diseased liquid that fills the inside of the Otak's mouth begin to pulse into your arm for a second. You tense, and eventually the pain and numbness tends to fade within a few seconds. Um, however, as you take that moment to yourself, uh, as it's still grabbing you with the one tentacle, it's going to reach and attack twice towards Tiberius. Uh, with. That is going to be a 16. Nope. Okay, that'll be a 19. Yes. Uh, so the second one hits you, that is a uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage, okay. and five points, so 13, half that, because of stone skin, uh, that puts you at seven points of damage. Okay, cool. And you are once again grappled and wrapped up by it. I think he likes me. I think you pissed it off and you set it on fire multiple times in a row. You could use a little help down here. Coming. That ends its turn. Vax, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna run up to the edge of it. Uh, are any of my uh, friends right up against this uh, nasty shit? Uh, currently, Keyleth is. Keyleth right is. Next to it. So if it's occupied with uh, my friend, I can take a second, aim really well, and sneak attack him from up here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is uh, 24. Ooh. 24. That hits definitely. Right, so sneak attack. Uh, Oh, good, you showed up! That's a two plus uh, nine. This is Keen Dagger nine plus twelve. <laughs> twenty one. That's twenty one plus uh, thirty. Thirty points of damage. Nice. Okay. All right. And then the second dagger, which is life stealing. Uh, hits with a 24. That hits, definitely. That is, uh, that is eight. Eight, all right. 
All right, and you still have the rest of your movement if you want to stay up there or wish to move somewhere. Uh, no. All right. It's going to perch. <sighs> Got it. Cool. Nice. All right. Thanks. For uh, <laughs> ending Vax's turn. The rats now move up. This one is going to. To there. Uh, attacking Keyleth. You are currently restrained, and Tiberius, you are also restrained, so attacks against you have advantage. Hmm. So against you. Uh, and, uh, okay, that'll be a 19 against you. Yeah. And against Tiberius, it just has a att general attack roll because you have. To give it disadvantage and advantage. That is going to be a uh, 17, which I think misses you. Yeah. Um, all right, so. Keyleth, you take. Uh, you take nine points of piercing damage. As the rats are now swarming up over the side of the tentacle and are biting at your neck and shoulder area, and you're trying to brush them off of you. No, uh, no. <coughs> not so much your bad, friends anymore. Bad, bad. What? Uh, it finishes their turn. It is now your turn, Keyleth. It's my turn. Mm hmm. I okay, mean, rats like swarming me. Yep. Um, this guy's looking pretty close to dead, yeah? I'm, he's looking um, pretty hurt. He's looking pretty hurt. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna do Blight again. Blight again against this guy? Yeah, cause I'm still grappled, right? You are, yes. So, just same thing, I'm just gonna... Nice. Try and suck the life out of this guy. Do it. All right. Constitution saving throw. That is going to be a 13. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Any one more? Any one more? Yeah. What you have to do? <laughs> Big money, no whammies. Oh, nice. Ooh, that's not no. bad. Not nice. bad. Okay, so that's 14, 15, 16, uh, uh, 24. T uh, uh, 30, 32, 35, 41, 45. 45 points of damage from Blight. Yeah. So this time, as the rats are swarming over you, you reach up your hands, they're glowing with the energies that you're drawing from this. You can see the actual air around her hands are beginning to turn black and the air is beginning to be pulled in. It was once a very moist, in warm vicinity, gets strangely cold as now her hands embody the end of life. She grasps the tentacle and the rats scatter as uh, as just the proximity grows. As you touch it, you can see now the what was once the blight scarring begins to fill the entire tentacle and as it turns, it hardens around you almost like a brittle piece of concrete. The rest of its body, you see it begins to Starts thrashing about. This tendril releases you, Tiberius, poof, dropping you into the pile of refuse. As it reaches around to try and grasp its own tentacle, it breaks through its own arm. As it reels back, you fall onto your butt. The rest of like the broken pieces of the the otog kind of crumbling into dust around you. You look up and see the creature as it attempts to back up. Each one of its legs pulling up against the one door that's partially buried in the far corner. It slams into the side as the blight spreads across its body, its teeth begin to shatter and turn to dust within its mouth, which begins to slowly curl inward as it ages uh, extremely rapidly in a short period of time. Suddenly, it slumps to the ground and joins the refuse of which it once came from. Yeah. Torbjörn. You were supposed to save something for me! There's a bunch of rats down here. Oh. Rats! Walk faster. <laughs> um, I can't uh, clunk clunk to the edge there. How far down is it? Fifteen feet. Can I into soft ground? That's can nothing. I jump and land on those rats? Uh, you know what? Sure. Go Stop ahead and make an rats. athletics check. Oh. Uh, okay. Break the curse. Break Come the on, curse. man. Mm. <laughs> Uh, 17. Oh, 17. hey! Uh, it's rats! Leap. Oh, uh, you, you leap, <laughs> slam down on top of the rats, rat swarm that just uh, jettisoned off the side of, of Keyleth. Uh, I'm going to say for that impact, go ahead and roll 1d6. That takes 1d6 bludgeoning damage from you just stepping on a few of the rats. Uh, six. Six, already. And they're now all around you on the ground, and they're trying to kind of swarm away from the impact zone. You still have your action. Okay, so... Um... 
I haven't played a character this high level in this system, so bear with me while I walk through this. I believe that I can attack three times in a round, right? Uh, I, have extra, I have the extra attack feature. Yes, as a, as a fighter you do. You have three yep. attacks. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take my uh, my axe and, and just try to uh, kill as many of these things as I possibly can. Cool. Uh, so I uh, swing my axe. All right. I'm like for the hearing impaired. I, uh, <laughs> and I, roll, I roll a two. All right, so as you swing your axe for the first batch of rats, um, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to see where the compost sure pile and the rats I are know. separate. Yeah. You, just, you squeeze through a bunch yeah. of the slimy mess, yeah. slinging a bunch of it against the wall, and actually kind of spatter a bit uh, against Keyleth, who's behind yeah. you. Uh, 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 your next uh, attack. Very, very <laughs> unhappy about that. Okay, three. <laughs> Okay, three. As, as you pull, good. as you pull back, a hole looking, it's a great hole, right? <laughs> you decide, as opposed to you know a small swath, let's make it a wider one. And your axe swings again. Yeah. This time you catch a singular rat, yeah. but with the flat of the blade, and you just send it flying about ten feet, where it comes back unharmed and joins the rest uh, of its crew. Get warmed up. <laughs> and a one. No. This can't be can't real. real. It can't be real. That is CG. <laughs> That is computer generated. <laughs> wow. This time, in an angry fury that you are being stifled by what is essentially sewer rats, yes. you lift your axe up in the air as one rat that has climbed up your pants bites you right Don't in the crotch. It. Don't do that. Um, okay. Yes, it does. In in pain, you drop the axe behind you and reach down, grab the rat, and tear it in half out of frustration. And yeah! Air. And I will give you a point of damage for that. Um, <laughs> point of damage? The rat bit through my metal cod piece? Uh, it stuck any? up past the small little gap there and uh, ate through your, your leather britches. Um, uh, and you are in severe pain. Yeah. Uh, nearing prone. Yeah. Well, I mean, us dwarves are known for our dicks that are sensitive to rat bites. <laughs> this is true. Well they didn't known. put that in the player's handbook, but I think they're going to amend oh, it soon. Oh, uh, it's canon in my game. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, Torbeard's turn is up. Yeah, it sure uh, is. Excuse me, I must inform the internet of my majesty. Yeah, but your dick bit by a rat, son. You're a man now. You're a man now. <laughs> Every dwarf when they hit the tender age of 30 <laughs> has to wander way steep into the rat pits. All right, Kasha, you're up. First, I would like to turn to Torbeer and say, are you wow. kidding me? <laughs> How many rats are left? Uh, you have the, the group that is currently swarming around Torbeer, one immediate to your left that you're just like in a batting away with your shield, and one group that is currently trying to get all to Beerus' shit. Uh, who, who, can we tell who's in the most danger at this point? Uh, for the most part, everyone seems to be doing Probably okay. Probably yeah. yeah, he's looking the roughest <laughs> yeah, the but... situational. Right, but like, <laughs> you know, that's just a bruised ego. That's the bruised. Start stomping rats. Yeah, I think uh, I think I would like to move to come to um, uh, uh, Strong Castle's defense over Stonewind. Right. Stone, all right, Stonewind. So there you go. Uh, the rats do get a swing at you. Uh, that is going to be a. That's not going to hit. Once again, you can hear like the little small tings against the back of your armor, but it's not even a bother at this point. Uh, all right, what are you doing? You move up to the rat. I'm gonna move up to, I, I, once again, because again, the people, I need some help heal. I'm a healer, for God's sakes. I so I'm gonna try Sacred Flame again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Javari, you're gonna stay a step back on because it's a ranged attack. Okay. So you get real close. Once again, kind of you know, set your spear down real fast, grab your holy symbol, and then poosh, release that burst. Go ahead and roll for attack. Oh, actually, no, it's a saving throw again. That's, that's my end. The rats, roll a one. Sweet. Uh, go ahead and roll straight damage on that. So it's, 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 no, it's, no, damage? it's three, three D. Oh, the three D eights. That's yes. yeah, right. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. It's all good. Eight, eight, eight. Here are the eights, right? Yeah. You know, you me, you only have to roll once. <laughs> 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 uh, that's not really great. Uh, eight. Eight points so, of damage. Yeah. Poof, you release it, and you can see about 13, 14 rats just dish, get thrown and scattered. Their lifeless, burnt corpses kind of around, uh, and the little hole that you left in the middle of that pile sh closes up as the rats form once again Ew. into a coalesced swarm. Um, that ends your turn, I believe. Uh, that'll bring us to Tiberius. Um, Kill some rats. How, yeah. how, we're in a, what the hell are we in? This is, this is like, it, it's, it's a giant cylindrical, it looks like it was once a cistern that has been turned into some sort of a refuse. Is there a roof? Uh, from what you can see, 
I mean, roll perception check. Uh, nice. Uh, what do I use? I've got Lord of T. Perception skill. Oh. Um, I don't use it very often. Uh, 15. Mr. Wizard. Or no, 14. Sorry. 14. Uh, as far as you can see, it goes up about maybe 30 or so feet beyond the radius of your light spell and fades into darkness. You have no idea if there's a ceiling or an end to it or how far it would be if there was one. Okay. Um, cool. Well, I'll... Uh, I'm right next to me, right? So You do. Um, I'll maneuver... Um, I'm going to put on my uh, hand and I'm going to just do a firebolt. That, that okay, right go ahead and roll to attack with disadvantage. Why, are they on me? Yeah, they're right up against you. Oh, range, range attacks when you're in melee with the target uh, is a disadvantage. Predators. Oh, right. Predators. Oh, um, well then I'm going to uh, not do that. I'm going to cast uh, Obelisk of Stone and uh, Dead Quicken Spell, and then I'm going to do a final. That's what I'll do. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's another Avenger. So avenge me! <laughs> Puts you up on top there. <laughs> up 10 feet. I don't have to pull away, but. And then I'll do the 2d10 damage. Alrighty. D10s. Hmm. Here's one. And. Uh, Why don't I think I have one? D10? Yeah, one d10. Is that. Uh, wait. So, roll the hit first. That's it. What do we'll it now? Roll the hit first. Do you need 10s? Uh, yeah. That's... Is that spell attack? Yes. Roll. Uh, so that's... Uh... 29... 31. 31? Yeah, that hits. Yeah. <laughs> um, Swarm of rats, not too, not too hard to miss. Cool. Really. So that's... 11. Is that 11? Uh, that's... Uh, so that's uh, 16. 16? Yeah. All right. As you lift up onto your 10 foot platform, as this stone kind of pushes up from beneath all the slime, and it is kind of like this, as it emerges, it sends this spilling cluster of whatever was at the bottom of this Ew, uh, gross. Small, <laughs> small room off the side. You have to kind of keep your footing as you go up. Um, uh, in fact, because of this room, I'm going to go ahead and have you just roll a dexterity saving throw. Slippy. Uh, that's 12? 12. So you get the attack off, but you lose your footing from the slick nature of the obelisk you just created, and you will plummet off and fall prone into the refuse to the side of the obelisk, but you still get the damage off on the spell. Go. As you blast, and Tiberius, you just tumble off the side. It's a soft impact, you only fall 10 feet, it doesn't do any damage, but you are currently prone on the ground next to your obelisk. Refuse is code for uh, shit as much as you might. Yes. Uh, leave that into your turn. Um, you haven't moved yet, so you could technically use your movement to, to get up from front. Oh, you want. I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That ends your turn. Uh, it's gone. Vax, you're up. Uh, I'm just gonna throw. I'm staying safe up here. I'm gonna throw uh, more daggers at. Uh, so there's a little pile under Torbear's Heine, and Correct, a little yes. bit out by itself, right? Right here. Yeah. Are they spilling out from under the dwarf's Heine? Or are they all hidden under his... Uh, no, they're all kind of around him. They're sharing the same space. Okay. Uh, I'm going to throw daggers at dwarves biting at his ass. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> so it's a sneak attack, but that's not good. Uh, that's a 13. It's a 13 that hits? Oh, hey, hey rats. Oh, okay. rats are kind of easy to hit. All right. Uh, no, they're not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> usually easy to hit. Usually they are. <laughs> Uh, that's two plus seven is nine plus eleven, twelve, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one is the first dagger, and I send the next one down. If the last one hit, this one hits. So that's twenty-one, and the second dagger is a ten, so thirty-one. Thirty-one damage total. Bob. All right. Lunch. Uh, you notice that because of the nature of the swarm, yeah. you would, what would normally be a creature that you could do a shit ton of damage to, knowing its physicality. It seems like a lot of the physical attacks aren't as effective as you would like. However, this swarm has already taken a few hits, and as you carve through dagger after dagger, eventually you pick off the remainder of the rats, and the swarm is dissipated. Yay! Nice. The ones that are stragglers, safety realizing approach. that safety numbers is missing, begin to curl their ways back underneath the piles they climbed from originally. Uh, 
Medical School of Fish. I was doing fine. Uh, that ends your turn? Yeah. Uh, the end of your turn, uh, the other two rat swarms also, realizing the circumstance is bad, uh, fight or flight kicks in and they flee and crawl back underneath. Smart rats. Jeez. <laughs> uh-huh. I think I'm gonna flee. <laughs> Let's swarm them. Let's all swarm them. Come on, we can do it. So you all take a moment, kind of take your breath. You get back up. I'm gonna hop down into the shit and loop an arm under Torbeer's arm and come on, old man. <sighs> How's your dick? Don't want to talk about it. I pressed the digitate all the crap on. Okay. Is she still uh, on the ground or is she gotten up? Uh, she, you, you've gotten back up. She's still kind of spattered oh. with. Uh, you ruined your new dress. I know. I got scorched by Tiberius's fireball. You fought well though. I'm impressed. I'm looking for the oh, way no. out of here. Yeah, I'm looking to see where the, where the rickshaw was. Is that a door on the far side? Looking on the far side, it's partially buried into the ground from just the collection here, but you can see there is a bit of a, a, a push, like the door had been opened briefly and pushed things away mm-hmm. and slammed shut, and it's slowly starting to coalesce back towards it. All right, hold on, everybody. I walk right toward it, uh, perception checking the area around it and the door itself. Uh, that's 24. 24? Yeah. Uh, the door... It appears to be a normal door, nothing strange about its uh, presentation. However, upon checking the uh, the kind of handle on the edge of it, it does appear to be locked. Locked, all right. Well, I uh, pull out my little sack and I pull out one of these, twing, and go to work on it. All right. That is a uh, 28. 28? Mm-hmm. In a matter of seconds, this is an old school lock and one that's generally used for not very... Uh, security required rooms. Yeah. You just flick at the wrist, the door pushes uh, inward a little bit, and you have to move, get your strength in to kind of push back the uh, the cluster of, of dried and, and, and liquid plant matter that is rotting against it, with just enough of a gap to push through okay. into a dark room beyond, it looks like. I, I Fonzie did. You did, good. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, uh, is, uh, Tiberius, are you still lighting up this room? He's kind of uh, the only light source, yes. Okay, so there's probably a little bit of light going in there, so I'm trying to look in to see what I can see from his spilling. Okay. Yeah. Um, glancing into the next room, uh, you can see what looks like... There's a little bit of a trickle of uh, just liquid that has spilled from underneath the doorway from this room, and you get the feeling this door isn't open very often, if at all, and the little bit of slime that has kind of coasted through only goes about 5-10 feet into a long stone hallway that disappears in the darkness no more than maybe 20 feet from you. Even with the low light, you can see pretty far in. To the right and left of you, though, sets of iron bars. Okay. Tibbs, Mm. follow that 20 feet behind me, and I throw up the hood uh, and go as low to the ground as I can, and I start to golem along the floor in Mm. uh, looking at the ground in front of me in the dim light, trying to see if I can see any traps ahead of me. Okay. Go ahead and make a perception check. 25. 25. Okay, as you begin walking into the hallway, you go past, and you can start to notice, uh, just from the visual around you, um, there's a smooth stone floor. The iron bars are all the way across with some partitions between. This is in particular a subterranean holding facility, some sort of a, a, a underground prison. Uh, and it's very quiet. And there's no light in here. There are sconces set up, but it looks like there have been no recent torches set. Hear anything? Hearing, you hear nothing. It is absolutely still and quiet. Grab my hearing. Okay, I'll just start moving forward. I follow ahead. Do you guys continue in with them? Mm-hmm. I'll come up to the door and see what I can see with my dark vision. Okay. Glancing inside as well, you can see uh, the prison goes on for from as far as your your, your visual range is about sixty feet. Um, there are four sets of prison cells on each side. So there are eight cells total, and the hallway continues past that. So you can't quite see beyond those initial four on each side. Um, you can glance in the inside. You can see what looks like dried and brittle thatch that was once used to cover the floor. Uh, it's just slowly molded over in time. Um, to your left, you can see what looks to be almost like a uh, 
elements of a skeletal corpse that has been left for a very, very long period of time in the uh, cell immediately to your left as you look through the doorway. I'll continue on to that. Yeah. As you enter this area and start stepping in, the air itself uh, has a very chemical smell to it. It's hard to describe. There's something uh, musty and and untouched to the air, but there's also some sort of gentle hint of like an acrid scent. Um, you guys continue forward through this prison area? I'm looking at the floor and everything as far out as I can see ahead of me. Okay. What's um, above us? That's what I was going to ask. Looking up, it's about 15 feet up, and it is another smooth stone ceiling. Uh, the construction here looks old. Uh, you specifically, go ahead and uh, make a perception check. I know. Oh, I'm really, it's good. I mean, it's with much, much better. Because than you are a dwarf. Oh, oh with yeah, advantage. So like, yeah. 12, 12 plus whatever. Can I roll again? Yeah, roll again for advantage. As you like, so you're a dwarf, and this is underground stone structures. Oh, nine. Okay, it's 15. Okay, it's not bad. Okay. Look, looking at the stonework here, um, it's definitely created for function more than any sort of you know, presentary functionality. Um, you gather from looking at the, the nearby pieces of the stone wall that connects with the first set of, of uh, metal bars that these, this was probably carved a few hundred years ago. Uh, and the metal bars as you move past, and you guys see this too, uh, the doorways that lead into these, some appear to be locked, some are completely open, easy to swing in as you kind of pull it open. It, very, very heavy rust against those uh, iron doors, probably affected largely by the nearby moisture emanating from the room and that whatever chemicals kind of hanging in the air. Um, are we still lit? <laughs> you're still lit by his light spell, yes. Okay. And there's, there's nothing really in the prison cells with the exception of... One skeletal creature. One skeleton. Well, just that was an initial room. If you want to go ahead and check around, go I ahead and make an investigation check. Yeah. yeah, I'll kind of look, look around in the cells. Okay. Natural 20! Nice! Yeah. There is balance to the universe. Yay! I know. I'm sorry. Um, as, as we're walking past Kayla, if you look over on one side, you can see uh, further up, kind of with a bunch of the thatch pushed around it, there appears to be a corpse that... Um, doesn't have the layer of dust that a number of the other skeletal piles and some of the other cells seem to have. Uh, the door to get into the cell, though, does appear to be uh, locked. Vax, I need your help. This is locked. What's in there? It looks like a fresh dead guy. Hey, okay. I'm gonna perception check that corpse through the cell. Okay. That's a twelve. It's hard to tell. It's mostly covered with a lot of this thatch. Uh, it doesn't look like it was intentionally covered, but there was just some sort of a struggle took place in this room. Out the mm. door. Natural point. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I work in mysterious <laughs> Um the, uh, the lock on this, it's not an intricate lock, but it is very heavily rusted, and as soon as you start moving in there, you realize that there is actually uh, something metal that has been broken off inside, uh, whether by a previous key, just through accident or in, or intent, uh, was broken off inside. You managed to find a way to remove it, pull the piece out, and still get the lock open. The gate swings open, and uh, you guys enter to inspect this corpse. Um, looking at it, uh, you notice that the uh, the body has been probably dead for a couple months. It is in very you know, prolonged state of decomposition, but there is still some semblance of flesh slawing off the remnants of the bone. Uh, you can see from the wounds that it has received that a large portion of it has been torn open very violently, and elements of it have been removed, like the softer organs. Um, is it wearing any clothing? As you inspect it, you look and see that it's, uh, while smashed with blood and, and dirt and dust, the outfit does appear to be that of a uh, Dusk Meadow Bastion. I feel really terrible but I'm going to give him the old half-elven pat-down and see if I can find anything okay. on his personage. Um, looking about his entire body, anything of value has been taken. 
Can I speak Money, purse, with him? Weapon? You what? Can I like to cast speak with the dead? You can. Yeah. Fucking clerics. Find out what killed him. You can do that. Yes, yeah. I can do many things. That's badass. He, he's a dusk what bastion? Let's find out. D- dusk meadow, which is the section dusk of Vas- Vasselheim that worships the Raven Queen. Oh, the, the, oh, the guys that you encountered things. earlier on the road, yeah, 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 same outfit, yeah. like the, the, the dark kind of studded leather armor with the the cloak kind of swept over one arm. You know he's dead, right? Yeah, I cast annoyed. Dwarf Nobody's that know that he was likely killed by the Rakshasa. Why are we standing in this room? I want to know when he was killed. I'm not stopping you. Okay, so as you sit down and you begin preparing your ritual, you once again kind of not under your breath and begrudgingly pull out your symbol. Um, as you continue casting the spell, there's a slight shimmer of kind of greenish blue light that slowly pours over the corpse, seeps into the bones, and for a moment you see Kasha kind of go into this this trance-like state. Um, Kasha, you see from within the corpse the face <coughs> sits up with this horrible cracking bone-like sound, the skeletal uh, element with this partially mummified and, and mostly rotten face kind of steps forward and these vacuous sockets that once held its eyes turn towards you and you can swear you see the bone of its grimace grin as it kind of airily whispers towards you. Uh, Why do you bother me? Because I have questions. What questions do you have? What killed you? Something that was not supposed to be here. Something vicious, something untrue. It wasn't what it seemed. This woman was asking for help, and no one's supposed to be down here if it's not their route. Occasionally we come and check on these abandoned parts of the prison. A woman was here. A woman should not be down here. I went to ask what was wrong, and she took this from me. And the bony hand kind of reaches up and gestures to the throat, and you can see there's giant claw marks across uh, the front of its spinal cord where its neck is that uh, kind of give the sensation that something tore its throat out. A woman did this to you. Shapeshifter. Well, there's more than one. When? When were you killed? Fourteen weeks have passed. I was resting. Anybody have questions? He's not going to be here long, I can tell you that. Not at fourteen weeks. <clears throat> uh, do, do you know... I, I ask him if he knows which direction he went, and if he has a hideout. Which direction she went, you mean? Well, she or she or, or whatever it. It, was, it Did you see which direction she went after she killed you? She walked away laughing and eating parts of me. I have not seen her since. But others walk these halls. I've seen a dwarf pass through two or three times. And as it did and passed my cell, it laughed. Sometimes guards come to inspect, but none have found me. None have found me yet. Are all the guards that come bastions of the Raven Queen? We are the ones to protect the Amaranthine Ubliet. That is our job here. You sit in the lower Forgotten Halls. My final resting place. Stormcloud, any questions? I think we've learned all we can from this one. Which direction was the dwarf walking? You can answer her. What direction was the dwarf going? Other hand kind of creeps up from underneath the thatch. But you guys are watching this, the corpse is doing nothing. It is just lying there. He is talking to an unmoving corpse. For your vision, the hand kind of reaches over and points the direction you guys came from. So it went the way we came. That was two weeks ago. Okay. 
But he said he's been coming and going, so maybe he was just leaving? Coming the same direction we came from, though, that seems odd. And a man, a dwarf, weeks and a woman. Ago. Weeks ago. About five minutes ago. The spell fades, and the corpse falls back to its original pose. Jaw left open, aghast, in its final moments. Torbear's right, what burning time? We need to go in. Go in where? Do we go back the direction the dwarf came? Further up the... We haven't finished this further to go in. Uh, I rolled a 23 arcana check on Torbear's jeweled knife that he gave me. <coughs> As you guys are aware, you are essentially in this vicinity of the prison. This was the room where you found the corpse here. And you've seen just enough light begin to kind of reveal there's a secondary prison room up here. And I'm sorry, but we came from that direction? From this doorway, yes. This would have connected right there. Okay. Every second we're here, it's getting away. I agree. You're absolutely right. We're going in. We're in there. You keep it busy, and I will carve it up. You not ready? I will keep it busy. Try not to get your dick bit by a rat. Uh, I slide past Tiberius. Crouched under the ground again and start scuttling along the ground. Okay. Looking, listening. Um, what was the ruling on the Arcana check? For? The jewel knife that uh, Torbjörn gave me. Uh, the knife does not appear to have any sort of magical aura about it. It's just a very, very well-crafted and probably relatively expensive uh, piece of functionality or ornamental use. Okay. It's a very fine blade, though. It would be a fine thing to enchant if you were inclined to. Kasha. Yes. How close are you to your god? Uh, at one time, very close. Now, I don't think you'd want to be anywhere near her. And which god is that? Uh, my god is called Vesh. And I am the only one on the planet who has ever heard of her. Oh. And uh, she killed everybody else. Talk to her. I mean, I don't. No, neither do I. Why did she spare you? Because I'm her husband. Oh. How is that like being married to a god? That's <laughs> rather inconvenient. And how, how does that happen in the first place? Torbir sighs heavily and steps into the room. <clears throat> And is uh, and, can, and, fo and follows Vax. We can walk and talk. Keep your voice down. You guys go. So walking forward. She married me at birth. My uh. mother was told that I was a special child, which is why I had the yellow eyes. I had two when I was born. We were married at birth. She killed everyone in the village. On my fifteenth naming day, she came to consummate the marriage. I made the first fifty slashes on my right arm. She made the next 50 for a ritual called the Sting of the Hundred. When my blood mixed with her sweat, I gained all her memories. That's when I found out she was essentially the devil. I was raised as a healer because I wasn't just supposed to be her husband, but also her balance, because the universe couldn't accept somebody as black as her in it. I tried to kill her at 15. I haven't seen her since. No. Oh. So it's not like you could ask for a favor, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose I could, but there's a good chance she'll kill you, me, and everyone around at the right. same time. At this point in time, as you guys are having this conversation, you moved up and looked, and you can see there are two uh, humanoids walking from this direction further down this hallway. As you can see, it's that direction. I'd like to imagine the tall bear and Vax left that conversation behind a little. Uh, as you see them approaching here, Stepping mm -hmm. uh, in your direction, they are both dressed in full uh, dusk meadow bastion armor. Uh, the one on the far end appears to be a kind of older, uh, balding with thinning gray hair. The one that's a little further up is like in his 40s, big, thick, kind of brown beard, uh, hair pulled back to a ponytail, and they're both kind of lightly conversing to each other, 
uh, not paying much attention, like running through a routine. I start pushing back uh, on Torbeer, backing everybody up, silently pushing backward and just trying to steer everyone in a heap backwards and to the side into the cell we just came from. Okay. Uh, make it. Just trust me. Uh, make a stealth check. Uh, 19. 19, okay. No, 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 19. Okay. Um, as you're pushing everyone back, and she's kind of whispering all this. You hear what say? Huh? Hello? Hold, hold on. Hello? And uh, the one with the beard approaches, kind of with his hand on his weapon. The other one kind of moving along to the back. Gonna, did I get them into the cell? Uh, if if you, you push them far back into the cell? Uh, yeah, that was what I wanted to do. You guys all go back in the cell? Backwards. Yeah, and as it's going, I dissipate the light spell. Okay, shh, light spell vanishes. Uh, yes, it walks up and kind of turns the corner. I just start giving everybody a big hug, group hug with my cloak of elfenkind, and try to make a big rag pile out of us in the corner. Okay. I'm very uncomfortably pressed against uh, Torbea. It's backside. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, the cloak can only really cover you and partially another person. The Good rest shot. of you all make a stealth check. So it's who, who is it? Who is it partially covering? Tobey. Yeah. Tobey. <laughs> Maybe Tobey. No, oh, it's not enough to, to oh, wait, really effectively oh, do it to the person. Right. It's just more for flavor. It's the thought that counts. Yeah. Nice. Fifteen. Five. Twenty. Let's see. Uh, a uh, a viewer, uh, uh, whose uh, whose uh, chat name uh, begins with a U. I won't identify this viewer uh, in case this goes badly. Uh, sent this. Uh, sent me these dice. And That's awesome. said, may they roll well. So um, I would like to apologize in advance for what is about to happen to this person's beloved dice. What the hell is it? It's a 15. It's a Those 15. are cool dice. Oh, oh, oh look at that. 15. Wow. It turns out that there are two digit numbers on these dice. <laughs> 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 the shape confused uh, and the my, curse. Uh, and my stealth is two, so 17. 17, all right, so. The guy walks into the room, and it looks back and forth. The one behind him steps forward into the room a bit. The other one steps behind him, looks about, looks from inside the room, looks over to your room. There's almost a glimmer of recognition in his eye, and continues walking past. To start walking back the direction you guys came from. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the other one. I throw up a wall of stone. Boof. Right, there. right, <laughs> right there. Right there. Right there. It's a locker man. I wasn't quiet. <laughs> Wall of stone goes up. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. How just, long does that last? It's permanent. Let's go. Yeah, it's time to move. All right, back around the corner, on the ground, looking, listening. Okay. <laughs> Everybody the same. <laughs> <laughs> um, that chemical smell is getting stronger and stronger, and it's burning your nose a little bit. So, um, Kasha. Um, if uh, you're the only one who knows about this goddess, that means she also killed your parents? Yes. Huh. Thank you for bringing that up. That's a good thing. I got you, baby. Uh, I'm going to, well, that was perception. So I'm attempting to make a perception roll uh, to see if I can pull anything out of these smells, maybe based on my experience mm -hmm. with Smithing and 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 the chemicals that are associated with all that sort of thing, but I did roll a three. Yeah. So I guess I would add a three to the best I can get out of that is a nine. Okay. Um. You and uh, clears your sinuses up pretty well. Oh, that's good. Um, I needed that. Yeah. <laughs> Much like a, a fresh dab of wasabi, like yeah. your, your nostrils are a little more open. Um. It's it's hard to. <laughs> Because it's not sulfurous, 
you know, it doesn't have like uh, a sound that's similar to something you'd find in smithing in your experience at the very least. It's hard to really place where it comes from. You are said you're going which way? Uh, towards that other door. That they did this not year? Open, but yeah. All right. 23, uh, I rolled. 23. Check. You approach the door. Uh, this door is locked. Yeah. Uh, does not appear to be trapped. Okay. Let's unlock it. Okay. Uh, that is a 21. Okay. As you reach down to the lock and you place the picks inside, start fiddling, the, uh, you look at the, at the iron around it and the actual metal seems to be frosting over. And you kind of, you pull back your head and as you exhale, your breath becomes visible and the temperature seems to drop significantly. And as soon as you look up at the wood, something shimmers in the wood. It's a face, a humanoid face that just kind of pushes out of the wood. Can I use Uncanny Dodge to roll backward right now? Uh, right now? Oh my god. <laughs> Do we see this happening? We can. Uh, you guys are hearing his reaction to this. It just happened in the front there. What? Uh, I'm gonna go. Ahead, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, sure. Are there are there torches down this hallway? <clears throat> That's a good so idea. the yeah. one of the hands <laughs> comes through, reaching out for you. This ghostly arm just whoosh, swings towards you. And you and I say it. nope. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everybody roll initiative. Oh, again. Man, Are there torches in this hallway? Everything. As you step back, and now this. The worst yeah, initiative. That too. <laughs> Are there torches in this hallway? No. Okay. Lights. Any open that flame of any kind? Before initiative. Uh, currently, no. 10. 11. All right, so we have uh, 20, 20 or higher. Anyone? Yes. 21. All right. Uh, 2015? 15 to 10? 11. 11. 11. There you go. I had 10, yeah. All right. Uh, 9, nine. to 5. All right, and then. Uh, 11. 11 as well. Okay. Roll back going. All right, so, Tiberius, you're up first. As you see these two kind of drifting humanoid. Sl- translucent ghostly entities kind of drift out of the door that Vax was at as he leaps backward, and a second one kind of drifts out of the stone down the hallway and turns towards the group, both kind of giving this horrible low moaning sound. I'll Their feet are just kind of dragging about a foot off the ground. I'll point to uh, the one coming from opposite of Vax. Oh, there. Sorry. Uh, that guy. That guy, all right. Um, and then I'm going to do two strike on him. Okay. And I'm gonna back away. Back away, back away, back away, back away. Back away, back away, back away. Yeah. Okay, that uh, far? That's good. Okay. That's, that's my turn. Cool. All right. Uh, they go next. Shiza. This one is going to drift. <laughs> Just the German swear in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, the one that, that swiped at you, yes. as you dodge backward, yes. it drifts forward, its arms kind of reach out for you and attempt to pierce the front of your chest. Yes. Oh. Um, go ahead and make a charisma saving throw. Okay, I will do that. Keyleth, you do the same as the spirit just kind of suddenly... A charisma saving throw? Yes. Flickers and appears right before you. Eleven. Mm. Eleven. Okay. Eleven. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Team eleven. Ba, 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 ba. Good. <laughs> you guys... <laughs> You guys watch it's like as, a, as, a ghost. as both of these ghostly entities completely slip into the physical form of Vax and Keyleth. Oh. Their bodies shudder for a second as their eyes glaze over. Both the entities are no longer visible. However, you feel the presence of a cold, invading mind full of anger and distant loss and, and, and rage fill your brain, and your body is not your own. Sorry, guys. Great. It's gonna be fun. Suddenly, Yay! you see Vax pull uh, his daggers out, or Vax pulls his daggers out, and turn around and look at the rest of the group. Keyleth the same turns around and kind of snarls at the rest of the group with this, this twisted grin. Um, that's gonna- be Count Chocula. <laughs> Torbier, you're up. Um, <laughs> oh shit. I am going to make a goading attack. Okay. Um, 
to try and draw them, draw whoever's closer. Supposed to, to you would be Keyleth. Keyleth is right next to you. I don't even know what to do. Uh. Save. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna make a goading attack, um, and if I hit, then they come after me. Okay. Or she comes after me. Okay. I'm pretty sure I don't hit. I don't know why I'm rolling. Uh, <laughs> uh, Here, oh, wait, sorry, that's a, a four on my first roll. You can just use this one, it's quicker. <laughs> um, oh, 14. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Oh, plus 10, 24. 24 versus Keyleth? Yeah. What's your armor class? Uh, 17. 17, that hits Keyleth. Blunt okay. edge. Sorry about this. It's okay. Um, Just keep me alive, Cashew. Is there a way that I can, like, <laughs> I can't, can I pull the attack to not do as much damage? I mean, other than the way I usually roll dice. Uh, I mean, can I intentionally, like, blunt edge? Can I hit her with, like, the blunt side of the dice? I could say it's subdual like, damage, yeah. I mean, it'll still damage her. Okay. Um, but um, we, should I roll my regular attack dice? Do your regular attack dice. Uh, Beat that poltergeist uh, out of me. 15 points so of damage. 15 points of damage to you, Keyleth, as you get smacked broadside with the uh, the blunt edge of Torbeer's axe. You see this happening and in your head, you're screaming, trying to push this out, but no matter how hard your will poses itself, oh your body God, is not your own. No, 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 no. Like you're restrained in a, in a dark closet, watching from a distant hallway as somebody else controls your body. So I have to expend a superiority die, and I add this, oh, yeah, oh, fuck you, now you're gonna work. <laughs> so that's nine more points, sorry. Nine more points of damage on top sorry. of that. Sorry. And, and then the target needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, nothing else. All right, I will make that the uh, the ghost creature. Uh, that is a 16. Yeah. Help me. What's the DC on it? I don't know, it doesn't say. Okay, this is for your battle master, for going yeah. attack. Going attack Battle Master. Sorry, nerds, I don't play this version. It's all good. Would it be his wisdom? My wisdom is two. My wisdom saving throw is two. My wisdom is uh, plus two. Okay, so your oh the DC is eight plus proficiency bonus, which would be twelve plus your what's your strength modifier? Four. Four, so that'd be sixteen. So yeah, it, it just makes the saving throw. Oh, well, just glad, I, glad I wounded my friend for no good reason. Okay. It makes it saving throw? On, uh, so it makes the saving throw so nothing, so nothing happens. Okay. Right. so those are your um, first two strikes. So he okay. just punched me and for no reason? Yeah, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna make my third okay. attack. I don't All right. Son of a bitch. Uh, I've got 13 hit points Vax, left. you don't get a turn, you're unable to control your body, and you also do not get a saving throw. You are considered possessed. Um, Cash, you're up. Um, I don't know if this is possible. Can I use banishment and target one of the ghosts that's actually possessing them? You have no way of knowing how to target the creature. You have, there is no visual or physical form. You just see your friend with a kind of a glazed over look in the eyes and a kind of a cold sensation around them. You have some experience with undead, and you know you have some tools against them, but uh, banishment is something that you, you have no way of targeting the spirit within them. You would have to target them physically. I, uh, I think what you said was right. We don't have to knock them out. Yeah. So what? Uh, maybe we target one at a time. If I hold, I hold back, so you come in. I have thirteen hit points. Yeah, you should definitely. Hold we should him. do that. Okay. Gonna hit yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, cast hold person, and I'm gonna hold Vax. Okay. As tight as I can. All right, all right. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, for what's the spell DC for you? It is uh, sixteen. 16, and is that a wisdom saving throw on that? Is that right? Let's say person. Yep, yeah. It's a wisdom, wisdom right. saving, yeah. Uh, go ahead and make a will saving throw, Max. Or wisdom saving throw. Fail it. Sorry. Something I'll never say to you. Uh, 17. 17. What's his DC? What's your DC? Or is it versus right. his wisdom? 16. 16 oh, defeats it. The spell effect shimmies off. Right now, off. me and the ghost of my mind are doing that scene from Ghost with the Pottery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my spell just can't get yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. Uh, all right, so that that uh, fi that finishes your turn. Do you want to move anywhere? Or are you gonna stay where you are. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to tuck tail and run. Let's try to split them up at least if we can. Okay. Which way you wanna go? Really? Right here. You want to get them together? Then let's do that. Let's get. All right, fair enough. Let's get them together. Um, 
Over here, Cashel! Yeah. Let's move. Okay. I want to go with uh, Storm Dragon. As you move back, Keyleth, you, you, you get an attack opportunity on him. Go ahead and roll an attack with your uh, staff. Sorry, Cashew. Oh, critical fail! <laughs> I, I don't oh, wanna! That's right. <laughs> I think she might like yeah. me. <laughs> as, as there is a mental struggle going on in Keyleth's mind, the swing has extreme intensity and halfway through just streaks off and slams into the stone wall. Part of the staff splinters and breaks at the edge. It's still functional, but definitely took a hit on the wall. My favorite staff! Um, all right, I'm that ends like your, your turn. Uh, Keyleth, you lose your turn. Up at the top of the round, Tiberius. Can we not try and save from it? We can't do shit. No, you are We're just an staff. autopilot at this we point. Does <laughs> anyone here at the top of this round want to make a religion check? Hmm? Does anyone here want to make a religion check? check? Might as well, right? Yeah, you've had some experience with death and undeath in your in your history. Twenty. Nice. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. So plus seven was a six. No, it's nine. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Um, you know that you've heard of certain creatures, ghosts can possess certain entities. Uh, when a creature is possessed, you know from your experience that it is very difficult to remove the possession unless it's through some sort of uh, a ritual that forces undead away, or um, or if the actual person is brought to unconsciousness and near death himself. Well, Tiberius, so you, you have the same the same visual on this. Yeah. But a little part of your brain says, wait, you've seen you've seen Pike do something that scared undead before. Mm -hmm. Top of the round, uh, brings us to Tiberius. Um, I take no pleasure in this. I cast Obelisks of Stone and <laughs> crush them. Uh, crush who? Keyleth? Both of them. You don't have a visual on Vax currently. Oh. This is a wall. I'll move forward and then do it. Okay. Nice. You move up to there and do it? Right, whereas as close as I can, half uh, to and far away as I can see Vax, okay. yes. Cool. So, currently these two stone pillars <laughs> slam and crush both of you towards the ceiling. Oh, uh, is looking! Uh, well, they, both of them get to make their, it's a dexterity saving throw, right? So both of mm -hmm. you make a dexterity saving throw. That's not gonna be good. Yeah, I rolled an 18. <laughs> so they take half damage. No, they take full, they take the damage, they just, they're not pinned. They oh, gotcha. They always take the damage. Okay, um, so they both take the damage. So that's... Well, probably uh, unconscious. How much is that? Uh... Two, <sighs> uh... Yeah. 31, 31 points of damage. I'm unconscious. So now, Keyleth, you fall unconscious on the ground, forcing the spiritual entity out of your body. Uh, it, oh, yeah. Unless it comes after that, one of us. I'm going to spend two sorcery points to cook in the spell, and then cast Scorching Ray right at it. Okay. <clears throat> go for it. So go ahead and roll for the attack on each of them. Since it was forced out, it is not in melee with you because it is far enough away, so you just straight roll for these. Uh, what is that? Um, oh, I plus my spell attack. Okay, so, yeah. uh, that? so that's uh, 16 was one, um, uh, 19 and 19. All hit, go ahead and roll damage for each. Uh, give me total damage. Uh, four, six. Rock that math, come on. Okay, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's 10 and then 15 and then 15 and uh, 23. 23? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> released all three Scorching Rags, blasting into the ghost. It's impacting, but the bursts seem to detonate through it. You can see it's taking the hits, but it seems almost like because of its ethereal form, it's not feeling the full brunt of the attacks. Hmm. Okay. It's affected by it. You can see its form being kind of shuttered around by it, but it's not as effective as you're used to them being. Okay. Um, that ends your turn, Tiberius. Uh, this creature here, no. okay, it does not regain its possession ability. Uh, it is going to use Horrifying Visage. Um, it, all of a sudden, the ghost, <laughs> Ghostbuster style, like it's just, it grows into this it's horrible slimy. screaming entity. Um, I need all of you except for Vex to go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Thank God. That's negative. <laughs> so 
16. 16? Yep. 13? 12. 12. Um, all of you guys manage to shrug off the effect. You, however, there's something about the way it screamed that for a moment you swear it had a face similar to Vesh from your wedding night, and it clutches your heart, and you are considered frightened for the next minute. Um, means you cannot move closer to it, and your attacks against it are at a uh, disadvantage until you shrug it off. Sweet. Um, all right. Then the uh, now the possessed Vax is going to, as his bonus action, attempt to make a stealth check. Um, as it's kind of out of the way, goes against the wall. Um, if I could have Torbeer and Tiberius make perception checks. Don't I make perception? Making it for you. Oh, bad. look at that! You got an 18. Hey! Oh All right. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24. 24, nice. Hey. That's something. I failed. You failed? Yeah. Okay. Um, you, you see out of the corner of your eye a couple footsteps as Vax comes rushing up. You do not see it, though. And as Vax turns the corner, right here, brings out the daggers and goes towards Tiberius. At the corner of your eye, you see a flash of light. And uh, actually, no, you make the attack roll. On this, okay. So. An attack roll against Tiberius. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead and... Uh, All right, he has a roll at disadvantage. Because of the... Cloak. Right, but he has advantage of you because you didn't see him, so it cancels it out. That's true, yeah, my cloak. Advantage. This is true. Uh, all right. So go ahead and roll with sneak attack damage against Tiberius. Okay. Uh, uh, that is a nine plus five, 10, 22, 24. This is 33. 33 points of piercing damage against you. What's that? Stone skin, you've already cast the concentration spell. Right, but when you cast one, the other one lasts for two more rounds. And you started with True Strike. Yeah, but, but, but... It's also been way over a minute. It's an hour long. It it's would an still hour. Be yeah. I can still hold another one and do a different one, and hold the other spell and do a different one if I chose to hold the other spell. How it works usually with this is like, whenever you cast a new concentration spell, the other one lasts for two rounds and then vanishes. So it's like this constantly filled. Actually, I think it should last this, this will be the last round that you have it, because it's been two rounds since, since you moved back. So this will be the last round you have it. So you still have it, but it fades after this round. Um, so have that, so. 16, 17 points. Uh, actually, and stone skin only works against non-magical. So no, you take full damage, because his daggers are magic. Both daggers are magical? All of his daggers are magical. Yeah, we're only rolling with magical weapons at this point, yo. Wow. So you take full damage. Okay, from... cool. That's actually great to know. <laughs> I'm actually happy about that. And you're, uh, you do, do not have your bonus action because you use that to hide. Okay. Um, so that's the one attack you got. That round's over. And then there's there's no save or anything. You're just around. stuck. This. Wow. So they're not, just not, stuck not, until not, we can. Not until the creatures, not until someone somehow forces the undead entity out of your body or drops you to zero hit points. Let's go to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that brings us to uh, Torbeer. If I see this correctly, there's this spectral creature in front of me and my possessed friend to my left, is that right? Correct. Is that? Actually, Keyleth, make a saving throw. I'm can... unconscious. Oh, right. right, because I'm unconscious. <gasps> Seven. Oh. Mark off a death saving throw. Torbeer. Okay. Um, uh, Torbeer is gonna uh, sw oh. I'm sorry. Uh, 16 against. Uh, total, total 16? Total, uh, yeah, total 16. 17. 17. Yeah. Whoosh! Whiffs. Okay. It's too fast. It just ducks yeah. underneath the, duck, the axe okay. swing. Okay, second second attack. Uh, 18. 18 oh. will hit. Go ahead and roll damage on that. Come on, Tor. And I want to do that same thing and try to. Going attack? Okay. Wait, sorry, no, those are 20 sided dice. <laughs> I'm like, how did I roll a 19 on a d12? Uh, 15 plus 6, 
Are you rolling 2d12 for damage on that? Yeah. Should uh, be... My damage is 2d12 plus 6 slashing damage. For a, for a great axe, I think it should be 1d12, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm happy to make it 1d12. <laughs> uh, just just uh, as a note, yeah, the, the, the great axe is, is 1d12 damage, so... Oh. Well, I don't know why it says 2d12 then. That's okay. All right, so that's uh, four ten. So ten damage to you. Yeah. And uh, going attack, it and failed at saving throw. It rolled an eleven. So right. It failed at saving throw. So as you slam, you can see the 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 kind of spiritual anger in the eyes <clears throat> turn towards you and is focused on you at the moment. Uh huh. Um, and uh, then I'm going to make my third attack. I'm going to die. Uh, so, you, you know, just so everyone knows that things have gotten back to normal. <laughs> the world is right again. A brief spike. Just dance, anyone? The third strike, you swing and you swear it's, it's going right for the torso of Vax. And for a second, you almost want to restrain because you're afraid it's going to do before all of a sudden both daggers <laughs> catch the axe in midair and kind of scissor hold it before it shoves off the blade. Um, However, it does appear to be focused on you. Okay. Um, is that in your? Yeah. I need life. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm supposed to expend you. another superiority die. I'm sorry. It's a whole new mechanic. That's okay. Uh, it's a new mechanic for me too. So okay. So I add one more to my damage roll. There you go. And that was it. That was the only attack that landed. All okay. right. That brings us to, or the cash. Uh, who is still can't move? Correct. You can't move closer. Okay. Uh, uh, well, what I'd like to do is, if, if I know that I'm going to be rolling everything essentially at a disadvantage, I'd like to at least help the people that are still standing as much as I can. So I'd like yeah. to bless Stormwind and Thorbeard. Okay. And my, can I do myself as well? It's up to three creatures. Then yes, you can. Then I'd like to end myself as well. Okay, so you are all currently affected by a bless spell. That's awesome. Um, what a bless spell does, if you want to read it real fast. Bless up to three creatures of your choice within range. Whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to the attack roll or saving throw. It's yep. hard to accept love from others when you hate yourself. It just move oh. and hate themselves as much as I do. All right, so do you want to move? You can only really move. I can't. I can only move yeah. back and forth, right? Yeah. Then I'm. Let me just stay there so I can concentrate as much as I can on holding the blessing. Okay. An attack roll or saving throws? Yes. Can so, Can you target me? At the end of. And would it work for my saving throws? Uh, I, I do you have to be a conscious creature, the blessed spell doesn't affect it. Uh, you do, however, you get your saving throw at the end of the turn to try and chug off the, the fright, so go ahead and roll that. And that's a... Uh, and you get to add a d4 to it, it's so a d20. So it's a d20 plus a four. Yeah, yeah with your wis wisdom. That's my four. And add a d4 to it. Oh, you need it. 19. No, 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 19. Is that right? And, what do I, and that's a, wait, it's for wisdom? Yes. So it's 19 then plus, where's wisdom? Plus nine. So 28. Okay, yeah. Hell yeah. Plus, plus you, four, you, right? You clarify for a second. Four. Plus four, one at it, go for it. Do it. Yeah. Oh, one. one. All right, 29. You slam your foot into the ground for a second and focus, and for a second, the uh, the divine energy kind of pulses through your body, and you let a little bit of Vesh's essence sip in your sleep into you, and against your better judgment, it gives you that, that sense of bravery to shrug off the fear you felt, and for a second there, you're like, as a, as a healing cleric, undead should be afraid of you, and you, you Remember that there's an ability you have called Turn Undead, where may come in handy going forward. Um, that ends your turn. Um, Keyleth, make another saving throw. Let's use this one. Let's use this one. This is a big shiny die. 17. 17, okay. So you're still unconscious. You don't need it. Okay. All right. I'm good. Tiberius, you're up. Tiberius, hmm. you're up. Um, Keyleth is right next to me, right? Mm -hmm. She's currently on the ground. You can see a little bit of blood tripping up the corner of her mouth from the injury she sustained from the crushing pillar. You can see a little bit of the light fading from her eyes. Can I, um... Bax is right next to me also. Mm -hmm. I'm going, uh, is there a way... Can I move, like, probably take a hit from him to drag her with me? You can do that, yeah. Oh, wait. That'll be your whole turn, but yeah, you can do that. Uh, that's what I choose to do. Okay. So, Tiberius, you reach down, you grab Keyleth's body, and you pull her back through the hallway, 
you can get her probably about half speed, which is 30, so 15 feet that far back out of the fray. Uh, so go ahead and make an attack of opportunity against Tiberius as he moves away. Okay. Uh, uh, that's shit. I rolled a, uh, a 12. Nope. Total 12? Yeah. Okay. As you swing back, you just <laughs> dodge out of the way as you're pulling her along the floor. Okay. Um, right. just... That's your turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, this ghost entity here uh, does not get its possession back. Um, is going to make a withering touch against you, Torbeer. Damn it! Uh, with a 13. No. Against roll. my... 20. Yeah. yeah no, 20. As you reach out, you manage to pull back with your axe and kind of just swing it in its direction. It dissipates its form for a second, and the attack is just whiffs through the air. Um, however, as you pull on that side, the axe comes up from behind you. I want you to go ahead and do... Two attacks against Dude. Torbier. With advantage. With advantage on, on both attacks or one? Um you currently have him flanked. Because of my ghost friend. Yes. Yeah. So the first is a is a seven is a is high. Alright, that hits. It's Twenty-eight. Okay. Oh and that hits. Second is a one. And another roll. They both have advantage because you haven't flanked. Come on, one. Na 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 na. Pick up a car. Nineteen. Na 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 na. Okay. So go ahead and roll yeah. both damage for both. First one to sneak attack. Uh, does he have an armor class of twenty? Doesn't one of them miss? And uh, wouldn't a nineteen miss his twenty armor? It was a total miss? nineteen. I thought you rolled a nineteen. No, one was a total nineteen. Oh, and that was, then, was then, then the second one doesn't hit. So just the first okay. one does. So the sneak first attack. one does, and that Correct. is. Uh, okay, that's the lowest this could possibly be. Is seven. Plus. Nine, twelve, sixteen, seventeen, twenty-four. Okay. Ouch. That's a lot of damage. All right. Uh, that ends the ghost turn. Torbier, you're up. You now have got the attention of both spiritual entities and your possessed friend. They're both just swarming around you at the moment. Okay, great. Um, I have this deal. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I just don't remember what it's called. I have a maneuver where I, uh, if I hit a thing, I can hit a second thing. Right, well, let's just see if I hit. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, and try to hit uh, Vax again. Okay. Two's probably not gonna hit him. Oh my god. It's probably not gonna happen. Oh I mean, I'm thinking no. two's probably not gonna be, I mean, it's a total of 12, but I'm still pretty confident that 12 Against doesn't him? hit him. Yeah, yeah nah, I'm pretty sure that misses. Okay, good, so let's try again, okay? Because I get three attacks, right? So let's see here, oh, a four. Okay, so four, let's see, that's uh, that's 14. So, I mean, I'm thinking probably the 14's probably not gonna hit him. I'm <laughs> yeah, awfully, yeah. Awfully okay, quick. all right, so let's just try one more time, let's because, you know, I, time. I, I, come on, right? We're gonna have to rest. And, uh, oh, that's a seven, seven. so that's a 17. Oh. Okay. Tag. Oh! oh <clears throat> there we you go. find that purchase with your third strike with your axe. Yes, yes, of course, I listen. Yes. I just need, I need that time to warm up. I'm thinking about my daughter. Um. So uh, I um, I guess I hit you. So uh, then uh, so and uh, and this is a uh, don't, I don't like this game. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't really like this episode. Uh, <laughs> I make a precision attack. Alrighty. Yeah. So I can add one more die to the roll. Uh, Come on, clock me, War and Peace. Let's do this. I'm working on it. War and Peace. Oh, good. Uh, so that's a, a one on the D12, plus six, seven plus nine is, uh, what 16. is it? 16. Okay. 16 points of slashing 16 damage points. against you. Okay. Okay. So that's All right. what happened. Do you wish, wish to move and you stay where you are, Torbier? Uh, I would like to not no longer be flanked by them, if that's at all possible. Uh, I'm going to so I will move uh, back toward, sure. There? Yeah, that's I'll fine. So you can move there pretty safely, just moving yeah, out of the way. Okay. All right, um, that brings us to Kasha. Okay. Um, I'm gonna d- channel divinity, turn undead. Turn undead, okay. What's the radius on that? 30 feet. 30 feet. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're probably gonna have to move a little closer to get okay. back from there. But I want to get as close as I can without, you know, just right on the 30-foot radius. All right, not a problem. So you're gonna go ahead and turn undead. 
as you reach up and grab your your holy symbol, pulling it out from under your armor once again, clutching it tightly. You can feel the actual blood begin to pour from the inside of your hand. You're holding it so hard. And with a flash of uh, extremely vibrant white light with this strange halo of pitch black that surrounds it, a force wave <laughs> billows out from you throughout the hallway. For a brief moment, you see Vax look over and his eyes widen for a second as the blast wave hits him. Um, all right. That's, you are... You're stronger than that. Hmm? Who's stronger than that? You have a fan. <laughs> it's just very funny. You just hit the buttons like pedals, like a, a guitar. You can just change anything. Fan. <laughs> Rain. That's a good idea. That's a good Both idea. fail. All right. So suddenly, as the blast wave, as the blast wave, as the blast wave hits Vax, the Come spirit on. is forced out of his body Ooh. Ooh. against the wall. It just shush, pushes it out, and all of a sudden you have control of your form again. I don't the other feel one so good. Sorry. against the wall, and they both kind of halfway slide again into the wall. Um, <laughs> they both yes. have this severe look of fear on their face. Yes. Um, that's going to end your turn from moving doing that. Ah. Keyleth, make another saving throw. Eight. Some second failed death saving throw. Keyleth. Someone pump some life into me. Tiberius. Um, yeah, I'm going to, uh, pop one of my, uh, uh simple potions. Okay, just level, push the, the level one? Yeah. All right, go ahead and roll. Uh, that is, uh, 2d4 plus 2. Okay. Pick that one. Uh, that's 7. 7? Okay, you heal 7 hit points and come to consciousness. <laughs> on the ground. Uh, you can get rid nice, of this. Nice. Um... So seven hit Look points. around, your eyes kind of focus, and you can see now there's like these two glowing entities. The ghost that attacked, the one that was inside you, is now was now over against the wall and looks like it's kind of dissipating and is extremely frightened by something. Can I use the rest of my turn to help her up? Sure, I'll let So you go ahead and you prop her up to her feet. All right, and uh, that's uh, that's my turn. Okay. Um, for their turn, they both <laughs> just fade into the wall and it's vanish a long from sight. Story. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so you both, all of you, take, take a moment. Stillness as the spiritual entities seem to have vanished into the wall. Oh, they left? They left after he blasted them with his uh, shockwave of positive energy. They just went into the wall and disappeared. You, told you scared them with positive energy? It's unfortunately, the only kind of energy I'm allowed to use most of the time. You told me Ironic. when I That's picked amazing. up that guy topside that it was a healing potion. It was blue, right? That's what you told me. Uh, there, there, there was, yeah, it was yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I'm pulling that out of my pocket and walking over to that door in a daze, and I just done it and push the door open with my foot. Okay. Uh, that is uh, a greater healing potion. It's 4d4 plus 4. Are you, Are you moving forward? Are you moving forward? No, uh, yeah, sort of. So as you Vax. move no. forward, no. stop! What are you doing? My name is Vax, open. and I keep going. That's what I said. No, actually. Okay. You kick the door open. Uh, you have very little light source in here, but with your with your 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 vision, you manage to look in past there, and it looks like it's a was a hallway that was once used for storage of some kind. Yeah. Um, but the first thing that catches you is that that strange chemical smell is extremely strong in this room, and your eyes kind of burn as soon as the doorway opens, and you kind of have to close your eyes. Uh, Torbear, you see Vex kick the door open. Mm -hmm. Wait, Vex, slow down. I follow him. Okay. I you guys. Not. Wait, 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 wait. I do not follow. Wait, wait, wait. You don't follow? Okay, Tiberius stays back. You guys are all staying there. I'd like to call everyone yes. together if I could first. Yes. Let's take, take a moment. I'm just looking. I take another potion, because I have one more. Okay. And, and I'm going to look down wait, the hall. Wait, friend. I give him a potion of superior healing. Okay. You know I'm a healer, right? Boop. You can save your potion. Save it, save it. Uh, well, what's that? Superior is, not, is the 44? Superior is another 44, yeah. You guys can take a short rest if you wish to and also use your hit dice, so. Can I get some healing? Can you, will you use some of that positive energy on me? Of course I will. I will go you no know? further until I take a proper rest. Okay. I'm just gonna look to down agree. that hole. Okay. Both of you guys, as you enter the room and your kind of darker vision looks out, you can see the room there's that strong chemical scent and parts of the wall have kind of crumbled and fallen uh, into sections, kind of ruining this 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 long, kind of empty hallway. 
Um, we can see there are elements of, of broken boxes and crates that have just been either uh, sundered or removed or destroyed in the collapse. Um, but what catches your attention too is a large portion of the floor seems to be lower than the rest of it. There is some sort of a liquid that has largely overtaken the entirety of this room. Something has seeped through from some unseen source and has slowly over time dissolved a large pit into the center of this hallway. This kind of dull yellowish green liquid now currently fills the entirety of uh, the center portion of this hallway for a good, let's say about, uh, oh, about that distance there. Okay. Oh my. Put my hand on Torbeer's hand and guide him back out and shut the door and say, it's yeah. fucking acid in that room. And just sit on the ground. Of course Bax? Bax? I'm back in the hall with Please. you. Oh. Acid field room. Uh, I'm gonna just rest. Let's all just. Can we make camp? In. I'm hurting really bad. Let's take a moment here. Agree. We've been hit pretty hard, pretty quickly. You want to camp, or do you want to just take a breather? Just take a rest. Take a uh, I need a proper. Actually, rest. I have something that I think will make us all feel better, and I prepare a hero's feast. <gasps> Have those? I do now. <laughs> Sweet. What does that do? I'll tell you. Are there bananas? Of course. If you would like some bananas. It's like a 20 foot long hoagie. It's, <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's the 20 foot long nice. yeah, subway dealio. No. no. Not, not subway. subway. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. Okay, so, here, so in, in doing this, Risha, just a heads up. One of the material components costs a th- it's a gem encrusted in bowl that costs a thousand gold pieces that is consumed gold. by it. So you can totally cast this, but you'll have to deduct a thousand gold off of your personal gold supply. And my How personal much money gold supply? you got? Like three k, I think. Probably three k? You said you were single. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll do it. All right. So as you guys are preparing for a moment, you guys, it. I've just had a near death experience. I'm craving some lasagna. Okay, so I'm gonna make some of the best goddamn lasagna <laughs> we've ever had in our life. I'm gonna spend a thousand dollars and make some amazing what? fucking lasagna. What are dollars? A thousand gold. Oh, what's lasagna? It's uh, tribal food. That I'm sure it's, some, uh, she's it's vegetarian. Drew, I don't understand. Sure. Uh, she's spending the money. I'll eat. So, as you guys take a few moments to kind of. Tend your wounds and catch your breath. Uh, Keyleth finds a section of the uh, center of this dank, uh, dreary prison and concentrates, uh, taking the shim encrusted bowl and setting it in the center of the floor. As time goes on, you begin to see this strange shimmering uh, energy in the center of the room. At the end of the ritual, she raises her hand in the air and through a plume of uh, whitish silver smoke that slowly dissipates, you can now see there is a long table a very well-crafted table in the center of the room with chairs and benches and an extremely well-prepared, incredible-smelling meal. Just fruits and breads and meats all just strewn about this table in the center of this prison. Okay, okay, everybody, okay, everybody, everybody, close your eyes, close your eyes, okay. Tiberius, will you make the little forks dance for me? With, with, with mage hand? Uh, uh, sure. Okay. Are you guys ready? Be our guest. Be our guest. I just put our service to the test. She tends to be. Is this a thing? Is this happening right now? This is not. Yeah, just look at them making a musical out of our food. That's awesome. People pay a lot of money for this. She set it out. Have a seat. Eat the food. Shouldn't have healed her. Thank you, Keith. I thought that was funny. I just started eating. (laughs) Wiped out. All right, you guys can use as many hit dice as you want to heal yourself. If you check on your sheet, it has a uh, hit dice number. You can use those to heal yourself naturally. So after we eat all of this food, um, we are cured of all diseases and poisons. We become immune to poisoned and being frightened. And um, all of our wisdom saving throws have advantage. Also, our maximum hit points increase by 2d10. For how long? For 24, 24 hours. hours. And you gain the same number of hit points. So don't spend any of your hit dice. We're gonna eat our way 
to health. To, to health. Well, oh no, you still spend your hit dice, meaning you gain 2d10 hit points, and you gain that up to your... And it gains the same number of hit points. Oh. Meaning, so you increase the maximum, so you and increase, you heal and up you also you get 2d10. Okay, I see what it means. So how do you, now how do you heal yourself, then? Uh, where it says for hit dice on your page. Uh, it should be towards the, kind of the middle. Mm-hmm. Right above your attacks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can spend up That's to your... Bad up to your top middle, and you just roll a dice with the, the number you have for your hit dice, and you heal that much. So what was the number you have there? We have like, rest. Total is We're 11. We're resting now. We're okay. resting. 1d8 plus 3. Rest. So you can spend up to 11 if you want to, and heal yeah, up that much just naturally. But I wasn't taking any damage, that's the thing. Then you don't have to worry. Yeah, because I'm still at a... At a yeah, you're fine. Yeah. You're Why did you player. burn all of your sorcerer points? We told you not to burn all of your sorcery points. We don't have time to sit here and take full rest. I can still cure everybody, you know. I can heal everybody if you need the <laughs> the wounds. So, for those who you can use your hit dice to heal yourself, you can mention the meal, and it is a it is an neither do I a very delightful meal. It is I mean, tasty. you can ask the group, but I have a feeling that Vax and Thorbier aren't going to want to take a full rest down here. It's going to get got. That guy is going to, or that gal. Or two of them, or both of them. Or That's the thing. It's a thing. Mm. I don't want to go on a date with it. I don't want to kill it. So uh, while we're sitting here, can I cast Locate Creature? Oh, wait, now here's a question that I have. How much time has passed since uh, the last time I had cast it's, it? I'd say it's probably been a good with shopping time. Oh, no, that was uh, It's probably been seven, about right? six hours. Yeah, and we're on the clock here. I don't know, I guess it. How long does it last? We're still on day one. How long does it last? It lasts for up to an hour. So yeah, you'd have to recast it. Yeah. So as you but that's my question, is because I cast uh, my level four spells, I cast three of them last game. So do I get those back for, no. for this one? Ooh. They're gone, right? We yeah, so I can't take, cast. We need to take a long rest. So that's what I thought, I can't cast Locate Creature. I wish I could help. <clears throat> yeah, Locate okay, Creature currently not be cast. You spend all your fourth level. How long does everything last from that feast, Keyleth? 24 hours. 24 hours. So we can still rest, take a long <laughs> rest, and still have the benefits from the feast. It lasts for 24 hours. If we if we wait, it escapes. He's a day longer away. Huh? And we only have three days to do this. And who's to say more guards won't come down? And how will we explain ourselves to them? And what if those things come back? I actually have a locate creature spell. I can do it. Well, I'll tell you this, everyone. I have only a limited amount of spells left to be effective in a fight against a creature like this. I have no melee uh, 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 offensive towards this creature whatsoever. This is going to be up to you with magical weapons and whatnot. I'm assuming. I'm virtually tapped out of all my spells. So is the cleric as well, and when they would like to do. So if we move forward, that's fine. We're only six hours in on the first day of this contract. Well, the cleric is burnt out of fourth level spells. Cleric is good. It's time or it's strength. That's that's what we're talking about. We wait and we go in fully charged. Or we go now, and we have a much better chance of catching up to it, but weakened. I will follow the group. As will I. You're in charge. Yeah, you're in charge. What do you say? Oh, now I'm in charge. You've always been in charge because you chose not to lead was your own fault. We go. We go. Can I get another healing spell then, Cashew? Why don't I do mass cure wounds on everybody? Oh, that'd be on great. On the group. I'm already good. You're good? Yeah, I flip my last potion to Keyleth. Uh, superior. Mm-hmm. So what are those? 2d8? It's 8d4 plus 8. Did you use your hit dice to heal yourself? I did. Okay. 8d4? 8d4 plus 8. 8d4 for superior. It's a big heal. Yeah, let's see if you're even going to need me to mask here. Let me get a few more d4s out. I'm going to do this twice. There we go. Let me know. Uh, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Nice roll. Yeah. Eight. Uh, so that 
it's 15, 19, uh, 22, plus another 8. Plus right? another 8, yeah. So, uh, 30. 30. Cool. Awesome. So is everybody good? Yeah. Does anybody Remember need healing? Remember, we plus 2d12. You sure? I mean, you knew we were on a time crunch, Tiberius. We have days left. We were chasing him down a hall. We don't have an egg timer. He just ran down here. He could fly to Timbuktu. Go to Craghammer. Hang out with Johnny Craghammer. (laughs) (laughs) I like Johnny Craghammer. Johnny Craghammer. Love his long story. <laughs> Let's go. Um, I'm gonna slowly push that door open and try to um, use perception in the room to see if, in if, this room? if that yeah if that crud is moving. Okay. Are you ready, to Mikaela? And try to see. Yeah, let me. I'll do. Um, push your way in. Actually, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do instead. Uh, actually, let me double. Let me double check and make sure I'm gonna do this. As you look inside, you yeah. walk Thank into the liquid. Thank you. Not one banana. It no. looks like there's a slow, very slow flow to it, um, coming kind of at an, at an angle. Um, it's very thick, um, and it looks like it's it's melted through the basis of the floor, and almost like it would probably continue underground and out of this room into whatever is beyond. You get a feeling there's something to why this part of the prison was probably abandoned. Okay. Wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. But back out slowly, and I'm gonna creep uh, back to the other door. That other one, yeah. Perception check there as well. That's uh, 26, uh, no it's not, that's 16. Okay. Uh, <coughs> the door is not currently locked. The hmm? door is not, not currently locked. Okay, and uh, does that count for the traps as well? That's. I would say that, yeah, it's not okay, trapped either. so I'm gonna open it an inch and see what I can see. Look inside, there is a large collapsed pile of rubble. Like, whatever this room once was has entirely collapsed in itself, and you can just see it's pushed up against the door, and uh, yeah, some, something made this room inert and is not currently functional. Acid is. Acid alley is the only way to go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drop to my knees real quick and Wait, take a minute to meditate. there's a door at the end of this hallway. That's what I just looked in, isn't we it? We did. And go There's ahead and. Third door. Oh, third door? I thought there was two. There's a third door. Uh, oh. I. Yeah. There? I once yep. knew someone who met a bad fate in acid. I would prefer to not encounter it myself. Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was a good man. I heard he was brave. Very brave. I never heard about this. How did you hear about this? Story? It was a good man who was murdered by the gods. It is legend. The acid guy is legend. Yes. All right. I go walking down the hallway this way. Okay. Keyleth, what are you doing? I'm along with. Tor- You're meditating. Let me. I'll uh, wait till he opens the door. Okay. So I'll make a perception check at that door. Go for it. As, uh... As you come up and finish your meal. Eleven. All right, uh, the door does not appear to be trapped. Uh, you don't know if it's locked yet. It's hard to tell from the record. I just, allow me. You're strong. That's I'm what they say. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's 27. It is also, from your perspective, not locked or trapped. Okay, now I'm gonna okay. drop to my knees and cast Locate Creature. Okay, nice. as you're finishing your small ritual for Locate, creature, you open up the door, and it is a spiral staircase that leads upward. You get the sensation this is where those earlier bastions were coming from. No acid. No acid in this room, no. Just a staircase up? You finish locate creature, and you sit there and you can sense grasping on that one encounter you had with that uh, Rakshasa, though it was still disguised as a dwarf, and the descriptor you have and you recognize this immediately. This is a very. This is the same type of ritual that you did earlier. And so there's now this weird kind of synchronous moment of you. You share some magical knowledge. Um, and she has money. And she has money, though a thousand less now. Um, you uh, you finish your concentration for a second, and you divine energy pulls you in a direction, and it pulls you in the direction of this 
way. I'm sorry. I think we're gotta go the through the acid. Very well. My armor is resistant to acid. Let me lead the way. Any uh, shit sitting around? Any rubbish? Uh, there are like clumps of what looks like a destroyed crate, mm-hmm. um, pieces of stone that have fallen from the partially collapsed walls. I'm gonna pull up a plank of that crate. As he's doing this, I cast fly on Torbir, Kilo, Claire, and Vax. Oh, you cast on three people. I can cast it at six level. Six level, you, it's one additional person. And per spell level. So I'm terrible at that. <laughs> Not back. The most dangerous thing a source Your math be. and my role in math. <laughs> we are a formidable okay, so team. Us Alrighty. four. It's a third level spell, so you can do four. Okay. Hmm? So against two? Everyone but you. Okay. Oh, so wait, 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 wait. Do you not hear it? Then everyone. We brought the flying carpet with us. It's in your bag of holding. You have a flying carpet. Oh, yes. Well, as that, I mean... That would be helpful to yes. fly over things, like pools of acid. Why don't we pull that out? Yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> as you're pulling out the, the, the flying carpet, we're gonna go ahead and take a break, a quick restroom break, for about four or five minutes or so, and we'll come right back to continue as they enter the room with a rather large pit of acid. <coughs> we'll be back in five minutes, guys. See you in a second. Ooh, acid pit, acid pit. Hi guys, I'm Hector. And I'm Erica. And we're the hosts of Geek and Sundry's brand new Twitch show, Group, Group Hug, Hug! Where we recreate famous comic book battles using Hero Clips. It's an awesome tabletop game. And we have got a very, very, very special episode tomorrow, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Who's on tomorrow's episode, Erica? Tomorrow, our special guest is Janet Varney, who is the voice of Korra in The Legend of Korra! Oh my gosh, and one of her favorite characters of all time is Jean, Jean Grey. Jean Grey, and so, so we're gonna be reenacting the Dark Phoenix saga. This is awesome. It's gonna be Phoenix and the X-Men versus the Shi'ar Imperial Guard on the blue side of the moon. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, tune in anyway. I promise you it's gonna be so much fun and it's gonna be epic. So check it out tomorrow, Group Hug, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I wish I could be a Disney princess so I could marry a homeless Arabian man. I wish I could be a Disney princess so I could have furniture as my only friends. And I wish I could be a Disney princess so I could fight the Mongolian army single-handedly. I wish I could be a Disney princess so I could live with seven tiny men. If I were a Disney princess, I would have everything at my fingertips. I could be Native American. If I were a Disney princess, I could cry life-saving tears. I could resurrect dead men with my tears. Jasmine, I want to be you, Cinderella. I want to be you, I just don't want to be the part of your life where you I wanna be you, Ariel. I wanna be you, 
so I could hang out with giant sassy drag queen squids. I wish I could be a Disney princess so I could marry some guy who kisses me as I sleep. I could be a Disney princess so I could be afraid of making ice Cause I don't want to kill my sister Alex, do you want to play with me? No. Okay! I wish I could be a Disney princess so I could have a man climb up my head <gasps> Yes, yes, yes! I wish I could be a Disney princess so I could have horse mice I really want And if I were, I'd take no recess To spread the warmth and love, it's the best Way to live your life I'd be a handsome man's wife And we'd kiss, and we'd kiss, and we'd kiss I wish I could be a Disney princess So I could marry a homeless Arabian
Cool. Welcome back, guys. Uh, before we get back to the game, uh, Ryan, you want to talk about that video? Yeah. Um, that Disney princess shit you saw was uh -huh. Lou Burger, and they're playing tomorrow at Gather Your Party uh, on this channel, and I will be performing uh, songs with Alex Lewis, who's half, half of Lou Burger, and these... I get to I get to I get to call Zach a dum dum for for once. <laughs> Zach the dum dum played the one video that I'm not in uh, of the group. So technically, the video I was sent ten minutes before show started was uh, through Alex, and he so he's the dum dum now. Eh, well, so they're both Alex dum -dum. is the dum dum. So sorry about that for the confusion. Uh, that's what's going on. You'll see me dance like a monkey tomorrow. Yeah. And I want to see that's that. Right. That's okay. No. There's a hell of a way to break that. the tension. So it worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So as as the rest of you have found your way into this long, partially. Uh, eroded hallway containing this this thick, green, viscous liquid. Um, you have pulled out the flying carpet. Yes, we all fit on it, right? Oh yeah, we can all get on this. Do one. you maybe yeah. want to sparrow across, Kayla? If someone could give me I, the flying. Um, oh, we took a short rest. I could. Then I then I get to come. What's happening? We have flying carpets. Get a flying carpet. Yeah. <laughs> Both buy some of our amazing critters. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the. Uh, I'm gonna go with the crocheted one tonight. Nice. Mm. That's fantastic. Crocheting is fantastic and a wonderful way to spend your time. <laughs> <laughs> you guys well, have the best fans. You really do. It's great, it's isn't it? You guys yeah. are pretty great. Oh, we all fit. <laughs> okay, amazing. we're good. We're good. Wow. Oh, we all fit on it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow. Let's go. All right. Onward. Okay. You guys. Fuck out of that place. Yeah. You drift down the hallway and the flying carpet. Staring at the slime the, on the ground. The air itself, like I said, it, it hurts and you have to kind of like continuously rub your eyes and Aww. keep them kind of shut. Um, Can I kind of make like a, slight... I make like a nice little wind zephyr to kind of give us a little airflow. Okay. As you move partway through this section, um, everyone make a perception check. Yeah. Oh, natural 20. Nice. That's cool. Not bad. Cool. 19. Uh, who's, 19. Helming, who's helming the magic armor, by the way? Looks like uh, Cash is. Who's what? Who's what? <laughs> I'm helming the damn magic carpet, of course. All right. <laughs> so you're helming the magic I, uh, I rolled a, a 6 plus a 12 total. 12. Okay. And your roll total of what? Natural 20. Natural 20. Oh 26. All right. So pulling forward, uh, you, uh, as you come around through the, the sections of the wall that are collapsed and rubble, there is, you notice that there are some. Uh, Sigils like in the wall, like uh, two foot high, uh, kind of carved stone uh, sigils about five feet ahead of you guys. There's yeah. one on each side. They have car do they have, are they infernal? Uh, it is not infernal, they are arcane in nature, though. Let's make an arcana check. Cool. Sometimes I really hate this old nope. world shit. Nope. Can I do a religion check on them? You can, yes. I mean, I got 10. So. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, there doesn't appear to be much religious connotation to the symbols, um, but they're, they're, it looks they're they're old and looks like they're placed there for a specific reason. As much as you can get from it. I'm making any traps or anything in the ceilings or the walls. Uh, you can make a perception check. I mean, he, he, I mean Tiberius kind of points it out to the rest of you guys, and you can see it. But um, nothing in addition to that. No, not Pardon. especially for you. You're you're. Your experience doesn't fall too much in the realm of the arcane. Like a history check? Or? You can try. Why not? How about handle animals, man? <laughs> <laughs> try every skill, just go through the whole list. Twelve. Yeah, the, the, there's nothing really historic about this, other than the fact that you're in the historic Amaranthine Oubliette prison here. Did anyone make an arcana check? Yeah. Yeah. And we didn't find anything out? No. This is something that my stone cutting skills would be relevant to. Uh. It's not structural uh -huh. in looking at it. It okay. looks like these were added to it once it was built. Although it is it is a storage room, so it's strange that these would be placed in the center of the I'm just, room. Can I make would I make an insight check perhaps? No, that doesn't truly really doesn't apply. No, for the insight's more for in individuals yeah. and um, motives. All of our oh wisdom saving throws continue. Yeah. Um I can't, I, like, this is not, this is, I just don't want to be over this acid anymore. Okay, so you push forward? It's just don't. It's, okay. that's what, worried about these. that's what my friend thought. Right. You push forward, you <laughs> get, you get acid. about here as you're passing through the two sigils, and there's a flash. 
from the sigils. They just glow bright, and it's almost like two flash bulbs go off from I'll side stop. to side. That can't be good. I'll you stop. stop. And uh, the carpet dips. Yeah, don't stop. Keep going. Keep As going. As in, the carpet goes limp. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Uh, okay. Okay. As the carpet goes limp, you all begin to plummet forward. You need to go ahead and make a concentration check. Oh my god. Sweet. Uh, it's with your uh, constitution modifier. Uh, 16. 16? Okay. So you cast uh, Fly mm -hmm. multiple times. Uh, the spell continues, or uh, people begin to lift up, and then the spell fades. There's something about these sigils like that is canceling magic. Oh, so However, the carpet is now going limp, and all of you are now plummeting down towards the acidic surface below. Your action was casting fly. Um, there is one piece of kind of open ground here that could fit maybe two people. Torbjorn dives for it. Okay. I, can I cast Torbjorn. Wall of Stone and make a, a big. Oof, stone underneath of us to support the the carpet. Go ahead and uh, roll a concentration check. Roll an idea. Let's use this one. Add my what? I'm double checking. Right. Three. Yeah. How many of us? There are five of us. Okay. I can, if two of you can get on there, I can get the same rest of this. Con constitution back? saving throw, essentially, is what it is. Constitution saving throw. Yes. Why? This I'm is to falling? maintain your concentration as you're falling. You're plummeting at your... 13. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, due to the jostling, you're unable to get the spell out in time. Um, so, Torbeer, uh, who else is jumping for the platform? I go eagle. Okay, you go eagle form. <laughs> Keyleth catches herself before plummeting inside and goes giant eagle form, <sighs> kind of gliding past without an issue. Um, Tiberius is as falling. I want you guys to, uh, Tiberius, Torbeer, Vex, and Cash to all make dexterity saving throws. I want to tell me how I would go about doing this. As I fall with the carpet, I want to try to pull up on the carpet and just land in the shit. Okay. Yeah. Make an acrobatics check. 27. Nice. Seven. All right. Uh, so. What was your deck? 14. 14. 14 Se total. 17. 17. 12. 12. So, uh, Torbir and Tiberius <laughs> make it onto that small platform and barely catch yourself before plummeting into the liquid. Um, however, Brother Cash, you <laughs> and it's about waist deep from where you hit and impact. And immediately you feel just this horrible, corrosive, burning sensation. You, grabbing the carpet, lift and drift and come down into the section. This one, the section has eroded more and you are about to go up to your shoulders. Okay. Uh, and immediately the two of you suffer uh, 18 points of acid damage. I'm wearing uh, acid resistant armor. So you take nine points instead. Can I fly? And pick up Brother Cash as an eagle and try and fly and drag Don't him to the him. shore. You oh, can. Is, it, is he a gnome? Cash. No, no he's human. human. Oh, I was like, get the carpet from him instead. Save uh, him. You're just barely catching your side. You can't fine. talk to her. Save She's over the other way right now. Um, you, however, uh, are submerged in the liquid now. Am I under? You, you completely like you're having to tread. If you're underneath? holding, you are now underneath. Yep, you are and completely is submerged. The carpet with me. The carpet is with you. Under under the acid. It is currently in the in the acid. Well, that did not work. <laughs> no. Wait, carpets uh, in the acid? Yes. With him, yes. Um, so you guys are still on the edge there. Um, you've reach over and grab him by his. Grab the grab the carpet. Grab the carpet with you, Cash. Cash. He reaches grab the out and grabs his hand. Grabs the carpet, even though it's sizzling. Yeah, the carpet takes. <gasps> Oh, my day. Uh, 16 points of acid damage. Um, as you're pulling him out, it's taking your turn to pull it out as opposed to try and escape from that point. You take another uh, 15 points of acid damage until eventually you're pulled out from 
the entire pool and carried over to the other side and then dropped on the other side. Uh, both of you guys pulling the carpet out. Partially, the carpet itself, its color has dampened part portions of the corners of the carpet are dissolved, and it, you can see the liquid that's on it is still eating away at the actual fibers of the carpet. Uh, you're still submerged. Um, you take another... Oof. Uh, be... 18 points of acid damage reduced to nine again. That it since took last time. Um, now, what are you doing? Me? Yes. I'm trying to climb, way climb up onto the rock that uh, is right there that I didn't jump onto. Right yeah. here? Yeah. There's only enough room for two people. Who's on it now? Uh, currently, Tiberius and. Uh, well, I guess I'm Corbier. swimming through acid then. Oh. And you can try and get on there, but you probably push somebody else off. No, no, no. I'm mm -hmm. just going to start wading towards the other side. Okay, athletics just... roll. It is a very thick kind of. <laughs> will be liquid. That's all right, because I rolled a 19, so uh, that is uh, no, 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 a total of 21. 21. That'll be enough to get you just towards the edge and you, uh, pull yourself out onto the side of the stonework, um, taking a final uh, be 13 points of acid damage, half because of your armor, you take uh, seven. Snake man. <laughs> On the side, both you and Kishar are like, <laughs> Touching yourself, wiping it off of the parts of the flesh, and you can see there are like there's scarring on your skin from where the uh, liquid began to dissolve some of the flesh in the outer layers. Shit. Um, the carpet itself is still edges of it are starting to can burn you away and dissolve. Press the digitation that shit off. He's across the way right now, currently on the small platform with Torbier. What are you guys doing right now? I want to look at the walls and see if there's handholds or some other way that I can try to not try to like go across the wall, uh, you know, God of War style? Um, looking at it, there are parts of the walls that have like slowly just become pockmarked from the proximity of this this caustic vitriol. Um, I mean, they're few and far between if you can attempt to do like a leap kind of parkour style, but that would be a pretty hefty feat of acrobatics to do so. Um, well, as you may know, acrobatics are something we heavy plate mail wearing dwarves are extraordinarily <laughs> Is she still a? Uh, you can, you can eagle? fly now. Yeah, from the other side. No, I'm not falling. Oh, you burned out. Eagle, hey, eagle. Ah! 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 <laughs> I'm just gonna scoop over. Ah! Ah! There you go. You grab Torbier. Actually, eagles sound like shit. They use like a raptor or something like that. Eagles don't actually sound like that. Eagles are actually like meh. Right, they use, an, they like use an actual raptor sound. They they record from the wild. Something like that. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> they all carry tiny little microphone things yeah. right here. They have to construct eagle noises in posts. It's all part of the great eagle yeah. conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> all, it's all foley. Just Everything with eagles. Eagle. Frank Welker is the sound of every eagle that's ever been out there. <laughs> I saw this great documentary about it Dra on YouTube. Drafts, <laughs> drafts, foxes, eagles. Eagles. No it's yeah. all Frank Welker. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Every so. other animal. And Bradley, Bradley Baker. Baker. Team Bradley Baker. Baker. <laughs> <laughs> Team Bradley Baker. Um, so are you, are you grabbing Tiberius or Torbier? Voice over humor. Uh, Tiberius. Uh, 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 sorry. Uh, uh, He's more important. Uh, I'll take up my mending wheel when I land and grab the carpet. Fix that shit. Nice. Okay. Um, and then I go back for Torbier. Okay. Take Torbier and lift him back over. Um, wow. Magic Carpet has sustained fairly hefty damage, and currently, the way you're reading it, uh, its enchantment is fading. Hurry, quick, 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 quick. Come on, Tiberius. What? I'm fixing it. I'm using the mending wheel. Okay. You take the mending wheel and you set it up. Maybe get the acid off of it first. I press to digitate it off first. Okay. There. Throw it up there. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? How are you doing? No, we should, I'm. I can walk. I can we fight. Should, we not, should heal. I'm not as pretty. Let's heal. And remember, you did, if everyone rolled two d twelve, you get that in your maximum, like yeah. added to your maximum hit points mm -hmm. from your meal. Is pushing himself back as far away from the acid as he can possibly. Yes. You're okay. okay. It doesn't care okay. how ridiculous he looks. Okay, as you keep yourself in the back, you're looking it's at it, you can see it's all kind of flowing in this kind of direction slowly. Yeah. It looks like there's a section of the uh, the wall here that's somewhat open, and you can see there's a pathway where it's kind of flowing through 
this direction and is kind of coasting and then flowing out underneath the wall of this side. Um, so you're just keeping a very close eye on that. You can, you finish assembling the mending wheel. You take the, ma- the the flying carpet and you set it on there. Uh, the wheel begins to rotate, and as it does, the carpet kind of curls up, almost like a like a heat heat to a hair. It kind of just curls up on its own and begins to formulate this small cluster of, of material. You can see where a lot of its vibrant color is gone and left with dark, charred and uh, partially eaten away cloth and cotton. Um, I'm going to ask you to make an arcana check to attempt to use your concentration and knowledge of magic enchantment to maintain it. 18. 18? This is the percentile. Okay. As the wheel spins and spins, you can see as the color is fading and fading and fading, the spark of enchantment in the carpet sputters and sputters. And then the... uh, the threads of the flying carpet begin to f- re- to reattach and reform, and the areas where the damage to the carpet begin to ravel back out into a fully functional formed carpet. The mending wheel eventually comes to a stop. The spokes of it collapse inward, and the carpet unfurls uh, a solid, well, seemingly untouched piece of material. Cool. A mundane carpet. Oh, well, that could have gone better. That was a nice carpet. It's a waste of fucking time. Let's press on it. I'd like to uh, mask your wounds first. Okay. Fuck. Vex is gonna kill us. Yeah. Who is that? My sister. Oh, oh. God, we just heard them scream from the other room. <laughs> oh, my God. Hmm. On a delay, they just saw it. Yeah, they did. We're sorry. <laughs> 30 yeah, seconds. half of the party. I'm We're going to die. I'm, Kill us. I'm 20 injured. seconds after it happened, and we heard them scream from out there. Why are you being so poopy today, Tiberius? I, I'm just, I'm cranky because I haven't slept. That's why. Just take a moment for the carpet, please. We've had a lot of good times with that carpet. Had a lot yeah, of good times. Bad, right? you've, you've had that carpet for a while. We found our first the road carpet. on that carpet. Never mind, let's not talk about that. Ah. Uh, Fugger has no attachment to this carpet. No. For exits. Nor does Cash Okay, go ahead. Well, make does Texas. Texas. well, I do. I know. And my sister's gonna kill me. Uh, Sex is gonna be so angry. Much. The structural elements of the I just, I give Vax a hug. Okay. I, I give Vax a hug. <coughs> Are we curing the wounds too? Uh, yes. Uh, well, what's the uh, total amount of cure? It's a half elven. Mask your wounds? I know. Total they amount the is. Uh, well, I wanted to get Cass and everybody. If I can, uh, I would say I would say mass cure wounds, just as a tactical standpoint, is a better thing to say for combat because it's like a thing you can do one round and heal. Oh, everybody. it's instantaneous. Okay, so, right, I, so I this, oh, it's instantaneous. This, Sorry, so this yeah. you, can, you would more want to spend your level one cells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People as you go. Around. I think right. I think I'd like to do that. I'd like to at least cure myself with my level one cure. Then okay, go for it. Just kill this tiger. I cure, cure. All right, wound. so looking about this area, the wall is solid stone. Uh, there is no apparent exit. You take a while and kind of inspect the wall, but it Bye, just coffee. seems to be. <laughs> Solid walls. Either the the exit may have been part of the class wall, or there is no exit to this room. Equal to one d8 plus my spellcasting ability. One d8. I can't seem to find a way out of here. Maybe. Uh, sorry, maybe, sorry. Maybe your skills can. Yeah, be used that's an eight. <sighs> sorry. There's time to mourn the dead. It's like a carpet. member of our family, man. You got an 18 on perception. An 18 on perception. So what, we're at a dead end on the other side of this shit? Two, I certainly hope not. <clears throat> Looking around the wall, you can see there's a section where you both kind of look over on the far end in the corner, and there is a small panel of stone that seems to have a slight mismatch in the texture of the rest of the wall. Um, you kind of, as you're both over the wall, you see it, and you take that cue and walk up and kind of shove the plate to the side, and it <laughs> Glides to the side slightly, and there is a small uh, three foot by three foot kind of entryway that exits this side of the room. Man, we almost so, lost the carpet that one time, too, and we found it. She's still talking about the carpet. I'm sorry. Yes, I know. It's we were literally just swimming in acid. Look, Tiberius, just 
for sentimental value, we'll put it in Grey Skull Keep. Just put it in your bag. Yeah, please. can we? It's yeah. already in the bag. We can hang it up like a tapestry. Oh. That'll no. be nice. No. We what can just see? make it fly so, again. As you guys are having this conversation, oh. Torbier has disappeared through a small pathway that he found. Out. Him and uh, Vax both found him out of the room. Folks, we're moving. And I follow. Okay. You step through a 15-foot corridor that immediately opens into another room that has a, a, a small kind of uh, uh, lower, as the lack of a term, a foyer area, and a slight step up into a large contained room. This room is not as dark as everything else you've gone through, which is a part of light source. This one has a very, very faint series of brazers along the walls that have like almost like a slight ember torch light uh, lighting the vicinity. Looking inside, you can immediately see uh, what looks to be uh, another small stream of that same acidic vitriol that is kind of slowly pouring across the floor, and this appears to be the source that you saw before that has been trickling through and is eating into the side of the wall immediately to your left. Along the walls, there are sets of armor of varying size that are just kind of set up as ornamental pieces. And in the center of the room, there is a 10-foot-tall stone statue that stands before you. Um, humanoid. A uh, male with slicked long hair that goes to about the mid back. You see fine robes that look beautifully carved out of this this kind of mid dark gray stone. The face is very chiseled and handsome, but atop the top of the forehead you see these two hooked horns that continue upward. Uh, there is not two legs, but one singular cloven hoof at the bottom of its torso as it stands, and you can see from the eyes the source of the green acidic liquid that drips down like tears, pools onto the ground and spills out of the room. Well, that's not good. Kashad, does this mean anything to you? Are you guys all entering after? Yes. I step away from the ashes to my right. Okay. Starting to do a religion check on the statue? You may, very much so. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, you recognize very clearly from your religious studies and your travels, uh, this is uh, Dispater, who is one of the archdevils of the second layer of hell, also known as the Iron Duke, and is considered a master of politics and manipulation. The Iron Duke. I'm going stealth now. You may roll stealth. Messer politicians and deception. Politics and deception. I cast great invisibility. Alrighty. I will say, uh, it's at this point that you, as you all have kind of assembled and you hear a voice echo through the room. He starts off as this low, kind of simmering growl. This, I ask you all this question. Why do you hunt Hotis? Why do you come seeking me dead so fervently that you would continue past such terrible losses and dangers? Looking around the room, you see no source of the voice. It seems to be either omnipresent or loud enough that the echoing of the walls doesn't give away any location. Our hand is forced. We are bound by contract. I do not personally wish to be here. What if I could tell you this contract you are bound to, that there are ways of getting around such magics? Why should we trust someone who chooses not to reveal itself? Why should you trust someone that with very little reason sends you to your death beneath a prison cell to die in a pit of acid? We're not dead yet. Yet. What 
There's this offer that you speak of. You could try and kill me, and you may very well destroy me, but I'll be back. Or, we could choose to make a deal. Perhaps a separate contract. Equally binding, but nowhere near as dangerous as this one. And I would say, as part of this deal, perhaps uh, we could do some business down the road. You've already walked into my place of business and disturbed my customers and briefly, nearly, uh, ended my business venture for the time being. This is a very angering thing for one who spends a very long time building these ventures. And I have plans. I have plans. Looking at the boop of you, I could see that perhaps you are not uh, bound by the moralities that such silly folks in Vasselheim seem to cling to. Am I incorrect? Can I Why make it? Good. Why don't you come out and speak to us face to face? Hosier. Or Hosian. Hotis. Ah, so your real name is Hotis. If that is your real name. <laughs> it is the name you know. That is all that is required. But I think you know as well as I do for my safety. I will remain unseen, just as your friend has. Now, will you let me leave? We can have this conversation in the comfort of my own room. In fact, we could throw a small party. I have the means to do so. You've already proven quite skilled at combat, and I, uh, I would hate to think you would throw away an opportunity for what paltry sum they're offering you for a, a temporary victory. Torber steps back and blocks the door. Okay. Does anybody trust this guy? No deal. No. I don't think it's a real He's a bad idea. He serves the god of politics and deception. Does he? I'm assuming. Oh, is this that same guy? Hmm. Well, I'm assuming if he's got the statue of... This is his clubhouse. Dis the Iron Duke himself. Of Iron Duke. I'd like to make an insight check and see if I can just get a sense of how confident Go for he it. feels. Bloody motherfucker! I want to know everything about him. I want to know his parents' name. I want to know his social security number. I want to know what his bank account balance is, and I want to know his actually Madison password. <laughs> I want him dead. I want his house burned to the ground. Oh. As, as you're all taking in the still and very creepy omnipresence of, of this Fotis character, you and hearing the voice, it is a very trained voice. This is an individual that has spent the entirety of their life manipulating and toying with the emotions, minds, greed, and goals of others to get its desires itself, both self-preservation and the progressive expansion of its own territory. You can tell in its voice there is a hint of fear and a very, very heavy coating of words that are very well practiced and silver-tongued, but you gather that there is very, very little intent to follow through on its side of the bargain, and everything is designed as misdirection to send whatever it's made a deal with to its eventual doom. It dies in this room. Do you hear me? You die in this room. Let's kill him. That is unfortunate. I would like all of you to make perception check right now. Oh my god. Nope. Uh, what am I gonna take? Let's give me, <laughs> give me, give me, give me this guy. Uh, 13 total. Not bad. 23. 19. 23. Five. Okay. Uh, both uh, Keyleth and Vax, you, looking around the room, it is still, there's a little hint of movement, and you look over and at the statue itself, there's a little glimmer of something shift. You see what appears to be this amulet or necklace of some kind that was resting around the statue vanishes. Oh, son of a, son of a bitch. Can I... That? I want to cast Fairy Fire in that direction, like right where I see the glimmer. Okay. Uh, first off, everyone roll initiative. Oh, 
shit. Just in case anyone was worried, if you thought perhaps we'd slipped into some sort of odd parallel universe <laughs> where I was competent <laughs> or in any way able to do anything, just to let you know you that roll? we are in fact in the same reality, I did just roll another one. Okay. <laughs> oh <Plus>, God! <laughs> I can fly! <laughs> Okay. Wow. <laughs> well done. <laughs> you got us so much insight, though. Torbir is just slow because he is processing and dealing with the oh rage and anger and the memories of betrayal that he has experienced, having heard these sounds come from the mouths of others before. And with that, uh, <laughs> 20 or higher. 15 to 20. No, 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 19. 19. All right. 15 to 10. 14. 13. 12. <laughs> wow, look at that. Wait, so 14 was uh, cash? Yes, sir. Uh, 13 was... Me. Kila. And then Tiberius. And then... Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> all right, <coughs> top of the round. Okay, <coughs> you hear some footsteps, do, 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 do. Um, and there is a brief shimmering, and you see across the room a form <coughs> appear in the far corner. Uh, you see immediately this humanoid figure appear. Uh, Long reddish robes, uh, humanoid body, but the head itself is this dark gray, feline, you know, tiger-like entity. This long, pronounced feline snout, big fangs dripping from it, long whiskers, this sadistic grin on its face. The amulet that was once adorning the statue now around its neck, where its hands are. You can see the hands are actually backwards and upturned in these nasty-looking claws, and it continues and releases its hands in some sort of arcane form. Rashasa. <laughs> Rakshasa! 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 And with that, Tiberius. So I don't yeah. get fairy fire off on him first? No, this is that's going to be on your turn there. Poop. This is, that was what the uh, initiative roll was for. Um, yes. I need you to go ahead and make a wisdom save. Hold on, what is he doing? Is he casting a spell? Advantage, advantage, uh, advantage. He is yes, yes, okay. yes. Fourth level counter spell. <laughs> What counter spell? You have advantage on no, wisdom saving throws. throws. Alright. Just throwing out there because of our favorite. Okay. So, so you, you do oh. that. <laughs> Except no. though. You shall not do nothing on my watch. Keep up the bard. Get him. No. Alright. I love yeah. that you felt like you had to clarify. <laughs> so, uh, he goes and finishes a, uh, a uh, charm person spell mm -hmm. towards you. You just <laughs> release that with your ring and <laughs> the spell dissipates from his grasp. It growls under its breath. And how can you see me, by the way? I'm invisible still. He can see. Bastard! He's smart. <laughs> oh, um, I'm still sitting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though you're invisible, he looked right at you and cast the spell. You gather that there's something about him that can see through invisibility. Hmm. Um, with that, he's going to go ahead and move him to it. Um, that direction. Uh, and at the end of that, that brings us to Vax. All right, well, I earlier rolled a 32 on stealth, but I don't know if it means shit uh, right now, but I'm uh, clicking my boots of haste and moving along the wall. Uh, I'm gonna... Uh, on the wall here? Uh, oh no, I'm gonna stay put. I'm just going to uh, attack him. I'm just gonna throw dagger, dagger, dagger through the air. <laughs> Okay. From the shadows. I have no idea. He might be able to see me like the predator. I don't know. Okay. Go for it. Okay. So, uh, but he already moved, right? He did, yes. Uh, he already saw it. So I don't get advantage for assassinate, uh, but we'll see if I get sneak attack damage. Uh, that's a three, so that's shit. Uh, that's a nine plus. That's 
15 misses. <laughs> dagger, dagger, dagger. Uh, that is uh, 21. 21 does hit. 21. <clears throat> that was the dagger of life stealing. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> first one just kind of spins off the second one. It comes out and it out of the way. The third one hits him right. on the side of the shoulder. Now you tell me. I was hitting in the shadows of level 32. Does that matter with him? Right. You can go ahead and roll sneak attack. Okay. So. Uh, Twenty-two. Yeah, twenty-two. Twenty-two damage. All right. Uh, it smacks into him. It hits him. The impact, though, seems to almost be partially absorbed or shrugged off. You're not entirely certain. It feels like it should have hit harder, but nevertheless, he took damage. Faster. Alrighty. <clears throat> um. That, are you gonna stay put? Stay where you are. Uh, I'm gonna move uh, through the group, directly counter to him behind the statue here. There. Okay. Alrighty. That'll end your turn. Now, uh, Cash, you are going at the same time. One of the nearby larger armored uh, pieces of armor <laughs> comes to life and steps forward. You can now see there is a large humanoid form that is built out of a giant breastplate with a shoulder pauldrons, a helmet and uh, these giant stone-like fists and feet that come lunging forward. Uh, portions of its body are made up of like a thick leather or wood structure as it comes <laughs> bursting forward. Um. What's that? <coughs> you, can, you can hope to uh, make a check on your turn. Obviously a go. But, brother, yeah. Tash, what are you doing? Uh, well, let's see how tough this guy is. Let me cast a quick sacred flame on the new. Uh, first, I want to move into the room. Okay, move there, further in. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna get it to where eventually we're gonna try to get a semicircle around him. Okay. So, so maybe yeah, closer to that, like that area, like right around there, and get kind of a crescent going. Okay, cool. So this is about as far as you can get with there. Okay. Move this turn. Perfect. Right. And then uh, yeah, let's try. Uh, Let's try a quick sacred flame on against which guy? Against the new the new right entity. Yes. All right, go for it. That's you, right? Yeah. So, all right. So he gets his a saving throw. All right. Uh, it does make it saving throw. Hooper. I will just roll a natural nineteen. Um, so as you release the sacred flame, it seems to almost <laughs> just ricochet off. There's some sort of a, uh, a magical essence about this creature's construction. Okay. Uh, so that ends your turn. Yep. Uh, this entity here now, um, it is going to step forward right here, and you can see it kind of brings its fists up for a second, and there's a small gem that's embedded in one of the stone fists, and you can see it's kind of pulsing with stored energy. It puts the fist forward as the rock shots in the background as Otis like instructs it and points forward towards you guys. It puts the fist forward. The gem glows red and then <laughs> releases a very familiar looking little bead of red energy. Is it a spell? Do I recognize that as a it spell? It is a spell. Cast? Is that a disintegration cool. ray? Counter spell. Yes. You've already used your reaction this turn. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> as this, you guys look over and see this, as a the red beam comes and hits the back wall and <laughs> detonates in a large fireball blast that the encapsulates the entire opposite uh, I'm side using of the evasion. Room. I'm just going to hit the bitch. ground and roll. Ow. Okay. So that would be a dexterity saving throw for all of you. Come on. Nope. Ooh, yeah! Actually, Natural 19. Oh. Na -na 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 19. Damn. Seven. Seven? <laughs> Fail. 19. 19. 24. 24. Get a, you well, a one. I mean, I, I know what you're thinking. Oh, clearly I haven't touched my die. Because <laughs> the last time I rolled my die, it had a one on it, but in fact, I did roll another one. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we're this close to, to starting the apocalypse. Like, with, well, each, yeah. with each one that you roll, like one small black hole is getting a little bit bigger yeah, in the universe. Yeah, yeah. Or like like somewhere deep beneath the Vatican, there's like some monk who's running around screaming as all like the their their artifacts are cracking in half. Yeah, they are. It's amazing. All right, well that that is uh, thirty three points of damage. To, Tor to Torbeer, 
uh, and to Brother Cash, half of that to both of you guys. How much was the first one? What was it was 33. So half of that so will put you at 16. What do we have to hit? I rolled a 16. You rolled a 16. Uh, that would be it would be a 16. So, so you mean I made it. So you made it. Uh-huh. So you take no damage. Nothing. I hit the ground and roll. Stop, drop, and roll, people. Stop, drop, and roll. A little busy right now. On fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, as um, that is the 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 creature's turn. The, the gem, it kind of finishes itself, pulls back. However, the gem now goes to a dull, dark state. With no more stored magical energy. Uh, Cash, what are you doing? Uh, I gotta heal myself, unfortunately, because I'm uh, getting down there. So I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to cure wounds. Okay, at what level? Guess it is a higher level. I want. know. I'm not sure I want to yet. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna. I am. I'm gonna mass cure wounds right now, just because I'm so low. Okay. So it's level five. Okay. So mass cure wounds. Everyone heals. Did you do this to them? Did you come to watch them die when they were playing? So that is 3d8 yeah. plus 5. 3d8 plus 5. Or the eights. Plus, you get a healing bonus as, as you are a healing cleric as well. Okay. Looking at your special abilities. Oh, yeah, you get plus 2 to all your healing spells. So, 3d8. Nice! Oh, good. Nice. Okay, that's good. So, 17 plus 5, you said? So that's 23. Plus 2. Plus 2. So it's plus 7 to each, actually, because plus is spell level 2. So uh, so it's plus 7 on top of that. Plus 7 on top. Okay, now you confuse me. Now there's all these numbers. So we've got <laughs> <laughs> 17 plus the 2, so that's 19. Plus 5. Plus 5, yes. Okay. Let's all right, just so call it 50. Go. So it's 20, 24. Okay. Okay. Cool. So everybody gets 24, is that right? 24 hit points. Oh, nice. Back up and, pull. and remember, you get a plus 2d12 to your max hit points because we ate good food. Nothing beats a home cooked meal. Yeah. Did everyone keep track of that? Yes, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, so, Cash, that, that's your move, that's your spell, that's your turn, you're done. Keyleth, you're up. Fairy fire. Poof! Right on the Rakshasa. Rakshasa. Alrighty. Rakshasa! You go ahead and you cast fi- Fairy Fire, and you can see the energy coalesce. And dissipate. Son of a bitch. The Rakshasa, unaffected entirely by the spell. None of a magical words again. Words you know what I'm going to say. I'm speaking draconic again. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I look at him and I go. Nothing will work against him. And I go. Hmm. <laughs> and now I'm going minxy. Okay. My, my accent's off. Going minxy. Tiger on tiger. Tiger on Tiger! There's a website for that. <laughs> oh, I saw the show with the Bellagio, it's amazing. <laughs> now, uh, you guys watch as Keyleth now angrily morphs into this large, uh, white, saber-toothed tiger that roars in the ground where she once was. Uh, you can move still if you wish. Um, I'll go ahead and... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for, I'm going for Rakshasa, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna head this way. Do you have so a speed gonna, of 40, I think? Uh, my speed is... Hmm, 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 40. So you can get right up next to it. Yep. So you just run around the side of the, of the giant statue and right up in the face of Hotis personally. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Let's bring it. And if Keyless's turn, Tiberius, you're up. Tiberius, you're up. And Forbear, you're on deck. Okay, fine. Or th. Do it to it. I'm going to attempt to cast slow on the both of them. On both of them. Forty foot cube, 120 foot range. Okay, cool. Center in, in the center where it won't hurt anybody else except for them. Okay. Actually, I think I can pick who I affect as a, as a matter of fact. And that's what I do. Okay. Down. I think the wolves do it. Rakshasa. Okay. <laughs> we have to do it. Stop. Uh, what's the DC on it? 17. 17. Uh, the uh, the golem like creature, which if you want to make an arcana check right now, Let's see if you can finish it. 21. 21. 
you haven't seen one of these before, but you've heard about it in passing, and you feel like there was a story once about it. It's referred to as a shield guardian. Shield uh, it, guardian. It is linked to whoever wears the amulet and manages to share damage should the wearer take damage. Um, oh, that's interesting. Elementary. It also slowly repairs itself over time. Um, so yes, you cast slow. Uh, the rock Sasha appears unaffected. However, the guardian does seem to... <laughs> Its movements seem to shimmer and shake as it's forcing its way through the arcane net you've now cast around it. Cool. So now it takes a negative two penalty to its AC and it's dexterity saving, saving throws, throws and, and it can't, can't use reactions. reactions. Yep. <clears throat> Sweet. Um, ha ha ha. Uh, and I move as far away from everything as I can. Okay. So where are you going? Over here? Yeah. That's about as far as you can, far you can get away from everything. So Alrighty. Uh, that brings us to Torbeer. Uh, am I close enough to charge up and hit that guardian? You could. I'd say make him. Well, you could probably leap over these other pops. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, I would like to do that. Okay. You leap across. You, you kind of grin and bearing as you just dodge over the bits of acid, kind of cringing as I'm as accustomed to failure. <laughs> <laughs> and you rush up to the side with your axe, and... So, I'm going to make uh, my first, uh, I'm going to use my, uh, so I'm going to use an action surge. Okay. So, I get an additional action. So, that was my move, right? Correct. So, uh, my additional action will be my, will be to make, uh, to make the, my, my, uh, attack. Does that mean I get to do six attacks? Oh. That's going to be six points. Go for yeah, it. Right? Okay, so here's do I, if I'm going to use a maneuver, do I have to declare it ahead of time? Uh, I would say yes. Zip okay, this is, a, this, is a, this is a commander's strike. Can I roll strike. four of those d20s? No, 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 here we go. This is science. Come on. 13. Okay. Uh, 23. Oh. 23. It hits. Yeah. Nice. All right, so this is a commander's strike. Um, I... When you take the attack action on your turn, you can forego one of your attacks and use a bonus action to direct one of your companions to strike. When you do so, choose a friendly creature who can see you or hear you and expend a superiority die. That creature can immediately use its reaction to make one weapon attack, adding the superiority die to the attack's damage roll. So I would like to direct the uh, tiger thing to hit the, to attack the tiger thing. I'm there. Yeah. Okay. Can I do that? You can. So that's with my first, that's my first uh, attack. Situation. Yeah. So you go so, ahead. So, so first, roll your damage from the strike. Okay. Uh, Grr. Six plus six uh, slashing damage. Twelve slash. Twelve slash. Nice. <laughs> um, and then so she. Uh, now, do I roll the superiority die for her, or does she roll it? Uh, you give it to her, and she, or she, you can roll it now, and she'll add it to you. You don't damage. want to touch this, so just roll a d10. Good to know. Like this. <laughs> All right. So now he looks to you and gives you the opportunity to attack the rock Sasha as a reaction. Uh, so I'm gonna do my bite attack, and I get to add this to, to my damage. To, to damage. Um, okay, so that's 15. 15. This is. You strike out, and the rock Sasha, right, your face just docks out of the way and kind of has a small cane to its side that it kind of knocks your strike to the side. Okay. So, okay. Sorry. Okay, that's all right. Second attack. Do I get to keep this, or was that the only time? That's the only time. Oh, confer. Aha! That's a two. All right. Sorry, you, hit, you hit the side of its armor and just ping the flex off the side with a loud ringing sound. Uh, attack number three is a three. I'm guessing 13 is not good enough to hit that thing. Unfortunately, no. Okay, attack number four. Is this 27? Yeah! Hit! How about that? Yeah! Put some damage on that one. Okay. Um, this is going to be a. Uh, oh shoot, sorry. My thing got me wrong. Um, apologies. Sorry. Oh, this is ruining the dramatic tension. So we'll fix it in post. <laughs> um, this is a precision attack. Okay. So um, I, uh, I use a superiority die and I add it to my uh, damage roll. Right? Did I read that right? That's added to your attack. Son of a bitch. All right, never mind. I'm just, then I'm just going to roll regular damage. Okay. Bad motherfucker. That's one plus six. Seven. Seven, seven damage. Seven. seven. Uh, that's All right. my fifth attack. Yeah, you have two more. That's another one. 
And roll your last one. All right, here's my last attack. <laughs> oh, it's an 18! Yeah! I crit, I crit on an 18! You crit on an 18? I crit on an 18. Hey. Son of a bitch! No, I don't! Uh, Fuck me! Even your memory betrays you. I know it does. Uh, 28? Is that 28. Hit? I think yeah. it'll hit. Go ahead and okay. damage. Great. Um, oh, and let me just look at these things and see if any of this useless stuff is going to do any good for me at all. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to use this as a maneuvering attack. Okay. I can expend a superiority die to maneuver one of my comrades into a more advantageous position. Um, and then uh, one of my comrades can move. That's, there's no point in doing that. I thought I could move the bad guy, which is what I would like to do, which is what I could do if I were pushing it. Yeah. Um, all right, so um, can I use my repost? When a creature misses you with a melee attack, use your reaction and expend a die to make a melee attack against the... You do that if it attacks you. Great, so okay, so I'm just going to remember that I have that so Just do your damage. Um, uh, 13. All righty. So out of the six strikes, three make contact. You're starting to carve sections into the leathery kind of uh, connecting areas of the shield guardian. You're doing damage, but it's still pretty hardy and holding itself up. That ends your turn, Torbeer, up the top. All right, uh, Hotis, who is unhappy and next to you, uh, is going to uh, is going to disengage here. Do I get a free attack? You do, yes. Uh, nope. Nope, okay. Nope. Uh, and, uh, hmm. No, it's actually gonna stay back here. And it's going to look over and glance at... Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna glance at you, Vax. You see this time it's going to go ahead and it pulls itself back and with this kind of grin that catches your eye and there's a slight shine to its its uh, connection there and it's a whisper something under its breath. Go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, hey, but with advantage. With, with advantage, advantage because of the meal shame. I'm so glad I made such a hearty meal. Uh, 15. 15 total? <sighs> yeah. All right. Second time in a row, your mind is not your own. Oh, for the love of... I will kill you all. <laughs> you feel the will of the rock Sasha take your mind as you are dominated by it. Is this something he can save Wait, from, though? Wait, is we'll this see. A, can, yes. What happened? Is this a spell being cast? Yes. I'm possessed, man. Oh, kind of spell. Fourth level. Pay attention, you, dude! You currently don't have visual on him. Besides, you should have done that shit already! This is the moment already happened! Ten foot statues right Possessed. there. I'm possessed! Shut up! I'm trying yeah, to save you. That same team! I'm <laughs> same team! I'm possessed! Same team! She's trying okay. to break yeah, there's, bad there's, there's, a bit, there's a big statue between the two of you, unfortunately, the 10-foot statue, so you wouldn't have visual on it when oh, it comes Oh, that with the this is, is coming yeah, out? this is a big statue right there. Oh. Um, so you are currently dominated. Uh, 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 it is now your turn. Yeah, who am I going to cut? Sasha Everybody. It's going to send you up behind. Cass, go ahead. Let's cut the guest visitor, because really... I mean, really? <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> it comes in and heals the party and is closest to you and has no idea that you're We're currently the turned against man. the rest of your allies. Sure, let's Go ahead and right. make an attack on him. Oh, I'm yeah. attacking him? He's, no, attacking, he's attacking, attacking you. you. Bro. Suck. And I'm hasted. My boots are hasted. Yep. So here I go. Oh, that's good. Uh, that is a... Uh, Why? 23. 23 hits. <laughs> Should I do damage on all these? Yeah, okay. It's okay, I've got a, I'm a meat okay. shield right now. All right, so, but uh, there's no sneak attack, so not that bad, okay. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say this, make a perception check. Okay. I perceive I'm going to get my ass kicked. Ooh, good, 23. 23, you just catch out of the corner of your eye as Vax turns towards you, weapons drawn, and swoosh up to your side. You get the sensation that his mind is not his own since this has already happened once today. Doing so, you turn to face him, negating the sneak attack. You're aware of it, so you don't do the sneak attack again. Great, good. I mean, I'm Glad you kill this guy. That. I love you, Rakshasa. Rakshasa. <laughs> okay, so that first one hit for eight. Uh, the second one is a natural 20. <laughs> okay. You're already cut up. You don't even Killing know. Kill the not so, so, so first one was eight damage. First one was eight damage. So you took eight damage okay. from the first strike. I'm sorry, it's okay. not sneak attack, so it's not the worst it can be. <laughs> it's not the worst it can be. Thanks. 
I'm not uh, stabbing you the worst dice times two plus okay. one. So <laughs> that was my life stealing dagger, and on a natural twenty, uh, I get the ten hit points that I cut from him, mm -hmm. uh, or whatever I get, I guess. No, I get it, so I get one. Do it without the smile. Do it without the little smile. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't cut anything Just, just do it without the tiny little smile. That was seven. man, dude, it just cool. doubled to 14. Well, 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 the dice is doubled, and then you add the modifier. Oh, okay, all right, oh. Oh, so the, oh, that's much less than, that is uh, an eight. And then I get 10 hit points. Or what, how does it work? It says I get 10 hit points, so I just get 10, or do I get up to what I cut? You deal points? damage, and then you heal yourself 10 hit points. Okay. Like draining the life of whatever damage Okay, well, the good news is I'm back up to full. That's, That's fine. Oh, that is good news. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you took another eight damage. I took another eight, sweet. Because that third dagger, man, uh, this there's... one is poisonous. Awesome. And that hits. Oh! Uh... <laughs> Take Will's dice. <laughs> Yeah, you should roll. roll Again, you can't, you can't get the smile off your face. It's etched in there permanently. You suck. Look at that. That is an eight. Uh, plus, um, poison is a DC of 15, so roll a. Uh, Take another eight damage. Take another eight damage. Another eight damage, right. and then make a constitution saving throw. Roll a 15 or higher, please, Will. Nope. That's okay. You guys are immune to poison thanks to the meal oh, that you yes, ate. Yeah! Yes! Uh, yes! Nice. So, yes. as, so as he just eviscerates you with the daggers, most of the armor's absorbing a lot of the blows and you're kind of like feeling the impact and one of them catches you in the side and you feel the poison pulse in your system, but your physical body just shoves, it shuts it down and you feel yourself Damn good unaffected. lasagna. And I want to just, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to look at him and go, why are you smiling the whole time? He's putting on my face. <laughs> I got it. The whole time you're smiling. I'm so guilty. <laughs> Your turn, go ahead and make another wisdom saving throw with advantage. Yeah. Sure. With advantage. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can cut that cat. I can't even do the math. 19. <laughs> or five. So I'll take the 19 plus this 21. You resisted the effect, domination phase. <laughs> oh man, I feel so bad about that. You don't! I don't buy that face at all! I don't buy it at all! Cash, it's your turn. Oh, wow. My turn, huh? Oh, channel it, channel it to where it matters. <laughs> yeah, but see, I'm the guest where it matters is just getting some revenge. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he is still. No, I'm good. No. I'm out. You're out. I'm yeah. out. Okay, you, good. you see him as he, as he finishes attacking, goes. <clears throat> oh, Sorry. Did you, you save from it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Good. Dope. Um, I I have to uh, heal myself at some, at somehow. My I turn. have to, or I'm just not gonna be around for a while. Do it. Do it. We um, need our healer. Yeah, I gotta stay here. Hmm? I don't have any. Healer dying would be like your okay. warrior never being able to hit anything. That would like, that <laughs> be absurd. crazy. Yeah. I know, and so it's crazy. I, I think I can do. It scales for players. <laughs> I have one more level five. Oh, I can do a level six heal if I wanted to, but I want to hold on to my level six. I think I'm gonna do my last level five mass cure wounds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. And that does everybody. Everybody yeah. within a certain. Everybody within a certain radius. Correct. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, I'm full right now. Six creatures in a third. Oh, you're full. That must be nice. thirty I'm foot full. radius sphere. So yeah, you yeah, can, thirty you can foot hit radius. Everyone. So each target regains hit points equal here to for the most part. Yeah, you can hit all of your allies there. And three d eight. Cool. Plus, uh, plus five, and then plus an additional seven. My spell so casting. Plus twelve. Three d eight plus twelve. Three d eight plus twelve. Okay, oh, boom, that's the same nice. thing as last time. So, uh, 14, 15, 16, uh, yeah, 17 plus 12. So, so 29. again, 29, yeah. So everyone heals 29 hit points. God. My pen. Did good. you steal my pen too? Oh, okay. That is Not the end you. of your fifth level yeah. spells. You are out of fifth level. <laughs> I am now out of fifth level spells. <laughs> Be good. Slash All right, uh, that ends Kesha's turn. Uh, the shield guardian is going to turn this way and move uh, and is going to just attempt to pummel on you as you're Let's do this. Officer Murphy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dead or alive, you're coming with me. That is a 25 to hit. Oh, it turns out that that hits me. <laughs> uh, the second one is a 13. That does not hit me. Okay. So the first one hits you for. Uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage right. as the fish just slams into you. Uh -huh. um, second one comes down and you manage to just 
knock it away with the edge of your axe and kind of bulldogging up in its face. Um, it also heals itself 10 hit points. As it begins to repair its form with each progressive round, it's like shh, the magic energy is stealing up the cracks and divots its armor's taking. Um, this leads to the end of its turn. Keyleth, you're up. All right. Um, okay, I'm still pretty close to the Rakshasa, right? Correct. All right, hitting it with my bite attack. <laughs> Chopper. Ooh, that's sick much balls. better. Chopper, sick balls. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's not what I heard. I heard <laughs> Chopper, sick kid. <laughs> <laughs> Made my night in many ways. <laughs> um, okay, twenty-one. That does hit. Bam! Uh, and however, that's... are your weapon? Are your natural weapons magical? Yes, they are because Circle of the Moon, baby. That's right. So yes. So bam, you, bam, you, bam. You, you bypass his non-magical oh, physical kids. immunity. Yes, I oh, do. <laughs> Circle of the Moon. So that does one d ten. Tear off his six. amulet. <laughs> Piercing damage. Where's my d tens? See, here we go. This will work. Eat Come on. the amulet, uh, eat the mm, amulet. Uh, that's um, eight damage of piercing damage for my bite. Arr! Okay. And then I do my claws, which are happened twice. Grr. <laughs> so was the damage on that? Damage total on that was? That was Same eight damage. Eight damage, all right. Beep, a piercing points. damage. And then, ooh, yeah, that's yeah. good too. Yeah. Um, so that's. And what's your alignment? What's my alignment? Yeah, I'm sort of curious. I'm good. good. Um, yeah. I'm Keyleth. I'm, just, I'm, I'm neutral good. Just checking. She's becoming the destroyer. <laughs> oh, all right, so, and the other two attacks are? Uh, 22 for the first one. It's... Uh, the, well, hang on, it says claw. Do I do two, do I have to get two claw attacks or just one? Did you say claw? Claw, my claws. Uh, what's it's the, attacking what's, in Germany. What's the for the multi-attack of the uh, attacker form? <laughs> it says... Oh, wait. Um, Sabertooth's dagger, right, is the form? Yeah. It, uh, I have so. a pounce, which is... I guess I don't have multi-attack, so I just have the bite attack? Or do I also Correct. get a claw attack as well? As my two actions? You do not have multi-attack with that creature, so there you No, go. it's just one is piercing and one is slashing, right? Yes. So I'll do my bite. You, know, right, so you bite into it, as you do, it hits you with its elbow, it's like it's backwards turned hands trying to grasp out and push you off, and you do. As you, as it tears you away, you, can, you got a chunk of its meat, and for some reason, you did a lot more damage than you thought you would. You hit some sort of vulnerable point in its body, or there's something about the attack method that it did not like, and it's like, <laughs> and just hisses at you with this guttural tiger growl. Tiger and I go, right back to him. There you yeah, go. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> you stay where you put, or are you move away? I'm, I'm, I'm up in his ass. All right, so you're staying right oh. there. That's, a, that's an action Again, to do that. Again, another website for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> another one of those. There's a little in there. Right. Tiberius, you're up. Uh, uh, tipsy, 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 tipsy. Uh, movie to insight range, uh, like insight, like, of? Of, of both of them. Both of them would yes, be? as a good late. sorcerer would be positioned. Where's the point? There. Good. Uh, I'll cast silence <laughs> right in the center of the center of the room. Okay. Yep. All right. Not in a cash shop. Okay. So uh, there is a an orb of silence here that kind of fills the vicinity. Mm-hmm. All righty. And I sit in uh, Indian style position. Okay. It's called the Chris Cross. I'm also awesome. I'll cast stuff, <laughs> butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I dissipate my greater invis- inv- invisibility spell. <laughs> so you can see me. All right, your your visibility comes back. The real things. All righty, that ends Tiberius' turn. Torbeard, you're up. Uh, I am attacking the uh, guardian again. All righty. Uh, and I will be doing another one of my uh, commander's strikes. Go for it. Uh, Twenty-one. That hits. Nice. Okay. So I will direct you again to uh, hit the dude. Um, Wait. Ah, no. Son of a cock. I rolled a 12 on my dice. So 18. 18 points of damage. 18 points of damage. Nice. Nothing right. for me. Okay. You and, and you get. I have a four. Hang on. It's like you... 13 total. 
Just do the damage roll, not the attack. Damn it! Yeah. I keep looking at it and expecting it to change. That's okay. <laughs> well, your first attack hit. You have two more. Yeah. All right. My second attack against the guardian. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, it does not hit, unfortunately. It just poof, it beats away your your edge of your blade with one of its giant fists. Okay. And my last attack. Twenty-three. Twenty-three hits. Nice. As it pulls back from knocking away your blade, you use the inertia to spin it around and come down on top with your axe. Nice. Hey, I have a dumb question, and I'm sorry, but for, if, if, this okay. is at your discretion. But can I use? I can add a d10 to my attack roll after I've made the attack roll if I uh, if I uh, what, I can I can I can you add, add it a before d10. I tell you if you hit or miss. Oh, this so you can roll okay. and be like, uh, I don't know if that'll hit or not. I'm All right, okay, no, no, it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Um, so then I'm gonna hit uh, again. Okay. Um, uh, eleven. Eleven. Alrighty. So, knocked away and then come down a third hit, smack, cracking in the center of the breastplate. The breastplate actually separates slightly. You can see a little bit of the arcane energy holding it together underneath. It's starting to starting to start to knock some damage into you. You can see it's taking a little wear and tear. It's still pretty hefty, but you're starting to dig into this the shield guardian. Nice. That end your turn. Um. Can I use second wind? It says I can take it as a bonus action, but I don't know how bonus actions work. Uh, you just get one bonus action every turn if you have an ability to that uses one. Oh, great! So, use so your I, action get, attack. I get I get this I get uh, hit points equal to D10 plus my fighter level. Go for it. So eleven plus ten is twenty-one. There you go. Very nice. Back to max. It's your turn. Back to the top. That's the uh, that is Hotis's turn. Uh, Hotis is going to begin. Looking at itself, uh, it moves. It has an attack from you, Marisha. Um, that's twenty. So that does hit. Awesome. I'm gonna do my bite attack again. Alrighty. Oh wait, that's a d twenty. I may not roll something. Uh, eight damage. Piercing damage again. All right. You strike once again. This, it, as it runs by, you get a chunk out of it. It, it growls in anger and pain. You notice at the same time that you take, she takes the bat of it, the Guardian kind of shudders like it suddenly took an impact on its own. Um, as it charges away, though, it runs out of the field of silence. And... Uh, It is going to be casting a spell on itself. And immediately drifts up towards the ceiling, actually, would be about. Oh my god, this is a. Oh, 10 feet up. It is now currently flying in the room about, uh, about 10 feet up right He's now. It's flying gonna... now? Yep. I can do that too! That's gonna end its turn. Um, Vax, you're up. Uh, use bonus, uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to hide. Okay. Advantage because of the cloak, so it's, uh, 27. 27, okay. Okay. Uh, two daggers out of the dark. Woof, woof. Okay, that, yeah, I'll keep that. That is, uh, a, uh, 30. Uh, and remember, in order to probably hide, you have to go somewhere where you would remain out of the sight of the individual. Can I squat down behind Cash? Wait, wait whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you tell me. I, I mean, I don't know how bright or dark I'll say, is. I'll say hiding behind a regular prime member is a little hard to do. Can, I, you're where, you're can there. I run Naruto-style low knives behind me towards the statue and just crouch sure. at the base of it right there and then shoot up from there? Yeah. Um... Yeah, the, the, the Guardian, thanks to your stealth roll, the Guardian does not see you. Okay. Um, so does not get a, uh, a reaction. can't get a reaction now anyway, because it's slowed from you. Um, so yeah, you're able to scoot around the side there and then fling the daggers around the corner. The Roxasha apparently has not noticed you. Okay, well, so the first roll was a 30. That hits. Okay. And it does do sneak attack damage. Good job, Kara. I mean, nice. Fuck. <laughs> Thirty-eight for the one dagger. Yes. Thirty-eight damage. 
Okay. First off, when you throw the dagger and it strikes, it hits the side of the rib cage of the rock. Shasha is floating up and it's, it doubles over in severe pain. More than you expected it would be, it clutches and it tries to grab the dagger to pull it out before it vanishes from the wound, kind of leaving the blood pulling out of it. Um, it looks like it was hurt significantly by this attack, more so than you were expecting. However, at the same time, the shield guardian kind of doubles over for a second at the same time of the impact. Um, the link appears to be sharing the damage between the two of them. Piercing um, damage, Joe. When you hit either one, or just when you hit the rock shot? Just when you hit the rock shot. So we got to concentrate two. on that. Yep. Yeah, probably going to go astray here. That was uh, 14. Clink, clink, clink. 14? Nope. All right. Clink, clink, tink, 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 tink. So that, oh. that is Vax's turn. Uh, <laughs> Rock so you can see, is now like clutching its side now, and there's like blood beginning to pull around its robe, and it's like, <clears throat> it's looking around with nervous eyes. Um, that brings us to the end of Axe's turn. Cash, you're up. How close are? Who's who's over here? Over here? Yeah, no, 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 no. Near the shield, uh, the shield warrior. Who's over there? The uh, shield this guardian. is a Torbeer and Vax are both near it. Damn. Okay. Um, I'm going to move. A little bit, even though he's floating, I can still move uh, uh, closer to the Rakshasa, correct? You can, yes. Yeah, I want to move a little bit closer and then cast uh, Spiritual Weapon. Okay. Nice. All right. So you create spirit. You, you create a Spiritual Weapon of some kind. What weapon would you like to create? Uh, how about a giant mace? Okay, so as you clutch your, your, your Holy Symbol to yourself, now there's a sudden a, a pillar of, of bright, vibrant, healing light surrounded by that same halo of pitch black darkness, almost like this strange border around it. This this duality hits the ground, and as it vanishes, you can see now on the ground this shimmering, uh, almost staticky mace is left behind. It's kind of it's almost flickering in and out of existence that drifts off on its own and is now hovering in the air next to you. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you wish to send it up to... Uh... I do. I wish to send it towards the Rakshasa. Okay. And, and concentrate will... all fire on the Rakshasa. Okay. So it goes ahead and... What's the damage on the uh, magical weapon? Uh, let's see how many... Where is it? It's... Um, when I cast a spell, I can make a melee spell attack against a creature within five feet of the weapon. All right. So roll a d20 and add your spell attack bonus. That's all one was. Spell bro. attack bonus is... Yeah. Nice. 20. 20 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. It's 1d8 plus 5, which is your spell. D8. Oh. Go that blue. This is it, right? Yeah. Give him the Elkabong cash. Elkabong! 5 and 5, so 10. Okay, 10 points of damage. All right, so as it slams into the side, the rock such kind of like takes the brunt of it to its arm, and the shield guarding you know, shudders slightly in the distance. It says that now I, I can actually now, um, as a bonus action on my turn, I can move the weapon up to 20 feet and repeat the attack against the creature within five feet of it. So can I swing it around and attack him again from the back? You could use your bonus action to do that, yes. Oh, yeah. what? So it drifts behind and makes a second strike. Go ahead and roll a d20. Yeah. The, d oh, the yeah. 20 or the... d20 to try and hit. Yeah. And add your spell attack bonus. Yeah, it's plus eight. 10. 10? As it, this time the Rakshash is a little more wise up to your planet as it swings around, it actually uses its fly to dip down as it swings and then come back up around in its place, kind of gliding and staring at it with a snarl. Um, I believe that ends your turn. Yeah. Uh, that, okay, now the, the Shield Guardian turns this way. Damn it. And now it's taking notice of the, uh, the, the rogue that has run up and viscerated a portion of its master. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to pivot in place and bring both fists right down towards you. I'm going to uncannily dodge. Okay. Six What's that do again? Uh, that is, uh, once around, I can uh, have a half, the t half the damage. Okay. Half the damage. For, for one attack, right? Yeah, right. Uh, well, that one will be a uh, 25 to hit. Oh, yes. And that'll be a 14 to hit. Uh, no. Okay, it's so the one that hits you. 15 damage, bludgeoning damage, which is halved to uh, 8 damage. Okay. What's above us? Above you? Uh, it's about a 15 foot ceiling, 15, 20 foot ceiling. Okay. Um, 
any like uh, or... nothing particular. No, you just have the the wall sconces up there, and the ceiling's relatively. This room has been uh, repurposed from its original construction and hidden away, but it looks like it was mainly just initially some sort of a small uh, other storage or altar room based on how it was designed. So, <clears throat> all right, that ends uh, its turn. Keyleth, you're up. Okay, uh, since he's floating, I'm just gonna go gara and go for the the spiritual guardian. Okay. Ooh, the first one is a 21. That hits. Or sorry, 22. This is a pounce. Uh, can it be a pounce? You could. Was if that you, far enough if, away? If you move back and then pounce, you could. Then fuck yeah, it's a right. pounce. <laughs> <laughs> you have the movement to do so. So you, yeah. you back up. Yeah. Tiger clan, bitches. <laughs> Leap and pounce on the shield guardian. So does he succeed his strength saving throw? We'll find out. 14? Nope, not with a three. Then he is knocked prone. Slow and prone. Oh, nice. Well and then I make a, okay, so that's my first, and then I make a, a, bounce, a bite attack. Which is a 19. No, 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 19. Mm-hmm. A 19. And that, ooh, that's not good in terms of damage. Seven damage. Seven damage. Alrighty. Cool. So as you jump on it, you force it to the ground. Now you see the thing just topple towards you. You have to step back to avoid it, Torbir, as it crashes into the ground. And now the uh, Minxie, the, the white same tree tiger, is on top of it and starts biting and clawing at it, dealing a bunch of damage to the front of its armor. Um, very cool. It ends Keyleth's turn. Tiberius, you're up. Yep. Really good. Uh, <clears throat> Strangely enough, none of this makes any sound. <laughs> and it's just a <laughs> silent battle. It is the creepiest, quietest fight over here right now. Um, <clears throat> tap this slot out. And uh, I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to cast Obelisk of Stone. Rakshasa, <laughs> the bubble, <laughs> and smash the shit out of both of them, twenty feet high. Okay. Maximum height. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm just I'm looking up the spell real fast. So it's the uh, it's a. Dex save. Mm-hmm. It's a dex That's what save. We had to do. Well, it's a natural 20 for the Rock Sasha. And uh, that is a six for the Shield Guardian. So he's pinned to the ceiling, and they both take 21 damage. (laughs) (laughs) What was that weird James Gandolfini breathing next to me? It's just really, uh, really bizarre. Right clarifying there. this because the spell says this, and I want to say they make a deck saving throw or they're lifted by the pillar. So if they make a save, they are not touched by the pillar. Right. Shut up. Right. That means they don't take a pin by that. No, no, they don't take any damage. They make their save, they dodge out of the way. That's how the spell is designed. All right, I gotta look at that. All right, well. So, yeah, yeah, it's primarily intended to be a defensive spell. That can occasionally be used offensively if they fail. Well, that, the so the shield guardian takes the damage. He's got the robot. And he's pinned. And he's pinned correctly, yep. Nice move. Nice move. Mm-hmm. Put him up on up on here. He's up on a pedestal. Get him, Storm Aww. Chaser. There we go. <laughs> Alright, the rock slash starts out of the way, and there's now a giant pillar in the middle of the room. I look at him, I'm like. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Uh, that ends your turn, Tiberius. Mm-hmm. Torbir, you're up. Uh, am I? Can I hit the guardian? Uh, currently, it is pinned against the ceiling. Right. So you I can can't. I can't do anything. Can I just delay? Uh, you can if, if you want to. You can use your action to hold off until something triggers, which could be moving out of the pin, in which case you could then take your action on it. Uh, I'll do that because I can't. I mean, I I can't. I can't get the rachas. 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 Not from that rachas. distance. No. Yeah. Okay. okay, so you'll just wait for this thing to try and find its way out. All right, cool. Uh, so that brings us to the top of the Rock Shasta's turn. Uh, the Rock Shasta. Oh, but I had calling out and yelling at and taunting at the guy, and and and, and, but, and it's just this. Oh, because it was. <laughs> 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 um. Okay. I'll dissipate the spell so I can hear him. <laughs> <laughs> Were you trying to say something, Toby? And I will be naked on the riding through the desert. <laughs> 
The Rock Sasha finishes like scanning the room for a second and says, Well, this has been a lot of fun. I appreciate this little scuff. However, I have other business to attend to. I'm looking at the best of you, at least I know where to hit you all the hardest. I know you have a father you seek. I know you have family in Draconia. I know you have a sister that is not too far from here. And you, I know you have one you hold dear to your heart. I can now see your minds, see their faces, and I will see them soon. However, I must say adieu. And it begins to Tiberius. Cast. Fourth level counterspell. Tiberius! Okay, so you already used one fourth level counterspell from your ring earlier. Yeah, and I have uh, two stored in there. I have two Actually, fourth level counterspells in a ring that can carry one up to fourth levels of a spell. No, I have can carry five up to fourth level spells. It's my ring of source spell. You're going to carry up to five spells that can go up to fourth level. No, that's not how it works. You can carry up to four levels of spells. spells. I don't understand. You can do four level one spells, you can do one level four spell, you can do two level two spells. Yeah. That's not how it works. One four. You can do a level that's three spell. Worked. Yeah, that's how my, my ring works as well. It's a level five ring of storm. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. Um, it's all good. Uh, do you have, you have counter spell as a spell you know though, axes don't right? have these problems. Um, mm-hmm. No, yeah, still fourth level counter spell. Okay. Boom. Page good to seven, know. Fourth, okay, cool. Hey, that makes good. a difference. Uh, let me double check one thing real fast. This will make or break the circumstance, really. Actually, as a matter of fact, no. Sixth level counter spell. Six. Oh! You will go make nowhere. Sure he does not fucking leave. Yeah. Make sure he does not leave. All right. Uh, no. <laughs> we go to eleven. <laughs> All right, it is a seventh level spell. So, let's go ahead and roll. Come on, come on. Do I have advantage for anything? I don't think so. Okay, don't roll yet. Okay. <laughs> I will cut that one. Ah, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Fucking. <laughs> fucking. He's in charge, y'all. He's in Why charge. Not? I'm not gonna... Okay, so you roll a d20 and your spellcasting ability is five for this. Don't piss off Tetsuo, man. So you roll d20 out of five. Um, I will say you have advantage on this because you were expecting and waiting for this, so go ahead and make All your right, first come roll. On, come yeah, one, roll come one at a time. Come on. Okay. Okay. Plus, uh, okay. Ni- 19. 19? All right. For the first one. Come on, 20. Oh, no. take that uh, 19. 19. 19, all right. So to counter this spell as a level seven, you needed to roll 17 or higher. As you are oh as you are targeting God. the spell, not the Rakshasa itself, the spell it's collect as you can see, there's now it's it's forming it's to shimmer, and you see a small gate begin to open around its form. You, as a reaction, reach up and unleash your torrent of countering arcane energy. It hits this opening gate. The gate then fluctuates and shuts, at which point the Rakshasa goes. And for the first time, really, in this entire battle, looks genuinely scared. Yeah! Fuck, I'm kill it! Do you say anything about my sister? <laughs> no one threatens a goddamn Stormwind! What he said. Rakshasa <laughs> is now going to. You broke my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's going to fly. Uh, <laughs> it's actually, it's going to fly toward the door. Towards the door? Yeah. It's all moving it can get there, but it is heading towards the exit. Oh, he's fucking trying to leave! Yeah, yeah. All right. He suddenly turns pink and says, Exit stage right <laughs> oh, in! <he's> right. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just gliding towards the doorway over everybody. Uh, us out of here. <laughs> that brings us to Vax's turn. Come on, Vax! Uh, dagger, dagger, dagger! Let this bitch leave! <clears throat> uh, I am going to make a, How far is he from that statue? Uh, from the statue here? Yeah. Uh, at height, I'd say it's about 20, 30 feet. 30, uh, 30 feet, okay. Um, I'm going to uh, use, <laughs> he's not paying attention to me. Can I go use my bonus action to go stealth? Uh, you, he's not you're, you're, you're partially obscured by the statue, right. so you can do that. With advantage, come on, you fucking motherfucker. That is 28. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm throwing daggers at the back of his head. Throw daggers. <laughs> Uh, yes, that is a 27. Yeah! On my head right now. 
we call that sneak attack? Uh, he did not see you stealth, actually. Uh, yeah, he did not roll high enough perception, so you have sneak attack on him. Okay. Uh, I'm out of alcohol. It's the worst time to be out <laughs> Druid needs booze badly. 30. Damn it. 30 damage? 30 damage. Oh! Open doors. Nice. Yes, Dugger Dugger. How do you want to do this? <laughs> I see him flying away. I'm just crouched down. I flip it over so the blades in my hand. I don't go fast. I just take my time, pull back, throw it harder than I usually do. <laughs> Through its neck. <laughs> Out the, the front. The dagger <laughs> hits it in the back of the neck and the, and the spine. It, it doesn't quite cut through the spinal column. You see it comes out the back of the, the front of the throat. <laughs> the spell falters, <laughs> falls to the ground. <laughs> Taking a serious impact fall and is now like <clears throat> dragging itself towards the exit of the room as you start walking up to collect your blade. <clears throat> it brings up its hands and starts trying to cast the spell. <clears throat> and comes this big old pool of blood on the ground. Grab it by the ear and lift its head back. Talk about my sister again. <clears throat> With a spray of crimson across the ground, this horrible sucking sound, you pull back the head as the life force of the Rakshasa comes spraying across the stone floor as you release it and leave it to the ground with the last bit of life left in its body as it, as it slowly flees its form. You hear this chuckle. I'll find you. And then I boot it into the acid. No! no. Eat the eyes! Stop it! <laughs> Eat the eyes, damn it! The body tumbles <laughs> into the acid. No! No, 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 As you guys run from the No, 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 no! no. 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 thinking? Oh, <laughs> Don't push my buttons, man. <laughs> Is the Guardian also, uh, has the animation mm. gone out of the, the Guardian? The Shield Guardian was currently struggling, has, has just gone limp, pinned against the ceiling. Nice work. Okay, I go over to it and I use my book, bust out my book and I start harvesting all the parts we need. Okay. It had to be mint. <clears throat> Who's got the contract? What all do we need? Who has it? I don't have the contract. I never touched it. You had I need the, the eyes. I didn't have the contract. You had the contract. I did not, you were in charge. I was not in charge. Yeah, I was never in charge. Contract. I was sent here to be a babysitter. That's in charge, as far as I'm concerned. Does nobody have the contract? No. Is behind us? Oh, come on. Don't have the contract. Yes, I'm behind us. We signed it after. Oh. And it might have ended up in the storage. Oh, the actual been. physical. The actual physical the actual contract. Physical contract. Might have ended up in storage. Someone from production made us sign it. Here it is, clearly right here. <laughs> the fangs, the fang and the tongue. Ah, okay. yes! We found it! We found we it. have it! Sorry! It's been a real shame to get all this far. I got it, I got it. Yeah, sure. I got it. <laughs> cool. Okay, we got it. It's all good. Um, what do we need? We're fine here, everything's fine. Uh, uh -huh. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Okay, I have my book, which I think gives me advantage, I think is how it works. Mm -hmm. Gives you advantage on those, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, it gives me advantage. Okay, so so I have to do this individually for each one, correct? Right. All right, so let's do... Um, so control two at a time, just to make it more more expedient. Two at a time? Two twenty. Yeah. Okay, so for the first, for the eyes and the tongue. Ooh, I'll take that 18 and 20, natural 20. Well, it's with advantage, since the first roll's a 20. Uh-huh. So that's for the eyes? Yeah, it's for the eyes. Without a problem, pop both eyes out. Uh, tongue. I'll also take that natural 20. <laughs> there is a purpose you serve. And it's the balance on the sides of the room. I'll take that. I am good for something. And for the heart. Ooh, that's also good. That's uh, 16 total. A 16? Mm-hmm. All right, with some difficulty, you manage to eventually 
tear the heart out of the chest cavity. It's a very nasty process. And for most of you guys are kind of, well, not, not so much you guys have seen a lot of Crimson, but watching this, this little druid girl seemingly unfazed by the process of tearing into the chest of this Rakshasa is very uh, disconcerting. Um, I'm on Anoki. Here, hold this. And it is this kind of no. dark, dull, no. here, 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 it has this here, weird here. kind of uh, like overcooked put it in meat. The, put it in the bag of holding. Uh, right? it, it, it like freezes in the bag of holding? It's like okay. Freezer? okay. Just, the claws. No? Oh, I'll take that 19. So uh, 30. All right. Or you, sorry, sorry, 29. 29. You take each one of the, the hands of the Rakshasa that are, you know, the, the back turned, strange, uh, upside down humanoid hands and just cut them off the wrist very cleanly, and both are harvested without issue. And the canine teeth? Uh, I'll take that 15 for 25. 25 total? T total. You manage, you take the rest of the head, its mouth still, you can see its, it's uh, mouth still in this terrible grin, this this, this perpetually pulled smile we in its final need... moments. And, we... and you <laughs> manage to pull out uh, very cleanly both of the canines from the inside of the mouth. Tiberius, no. do you have any files left over? You mean like... Just yeah. empty files? Yes, of course. Can I try and harvest some of the blood as well to that's, keep for personal use? Yeah, that's exactly what oh. I was going to do. For the lot? I'm, oh. I'm, taking, I'm taking some of the blood, for sure. I'm feeling glad. Oh. Okay. Are uh, you I mean, squeamish? I'm a healer or a healer? It, it's, <laughs> it's a little difficult since a, a rather large portion of, of the, the, the Rochasa's blood is now currently spattered across the floor. Thanks to Vax, um, sure. you managed to harvest one vial. Got a little on my face and, and on this. One, one vial. <laughs> one vial. Okay. And I'm gonna take uh, my dagger out and I'm gonna shave a lot of his uh, the, the trimmings from his fur and his whiskers. Okay. I'm gonna take those. People are you sick. You currently have a vial of rock shot, so shave scum. I don't yeah. know. Shave scum. Seriously. Shaving. Yeah. Torbear, you want the taint? There's tons of magic in it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My dagger. <laughs> I take the jeweled dagger and I walk down to the corpse of the Rakshasa and I take the, the dagger and I drive the dagger through one of the eye sockets and I say, you will never harm my daughter. dagger is left there as a proclaimant, and all of you feel the weight behind that whispered statement and decide it might be best to leave that dagger where it sits. <clears throat> You've gathered your Let quarry. Let us conclude our business. All right. Very good. As you've completed the harvesting, you notice the contract, the sigils that currently lock it, flash and seem to vanish from the paper. Your contract completed. Um, for the sake of brevity, you all manage to make your way arduously and with much difficulty, not through the Amarantine Oubliette, because that'd be difficult, but retracing your steps back through a tunnel which has been sealed shut by iron pillars. We have to break through those first. <laughs> <laughs> fireball, fireball, fireball. Breaky, breaky, breaky. That's a breaky. terrible idea. Breaky, breaky, <laughs> explosions in small enclosed earth and tunnels is a That's really good idea. <laughs> Magical. Yeah. They completed the contract, but then all suffocated due to a sudden cave-in. It was so unfortunate, the second team. I had a, a bottle there. <laughs> You were just permanently breathing air. As your party. Bottle of air. That is the worst oh, fate ever for a piece. <laughs> Gather round, watch what I can do. <laughs> uh, it takes you a long time to retrace your steps and find your way through the entrapment, especially since as you remove the, the iron pillars, the boulder then begins to roll past. So you've kind of carved your way through. You make your way precariously back to uh, the... Uh, the Velvet Cabaret, back into the room where the Rakshasa once lived. Do you wish to walk into the center of the uh, the Velvet Cabaret, covered in various fluids? Fuck yes we yeah, do. Yeah, I think absolutely. All right, sure. yeah. you guys, poof, the door slams open and you all step into the center of the Velvet Cabaret. As you do, two of the guards turn and see you exit. Hey, hey, hey what, are you, what are you doing? And they kind of go for their blades in the side. Seriously? I just turn around and go like, you really don't want to do that, friend. Trust me, please. Make an intimidation. Intimidation. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, is that uh, 14? 14. 
Uh, <laughs> he rolled a three. <laughs> he looks to the other guy. As long as you're leaving. That's six foot because they're black because we're going to keep Draconian again. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor just keeps We're on our way. It's the sword, and they all kind of give a wide burst. You hear the music playing, and everyone's kind of laughing. As you guys enter the room, the music comes to a stop. As we, uh, right before we leave, I turn, and I just have a, like a piece of, of fur, a piece of pelt from the rock Sasha, and I throw it at the guard's feet, and I say, "Here, it's what's left of your boss." Steps back for a second. Some of the other. Uh, Patrons who are watching this kind of with some look scared, some look intrigued by this whole sudden arrival of ooh, strange warriors covered in various ichor. Uh, watching as you step out, swarm up and look at the face, and one of them goes, Whew, and they kill some sort of tiger. Well, that's kind of nice. It's like, <laughs> 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 so like, woman's watching, says, I bet they bought that down at the market. And, uh, <laughs> uh, the guard just kind of take it and lift it up with a blade and look uh, strangely, and you see coming out of the, the far corner, uh, the bashful owner of the establishment that you had previously knocked unconscious kind of looks out, not wanting to engage, just watching you as you leave with a look of fear on his face. You step out into the thoroughfare, close the door behind you, back into the Quad Roads district, making your way towards Slayer's Take Guild Hall. On the way out, I grab two glasses of uh, ale and I hand one to this guy and just walk and don't say shit. No one argues. Make your way back. Pobir is genuinely touched by this gesture. Mm-hmm. As you sit, make your way through the main thoroughfare, back to the center of the Quads Roads, so the Slayers take Guild Hall. You step inside, and there, across the way, in mid conversation with his wife, is Merton talking to the uh, hunt mister, the hunt master, uh, Vanessa. As you enter, they both turn with a look of excited surprise and. Well, I assume that this means the contract and will, I, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's done. Take a canvas bag and I plop it on the table full of the Rakshasa bits. <laughs> oh. He shows it to the, the Huntmaster and she kind of glances down with a smile. Very good. I'm glad that we gave you such a trusted member as your overseer. You did well, Torbjörn. Thank you for your efforts in keeping these fledglings alive. One more insult, madam, and you will find your hope establishment on fire. Tiberius. I'm not in the mood. It's not meant as no insult. I'm sorry, perhaps you do not understand that we uh, speak with terms of endearment. Oh, well, in that case, I take it as a compliment. Very well. So, looking at the contract, everything uh, hopefully is in order. She takes it from you. Looks into the contents of the bag. Very well. To be paid out in full and uh, scattered amongst your party as you see fit. And our counterparts, the rest of our party, have they returned? Have they checked in yet? Uh, not yet. They are still out at the moment. Uh, they've been gone for about as long as you have been. You return faster than they have. Let us hope that they are safe. But I have faith that uh, they seemed very intent on completing this without issue, so I am, uh, I would not be too worried. I will notify you upon their return, though. Please do. Uh, where are you staying? Uh, where are we staying? <laughs> I thought as members of the take, you got to stay here. You could, if you like, we have room, and technically, as it is contract, you are all officially members of the take, so you may stay here if you wish. But I need a pet, and no. I like to move motion towards the thing, because I'm, I'm sweepy. We'll wait here. <clears throat> Very well. We shall hold off the ceremony for when the rest of your team arrives. Um, if the rest of this team is half as good as these members, the take has grown much stronger this day. Why they are worthy. She crosses her arms, and her usual kind of jovial, passive attitude and grows a little more stern. She gives a nod of genuine respect towards Torbeer. And for the first time, really, even returning this, the first time she looks about the rest of you with a, a, a look, a slightly intense look of really understanding the essence of strength between and behind each of you. I believe you are correct. I think there will be great things ahead for us. Welcome to the Slayer's Take. She reaches down, brings up a small wooden chest, 
sets on the edge and opens it on the inside. You can see it is rather abundant with gold and platinum, of which the total comes to two plus. These are able to harvest all of that plus two 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 plus. Fifty one hundred gold pieces for this contract. That is one thousand and twenty gold each. One thousand twenty gold? Correct. You can split up my take amongst them. I take it my obligation has been fulfilled. It has. You know I have no desire to stay. If you insist, but you know that whenever you come back to our little humble abode, you always have a place to stay and work at your disposal, Brother Cash. Thank you. He turns and looks at the rest of his party. Well, it's certainly been interesting. It has been a pleasure and an honor, Cashel. You as well, Torbear. You are brave warriors, and would do well in the Draconian Nights. That's Thank you. From. Stormwind. Oh, you said my name right. And you, you might be the most annoying person I've ever met in my life. With that, he grabs her around the waist, pulls her in, and plants one right on her. <laughs> <laughs> Turns, winks, walks out of the room. <laughs> Warbeer sighs heavily and is annoyed. <laughs> Very well. Welcome to the Slayer's Take. And with that, we'll close this evening's session. What a button on the Well done, guys. There were some. There were a few seriously clutch moments in those encounters there. Um. We're one roll away from losing the contract. Congrats on that. <laughs> Damn, guys, well, well done. Please, one round of applause for our fantastic guests these past couple of weeks. <laughs> happy, to have, happy to have you in the player's seat. You've been an absolute pleasure, man. Uh, thanks very much. It's like I said last week. It's weird to. It, this is an odd. This is out of my comfort zone to be in this place. <laughs> <laughs> but it, uh, yeah, it's really fun. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for coming to be a part. Yeah, and I'm glad that you all got to see that the legends are true. It's <laughs> it is seriously mind boggling. It's so it's true. <laughs> Absolutely surreal. People and, always oh accuse God. me of taking it easy on my players. I really don't. <laughs> Dice aside. Oh my God. Dice aside. Oh Great character. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Your first kiss. You're so, you're so awesome. And Will Friedle, guys, who had, who had never played. Oh, yeah, I've never played. This is a ton of fun. Dude, so, so much fun. So much fun. So good. Totally gave Keyleth her first kiss. <laughs> and vanish. <laughs> and then vanish. <laughs> like a thief in the night. <laughs> Fucking like moments to kill this dream. Damn, guys. All right. So we have we have our, our donation list for the evening. Lots, lots of donations tonight. Uh, Thank you, guys. I really, oh, really. Oh, have to. oh and, and our boy. Yeah. 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 You two totally made out on like, graphic. You paper. did. Oh, oh god. Totally. Totally. I don't see Dude, I want to see that artwork. Well, will you be there tomorrow? Oh, it's good. I'm not gonna do that. No, yeah. I, I heard the sound of 300 pencils. Yeah. 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 I want to see that artwork. I have a cowboy who just rode into the sunset. You guys. Heck yeah. He just shipped all over. There and get in here. Cash money. I also know what you got to do to get invited back. Darren! <laughs> and also, guys, this is our friend, friend of the show, Darren, another really amazing voice actor who's a fan of the show. Um, for all you Warcraft players, you've, you've probably killed him as Blackhand in Warlords of Draenor. How dare you! <laughs> Amongst many other great characters. Uh, and I'm so glad he came to watch tonight. 
Uh, all right, a great donation night, guys. You guys, are once again, absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for helping. Yeah, total, this. total, close to twenty eight hundred. There were nice. There was, okay, yeah. for, for the record, there were a bunch of people who were donating for every time you crit failed, and they oh. said something. We got so many donations. They were <laughs> crying yeah. by the end. Eight, they were eight, broke eight, and crying. Yeah, wow. welcome. You tested fate. Eight two six LA is going to be loving them uh, in dice roll as well. I can say, Will, we were trying to make you a special emote uh, for the show tonight. Uh, yeah. Uh, to try to invigorate your spirits, but the chairman was like, "We already have one. We have the, the one, yeah. the number one on a die, of course. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah we're gonna course. get a new one in there. We're still gonna <laughs> yeah. get you one. Uh, okay, so we start right here. All right. So descend from grace. Donated twenty-five dollars. Thank you so much, descend from grace. Undim one donated thirty-one dollars and ten cents. Thank you so much, Undim. Uh, Norkilad, hello again. Donated fifty dollars. Thank you, that's incredible. Uh, Kalina Zixix -Zix donated $20, and it was great seeing you at MatsuriCon as well. Um, Wheelie Factoids returns with a $50 donation. Thank you so much, Wheelie. Really. Yeah. Uh, Gelatinous Dude with $20. Thank you, Gelatinous Dude. That's such a great uh, name. I know. <laughs> <laughs> a terrifying encounter to even envision. Um, all right, uh, Lexi76 donated $30. Thank you so much, Lexi, it's amazing. Uh, Kalina again donated $5. Uh, thank you so much, Kalina. Uh, Oh, uh, Caravel Design, thank you, donated $82.60. Caravel, thank you so much. Thank you. Good for me, buddy. Uh, Dragon Knight 20 donated $50. Thank you. Uh, Darker Galahad donated $21.90. Both of you guys, thank you so much. Uh, the Polish Mario donated $20. <laughs> thank you so much, Polish Mario. <laughs> Great name. <laughs> That's pretty Mario. fantastic. Talonistus uh, uh, ta ta donated $100. Thank Woo. you so much, wow, Talonistus. Nice. That's incredible. JD2319 donated $25. Thank you, JD. Good to see you again. Uh, Ellie Kim donated $10. Thank you. 404 Invalid File Name donated $250 tonight. Oh, Thank you so much. Wow. It's a shame internet broke on your name. Uh, Shadow Wolf 1 donated $50. Thank you, Shadow Wolf. Uh, Biofuel 77 donated $10. Thank you, Biofuel. Hypothetically speaking, donated ten dollars. Also, thank you. It's been a week. Oh, you're doing it! It's fine. With madness in mind, donated two hundred dollars. That's incredible. Thank you so much. This is Boner Town. Donated ten dollars. Yes. Oh, I love Boner Town. That's great. Boner Town's been a, a supporter for quite some time. Many of these guys. Awesome. I wrote, I wrote the Barefoot Guide to Boner Town. Damn, this is my spa. Name gets cut off. Name gets cut off. Damn, this is my spa. We love you. Lexi's. Uh, donated five dollars. Thank you. C Note eight eight seventy. Donated ten dollars. Thank you. C Note. Keel Sullivan donated thirty five dollars. Magnus Rogard donated twenty five dollars. Both you guys. Woo. Hearts. Uh, MSV5005 donated $20. Thank you so much. Dole's Paladin donated $5. Flux of Day donated $10. The Killer Penguin donated $25. You three, in my heart. Uh, uh, Brian can't log into Twitch donated $27. I'm just uh, fine, sorry, didn't work out for you there. Zern donated $50. That's amazing. Quarter Animal donated $400.01. Wow. What? what? Quarter Animal. Wow. Uh, uh, Illuminar Die donated twenty five dollars. Thank you so much. R.I.P. Carpet. Oh, I know. R.I.P. Carpet. Oh, oh, that, oh my God. Words. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, you can read. Okay, you have the carpet radio. You just have to re-enchant it. We can hear you guys. He does. He just keeps it the whole time next to me. He's like, can gonna re-enchant it. That's fine. I'm just gonna re-enchant it. We're gonna have to re-enchant it. That's a high level enchantment. That's yeah. a high level enchantment. We'll get to that. Bad, bad chili donated two hundred dollars. That's amazing. Bad chili. I would eat your bad chili for two hundred dollars. Bad, bad chili. Bad chili. <laughs> Oh. Oh. By the way, do not Google that. Uh, they, <laughs> when you say that, they're gonna Google it. I know, that's why I say yeah, it. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it'll link him up, but it probably will. Uh, uh, David, uh, Dave, DV, Davy, DV, Davy, DV. Davy thank DV. you. Uh, David V. Even did his name pronunciation right. Thank you this time. <laughs> right, twenty-five dollars. Thank you. Killer Penguin, another five dollars. Thank you. Uh, for for Tibby's counter spell. Uh, Uncle Ook donated thirty dollars. Thank you so much, Uncle Ook. Janine two three four three returns with an eighty two dollars and sixty cent donation. Thank you so much. That's amazing, Janine. Useless Rogue donated twenty nine dollars. What's up, Useless Rogue? Thank you so much. Donated one dollar for each critical, critical fail. fail from Will during his visit. That's a lot of money. Twenty nine. I mean, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. <laughs> I can't even. Anna Alina one one four one four one donated eighty two dollars and sixty cents. Thank you so much, Anna. That's incredible. Escher Bacon once again, delicious name. Twenty five dollars. Thank you, Escher. Always affable, uh, $29, following Useless Rogue's lead. Thank you so much. 
Srawsome donated twenty dollars, and Cosmic Candy donated thirty dollars. You both, much love. Uh, you guys all... mentioned once again, all these like partially all these donations go to A Two Six LA, which is an after school program which goes to help creative writing and literacy and all things that essentially you need to play Dungeons and Dragons, which is why we love them so much. But it's all volunteer based. There might be an A Two Six in your city. Go check it out. They're always looking for volunteers, and they tutor kids from K through twelfth grade, and they're they're awesome. Yeah. Cool. Creative right. writing skills, creative writing. tutoring, it's amazing. I think you can also buy books of the kids' creative books writing of, stories. Books of poetry, books, books of creative of writing, and they also, wow. they're always really well decorated and they sell all sorts of pieces of art and they're, it's a great place to bring a date. I've it's brought, a great I've, place to bring a date. Yeah, yeah. A there's, date. A, there's a different, because well. uh, they have storefronts to help uh, support the tutoring program on all of their, on, on each city, and each city has a different theme. So I know here in Los Angeles it's time travel. I think in Seattle or maybe it's Chicago is pirates. It's uh, like pirates. San Francisco is pirate theme. Oh, San Francisco. New York is superhero New supply York. store. Yeah. Okay, awesome. New York is a superhero yeah. supply store. So. That's really cool. Um, yes, yeah, so they're fun. Yeah. Portion goes to eight to six, eight to and, six. Then a portion and then a portion goes, goes to keeping, to keeping, the, show. keeping the show moving. Running, yeah. running yes. the light running. Guys, thank you all so much. Uh, oh, we have we have we have gifts oh and goodness, stuff. Gifts uh, and gifts. If there was anyone's name we didn't read out during uh, the list of donations, um, we apologize. Sometimes the software doesn't register everyone, but the uh, Excel sheet that I'm going to give to these guys has every single one yeah, with none we, missing. It's we just read sometimes it all, when we go through the pages, someone donates and it shifts everything off, and we miss one. Uh, tune in tomorrow for Janet Varney as our guest tomorrow on uh, our Hero Click show. Uh, she is awesome. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and then. Yep. Orion's uh, musical act is on tomorrow at 7 p.m. It's a It's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. Enjoy your gifts. Awesome. Let's do some Christmas, guys. Let's make this fast. I know you guys want to get home, and those who need to leave, you can totally, or you can stick around for the amazing presence and positive energy. Yes. Your call. I have to go home and feed my dogs. You should. That makes sense. My dogs expected me home an hour ago. That's okay. You might take your gifts, though. I'll take my gifts. Of course I'm going to take my gifts. I'm not going to leave my gifts here. Come on. Did you get a gift, too? I got a gift. Yes! It's so cool. Well, once again, thank you so much for being a part of this. Uh, this was rad. Thank you, Will. Yay! Yay! Next time I play, you better be right? here. Right? I mean, come on. Seriously. That's so late. We could have been players together. We could have. Yeah. We could have both been rolling one. I know. It would have been amazing. <laughs> we'll get Yuri in here, and we'll create a singularity. <laughs> and thank you, uh, Critters, for being so super unbelievably awesome to me. Like, what an incredible audience you guys have. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Will. Bye, Will. Bye, Will. Bye, Will. We love you. <laughs> You're amazing. Alrighty. And yeah, everybody go oh check out Tabletop and go check out Titan's it? Grave. How much of this tub is? Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. So we're um, getting to the point now, we're probably not be able to read letters on air, but we're definitely going to read them. Uh, to ourselves, and we have get the others, and we read them all. So uh, yeah, we've, yeah, we've decided we're gonna read all of our letters starting at our, our meetings that we have like bi-weekly. So we are all reading them, everybody, but yeah. we're not. And also, it's just because we don't know how. There's a lot of information in there that tends to be private, and we don't want to accidentally. Sometimes information gets lost, and we don't want to share something on air that might not be this shared. Rate, so we decided it'd be best. At oh. this rate, we're gonna be. Adding an extra hour and a half to the stream if we read it. <laughs> yes. You're insane! So, you guys are uh, insane. Wow. So we love you all. We, we I, I mean this in all honesty. We read them all. I'm keeping them all. We're scrapbooking them all. They're all incredible. Uh, it, thank you so much, guys. Sincerely. Yeah, they're all amazing. All right. So let's start with, with what we got over here, guys. Who's going first? This is from Christian Holds from Germany. He made me a trinket, trinket. It's oh, that's so cute. He wrote in his letter that you, if you choose so to do so, DM, you could maybe enchant it, and I could use it in the game if you felt like it, or wow. I could just when, wear it. For once beauty. you get to a realm in which magical enchantment is uh, at that's your disposal, awesome. that can definitely be done. <laughs> this way, you'll never lose your bear. This is gorgeous. Oh. Thank you so much. Wow. Did he make that? What did you say? What did you just oh. lose your bear rings? So you'd never lose your bear rings. Oh. Oh. Wow. I'm a guest. <laughs> <laughs> You're in Nepal, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that was awesome. And uh, for all you, for all you guys, all you Twitter folks that requested Acid Pit for Will Wheaton, yes, I do close to my heart these past few weeks. Don't you worry. Papa Mercy takes care. <laughs> all right. So what's up next? Uh, I got a lot of sugar. 
Yay, sugar! And the sack to keep it in or die. Oh, well. nice! Oh, yeah, nice so Rebecca yeah, yeah. Christian, yeah, she's not in Germany. She is in Ten Powell, Tennessee, and uh, it says rattle okay, so I wasn't sure I was supposed to shake it or if there was a poisonous snake inside. It was neither. Oh, I want to eat Rattling it. Okay. Fire. What? Oh Wait, what is it? God. What is it? What'd you get? What'd you get? Oh my ah! god! How did I use that indoors? This is so dangerous in the best way possible. Yeah. What this is, is one of the best gifts I've ever had in my whole entire life! Did someone get you a taser? As he tears it in half. Worse. Even worse and better. <laughs> oh no. Ask and ye shall receive. Tiberius Storm. Oh no, I know what it is. As a sorcerer, oh, no. this gift will help you harness oh, no. your innate it abilities. With a little focus, you will be able to conjure a fireball from the Aether to vanquish your adversaries. Oh, Someone no. gave you a wrist mounted flamethrower, didn't they? Yes. Yeah. God they fucking did. damn it! Oh I'm God. sure you are well aware Thank that you. spells with the fire can, uh, uh, can affect and can be unleashed with devastating result to friend and foe alike. Tragedy struck this in is downtown the worst Burbank this evening as the here comes the legendary digital office has caught fire practice, and burned to the ground. Practice the utmost caution when using this in the in the heat of combat amongst your fellow members of Vox Machina. That's not being used That's on That's not going to happen. Please. Oh no. Please give me the. Of taking special care not to burn Vax and trick it again. <clears throat> the rest on, of us are free game. On a, and this is amazing. It's like an amazing. Uh, yeah. On a side note, it was amazing I, before he crushed it. Sorry, uh, uh, I'm gonna still frame it too. Uh, I have it on good authority that this gift will likely exasperate and annoy any unicorn overlords you may encounter. This gift oh, is. I'm, I'm in the corner staring this, as we speak. This, <laughs> <laughs> okay, really? Freak this, it gift, out? this gift is not sharp, but is surely dangerous. I hope this gift serves to carry you through your adventures in the material plane as well as, as inspire you oh through God, your fight. I, yeah, like. I can think of all the people so it came, like the, I would be wary about it giving. It comes in a box that says just Pyro. Pyro. Orion's like in the top three. Oh and then it has this cool thing, and it's a little wrist guy that you get attached to this thing. And oh here's, God. this right. is your flash cotton yeah. ammunition yep. and some batteries to get you started. They give you flash paper. Yeah. That, is, that is so cool. You're gonna look so Jesus good Christ! Don't arm burn hair anything hair down. Well, I, I was gonna say I'm glad you're bald already. Oh, like, so I have. I, so this is here. If your flaming is, spear uses so any. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you point it away from me. Away from me. Okay, so guys, guys, this gift right here is what we refer to in literary terms as Chekhov's gun. Yes. Um, <laughs> no, no, we don't. No. <laughs> we're, we're not going to do it as that. <laughs> that was amazing. As someone <laughs> mailed you a And if it was gifted, doesn't mean you're ever going to see it on stream. That's <laughs> not what that means. Ed, Chuck, thank you so much. That's amazing. That's, that, that's who it says on here, uh, so, I'm, so I'm thanking. Oh, oh, my God, Ryan. Look forward to Orion hey. setting his PS4 on fire on his Periscope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, guys, hey, guys. I do, on Periscope. <laughs> I, I, do, I'm, I am on Twitch, so follow me on there, and I probably will use it on my stream. Indoors. Uh, at Ryan Acaba, because no, holy shit, this is awesome. During a drought. Oh, in please my apartment. Don't use it indoors. In, please don't in a use field it just outside of Palmdale, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go for it, Will. Uh, will go Joe, Joe Cavallaro uh, sent me to <laughs> Wilfredale, aka Mr. Squirrels, um, <laughs> dice from your loyal fans. Oh. So I officially have my own set. <gasps> oh, they're oh. lyric dice. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Oh, very yeah. cool. That is my very first set of dice ever. So very first set of dice. Awesome. That's exciting. Aww. Thank you. That's, That's really amazing. cool. There you are, cool man. Are cool looking. That is really cool. Man, you guys have great fans. They're they're yes, we do. Insanely great fans. I mean, really, look at that. This whole community is. Nice. I'm just the worst idea. Did you have your little dice bag? bag? I saw you came prepared with your dice bag. My girlfriend gave it to me. Her fiance gave it to me. It has her initials on them. Oh, what's the name? Yeah, two more tens. That's true. S and M. That's her initials. I mean, no disrespect. Yo, no disrespect taken. That's so great. That was totally cool. Hey man, arson is grounds for dismissal from the group. I'm just saying. Ah yeah. If fire goes off, what are you talking about? Actually, burn us. I'm not gonna be happy. I will say. I will say. Play with it when you get home. Oh yes. I will. We're in California because we're. Yeah, we're in a huge trout. We're in a huge trout. Please don't no. set any forest on fire. No. In fact, I would say just tonight. like in your shower. Yeah. With it on. Yeah, seriously. Like, yes. I just have a feeling there's an embarrassing press conference. Not in your on future. a hike. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but I should make it seriously. Yeah. Oh man. What did you get, Marisha? Okay, love the show. All of you are great, but this gift is for Marisha specifically, a minxie. <gasps> 
form for the next time you have to get all cuddly. Crit love. And this is from Captain Obvious. Captain Obvious. Oh. Captain Obvious. Jesus. Got me. Obvious. Ooh, set up plaza bro. Oh, thank it's you. Good. It's a hat of some kind. It's something fluffy. Hang on. <laughs> I got a... Rip it hard. Back uh, elbowed in the face. This makes me do ribbon hard. Ribbon hard. Yes. Ooh. Oh, oh. Yes. Wow. Now we're gonna match, Nora. Oh. Where did Marisha go? <laughs> I'm Minxie. Somebody get the Rakshasa's eyes. <laughs> That's amazing. Man, you should do that with that. <laughs> Thank That's you for bucking the trend and not installing <laughs> actual sharp razors in the in the hands. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Nice Thank you, Captain pace. Obvious. Deadly so weapons. Cool. That's incredible. That's great. I've got a oh, functioning bow. You've got a flame shooter. Nice. Yeah, yeah, your fans are just arming you. I just need a you real tiger. Yeah, you have tigers. Knives, yeah, the yeah. D and D apocalypse wow. is coming, yeah. and we're prepared. <laughs> There's only one way to survive. Right. <laughs> Larp is coming. Minxie, what? Minxie hats. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to time. We'll be the least Minxie threatening sword. post apocalyptic yeah, we'll street we'll gang ever. Anymore? Yes, alright, so got we got uh, Gut and Blant salt candy. What is that? It's salt, salt candy. candy. And it looks Sighted foreign. Oh, open that up. It looks oh, it looks like. Uh, uh, that looks Dutch. Run? Is it? Ingredients are. Soccer gluten strap. Yeah, it's Dutch. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. I will spend all night pronouncing this. Sugar I love gluten. this shit. I get, I get. I mean, uh. Those are the, the names of our NPCs for the next two yeah, months. Yeah, no. I'm not. <laughs> oh, is that, is that going to break, yeah. man? Oh, I'm, I'm Hello, here. my name is Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my boat. I, I know that's really terrible Swedish. I'm sorry. Um, that's amazing. Who's thank that you. Um, in my uh, I don't know. It was in the bag. Oh, Whoever wow. sent this, thank you. Uh, Ma Ma Matthew, my uh, there's an, a, P a PS. Uh, there's a uh, for Percy. Um, oh God. Uh, Oh, no. uh, P.S. It says, say press the digitation three times fast. Press the digitation, press the digitation, press the digitation. Uh, and then P.P.S. Please inform Percy that I have an interpretation of bad news and development as well. <gasps> oh. We're going to all die. <laughs> I'm We're so excited. <laughs> We're going to die. I'm so excited. Oh, God. And you realize at this rate, I'm going to have to actually start like creating actual monsters to fight you guys in real life. <laughs> like, 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 there's no other recourse. Once you're actually fully life. armed, I am a biochemist from Sweden. I have been working on something very cool for you. Exactly. It's in the incubation process. I sent oh. you a white dragon. <laughs> you will lie. The only way. This actually all becomes Resident Evil. That's awesome. All right. Uh, oh, God. All right. So, um, uh, oh, Lisa from Sweden. I apologize. Sorry, oh. sweetie. That's awkward. Made this amazing. So, how do you want to do this? Yes! Oh, oh that's so cool. Awesome. I'm gonna put that up on the set somewhere. Yeah, that's awesome. Put that up. Oh, it's candy. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, thank man. you so much. Oh, it's Swedish. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was Swedish. Thank Swedish. you so much. I thought it was Dutch. It's Swedish. So, so I wasn't, I wasn't wrong, but I am sorry. <laughs> um, yes, and we're those asshole Americans. Yes. That's amazing. Thank you so that's much. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. So sweet. Um. <laughs> All right, le letters we got. Uh, we got an awesome letter from uh, Isabella, which uh, includes uh, all pony interpretations of the entire party. Yeah! Yes. Oh, which is awesome. Nice. Looks like we made it! <laughs> <laughs> With That's descriptions cute. of, I think it looks like each of your cutie marks. Oh, I can't wait. I want to see it. All right, so yeah, we're, we're going to be doing right we're gonna do a little show and tell oh, after the show. Oh, is right? magic. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Isabella. That's amazing. This is so unreal for someone who has sat at home and watched every episode of this show to now be here and going, I'm feeling all the fan love and stuff. I'm overwhelmed. Isn't it awesome? Oh. It's infectious. All right. So hello, Matt and all the Critical Role team. I am a big fan of your show and wanted to help you to welcome your new guest properly. Please use this gift to remember Aofel and give Will flashback terrors. Oh, and oh, oh Will. Will had, to, Will had to bolt, but we're going to go ahead and we're gonna send. Does someone want to take, take a video of this? So we can we can text it to him. Who's got the? I got it. Liam's got it. Got it. All right. You got fine. this. That way we can go ahead and send this to him immediately. Just send, send it to him immediately. <laughs> so are you recording? Yeah. So Will, a, a, a fan, uh, was a big fan of the show, wanted to uh, give this as a as a welcome to you uh, to remember AFL and give you flashback terrors. Uh, Vengeance says a wind chime. An Asian wind chime, <laughs> Zhao Min Gong Yi. So, it's lost on me. 
<coughs> I'm sure this strikes deep to your core, and you are currently shaking as you receive this video. Ooh, and it is metal, and it is waiting for you here at the Geek and Sundry office, Will. <laughs> yeah, Death, I Death will. by acid. Awesome. By nice. Gong, gong, you're gong. That is awesome. We're going to go ahead and deliver that. A -B. Three chimes. Three chimes. <laughs> yeah. All right. We got. got have to be wind chimes. Oh. Smile. Oh. It's already too late. Oh. Thank you so much. When Will rolls, it's already too late. Yeah. And there's a one on the die. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to wear this as a threat now in future games. Thank you so much, that's amazing. I'm not quite sure where that's from. Um, another package here. If anyone wants to help me with any of these, maybe? Yeah, it takes a lot. This is... I like watching you do this, I totally get the idea. Or Vox Machina. Roll well, from uh, Borg Hilder. Oh, that's a really sweet piece. Oh, oh that's, that's awesome. awesome. I'll have to put that on the set, too. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you so much. Like Borg Hildor at, at Bogafo. Thank you so much. Thank that's you. awesome. That's awesome. It's, like, it's, it's, it's something pretty to look at once you get knocked prone by something yeah. awful. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice perspective. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I'm going to die down here. We have many, many great letters we're going to read after the stream. We have from Megan Levon. Thank you so much, oh, Megan. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hi, Megan. We have Carrie Sarah send us a letter. Thank you, Carrie. Um, uh, John El Elcors, John Elcors, I think it is. We got your letter too. We're gonna go ahead and read that afterward. We have Nicholas Joyce sent a letter as well. Thank you, Nicholas, from uh, Phantom PO Box four three one from San Antonio, Texas. Though, thank you so much. We're gonna read your letter. Uh, also, unmarked Vox Machina letter. Oh. Uh, we will also read this afterward. We have AJ Pfeiffer also sent this really pretty critical wolf. That looks awesome. We're going to read that after the stream. Um, oh. Oh, wow. It looks like our our prolific Vincent has given us the next chapter in the one dwarf. Too many friends who are writers and wish they were as prolific as you. I don't feel like I get enough done anymore. I know. So if you want to pass those out, really, really guilty. Thank you so much. It's amazing. What just happened? What is that? There was one that I. Didn't grab before. I, I know that you have enough, but I figured you would want one more. Oh, oh, got you. Oh we have one here from uh, Fine. from Danielle Sher oh. Danielle Sheremy. Thank you, Daniel. Dan you Daniel Sheremy sent. Oh yay! Oh look, he's got a little. All right. <laughs> oh, Will, we have another gift. Will, we can we have another gift for you when <laughs> when someone gets here? Someone, uh, Daniel sent to you this D20, saying that it is the luckiest D20 that they've ever had. Wow. They've ever gotten a random inspection, and uh, yeah. he says, normally I would, I would say use this only once a month, but in your case, once a week would be fair. So, you shall keep this for a week and no, we'll see No, no, I there. want it. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to it until you see Will again. I'll just use it, though. Then, until you see him next. <laughs> Come get yes. it. Some good this juju. bequeathed artifact, this enchanted, very lucky wait, wait, don't let him touch it. <laughs> He's been rolling fine tonight. That's true. Uh, all right, second, a 3d6 go to me because of a bet. They're challenge dice used to use to create encounters. Oh, that's really sweet. Oh, that's cool. Oh, God. That's pretty good. Yeah. Rolled an 18 for them to appear. They're supposed to fight a frost giant and some yetis, ended up facing 36 yetis and a giant. That's terrifying. So I'm going to hold on to these d6s. To tear you guys apart. In the no. Uh -huh. And the D12 was given to me by his friend Greg, who is sadly no longer with us. Aww. In high school, he wanted to try out D and D, and no one in his school gave him a shot. So I resorted to the internet and found a group, mostly his age and Greg, who was in his forties. Oh. Greg. Greg apparently sent him this D12 amongst others. He was a huge fan of Critical Role and suffered a heart attack Aww. recently. Aww. Aww. He was particularly a fan of Orion and his character Tiberius. Oh, you Orion should use it then, Orion. I think we'll put this. This will be a. This will be a Tiberius, D twenty. That's awesome. Yep. Give this one of three dice, his favorite, to Orion. So this is for you. Oh, is that a twelve? It's a D twelve. Oh, good catch. What did it oh, roll? Not. Thank you so much, Daniel. That's really. Eleven. Nice. Damn, right off the top. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you so much. And thank, thank you, awesome. you, Greg. I'm sorry for your loss. That's awesome. <clears throat> thank you, Greg. You guys, you guys are ridiculous. Uh, um, next up, 
Critical roll, open ASAP. 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 Big old letters, ASAP. Oh. Something alive. What is it? Oh. oh. Oh, those are mine. These are yours. Uh, so they sent, we shipped those to, um, I had those at Gen Con. Oh. So I'll just take those later. So that's a gift from Laura Bailey to, to Laura, Laura Bailey. Bailey. It's my headshots, <laughs> Her headshots and prints. Thank you so much, Laura. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate it. Your your contribution is <laughs> always incredible and appreciated. Hopefully one day we'll be on the show. Those on the yes, show. yes, yes. Oh my God. yes. Awkward yes. and awesome. <laughs> thank you, Darren. You can take a couple for yourself. Oh, thank you. I'll sign them for you. Laura Bailey. All right. That's amazing. Sure, I'll sign. I'll sign them all. Okay, I'll sign it. From K Strong. You know my strong penis. It's just gonna be scorch marks now. All right, from K Strong. Sends. I I just I can't think about it. Whoa. K Strong sends an awesome letter. Casting crew for this critical role. So I mix him a pink, a Minxie, Minxie's coloring, the school I teach as a tiger for a mascot, and I began calling before I realized my mistake. Wait, what? Well, first off, there is, I would like to encourage yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's really cool. We got posters, yo. <laughs> Remember critters, always vaccinate your enemies. Yeah. Oh. That's adorable. It's really chibi too. Reduce, reuse, and bury your shame. <laughs> Look at that little child killer. <laughs> DM, I would like to rage. Oh. That's adorable. Oh my god. Oh, thank you so much, Kay Strong. Oh, got some awesome That's TJ Strong? Kay Strong. Did you see him? Thanks, bud. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, all right, we're getting through these guys. We're getting through them. Oh so we can go home. It is almost midnight. I apologize. I'm as fast as I can. So glad I have nothing to do. This is. Oh. <laughs> I think we had a backlog of. Uh... What? Are they, are they, tell me they're more headshots. Because we just got. No, no, no. Because no. we just got five. Yes. Oh, off one dwarf too many. You just got five. This is six. Okay, good. Oh. Yeah, so once again, one dwarf too many. Oh. Uh, and six. Is it a All right, let's pass these around again. This is for me. It's like our story. It's this, it's this, it's this great uh, like fan fiction story. This this fans cool. been put together for a while, and he keeps keeps sending us the next updates for everyone. It's so That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm still in three. I'm not, oh god. You gotta catch up. Oh, oh, oh that's heavy. How do you write what so fast? What? All right. Oh. All right, we're getting down. We're getting out of here. This is from uh, Andrew Kinneman in Texas. Thank you, Andrew. See you for your plastic bag. That's great. Yeah. Awesome for safe packaging. What is. What the what? Oh, and a letter. Andrew. This is for the Lady Cake. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and read this letter after the stream. Uh, but this is here. Thank you. And this is for Burt Reynolds. Oh my god. Oh, fire. Not yet. Okay. A lot of headshots. <laughs> these are a bunch of paintings that they made. I think I remember seeing some of these posted on Twitter, oh, actually. What? This is my DM. Oh, yeah. I remember. Andrew. Awesome. Oh, so awesome. sweet. Um, what? We have a. This is insane. Oh, they got posted. Oh, I remember them all. They're great. Yeah. Cool. We have a Tiberius. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at him just setting fire to California. So adorable. <laughs> <laughs> it's a things to come. We have Scanlan. Oh. Look at little Scanlan. Awesome. So cute. Can't deal with it. <laughs> we have Keyleth. Oh. That's my bow. Mm -hmm. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was feeling good about Keelan, himself tonight! Cash boom! We got Percy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There. Very nice. Oh, it is Next to a Vex. Wow. A Vex Look coming up here. Yeah, yeah. This is, that's, by the way, the third time tonight oh. you called him that's Vex. So awesome. I was looking at your picture here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh my gosh! You straight up called him Vex during the game. I didn't mean that to. That's so much fun. Mm -hmm. I got a lot to concentrate on, girl. <laughs> Yay! 
to our illustrious Ashley. Oh, the smallest oh, one. Hi. Put our gnomes together. And the Snuggle Lord. Yeah. Oh, the Snuggle Lord. Zach, Zach. You got your own Snuggle Lord painting. You have a Snuggle Lord painting. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank you so much. That's Thank amazing. You. That's so sweet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Get to the bottom here. Get to the bottom. We got some awesome letters here that we show. Oh, y'all bitches. <laughs> That's leave this. Yeah. Awesome. That's um, and good. then uh, this is the last box. Wait, is that big box part of this too? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> what a face. It's Christmas. It's Slice Christmas. It open, this is Christmas and a half. Christmas. We're gonna have to. It's, it's eventually we're gonna have to make sure that our, we budget for a storage bin. Um, oh, there we go, there we go. I can see where it opens I'm now. Open I'm just get it open for you to if you want to start getting it open, I appreciate that because we need to go home. Yeah. Yeah. I have a 9 a.m. call tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Do it. You got this. There's totally scissors that Liam is using, but it's fine. It's okay. I would like to rage. <laughs> <laughs> the, scissors, wait, scissors, scissors. Well, it has a section that's supposed to be supposed to pull the tab to open, but that tab didn't work, and so it's FedEx is go. making me cry. Go, go, just yeah, yeah. yeah. That. that box is your bitch. <laughs> She's My still aggressive. Tonight. I'm telling you, <laughs> you're just happy you're not dead. I'm so happy I'm not dead. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to die with the rest of my party. Your face, we were watching, and your face is just like, I'm so stressed out. I was like drinking. I didn't even talk to you guys. Like, like it's an empty glass. Okay, yeah, this one. Like... Yeah, I was. <laughs> Let's see how long this so is. Just... I wish I wish I could read all these letters on the air, guys. I really do. I don't know what this time. is. <laughs> this one isn't too long. I'm hey everybody. In a box. This is Boner Town here. Yeah, Boner Town. <laughs> Please accept this gift from the bottom of my heart. I hope it will inspire all of your roles from this point onward. Thanks for providing such an entertaining show. I'll also need to thank the great and powerful Overlord and the Geek and Sundry crew Woo. and all my fellow critters for being such a great community. Sincerely, Dan, a.k.a. This is Boner Town. P.S. See you at Sack Anime, Travis, Laura, and Liam. Uh -huh. Boner Town's coming to see you guys at Sack Anime. What? what? Hey. P.P.P.S. Uh, there is no P.P.S. Just wanted to see you read this in the stream. <laughs> we'll play Boner Town. Uh, All right. What is it? What is it? I don't know. Bubble it's, wrap. it's bubble wrap. Yes. Oh, I'll take that. I know. I love bubble wrap. <laughs> we'll split it. Okay. We'll split it. <laughs> You're so pumped. <laughs> oh, fine. What is it? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I so wish Sam was here. So, to also add to this set, we now have a Beverly Hills 9021 image signed of Burt Reynolds. Oh! oh fuck up! Oh my god, Sam's gonna freak out! I, uh, there's a whole bunch of humorous history that you guys don't even know about. Oh, god. oh, oh my Reynolds god. That this is, is amazing. Oh my god. Majestic. Good job, Boner Town. I think you need to. That's incredible. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. You are ridiculous. You guys are ridiculous. You guys are ridiculous. Amazing. You guys are ridiculous. Okay. We have one more thing that they're apparently opening. This big box over there. Jeez. Liam fell into the box. He says he's in like phase four of opening it. It's power tools. Okay. What is what, it? What are we it's doing? Stall. Oh, stall. Uh, oh, rock shuffle. Hey, rock shuffle. Hey, man. Stall. Stall. Pull this trick. Oh, what hey. Is so, it, Liam? so Liam's opening that while I. You oh, I know. It. I'll, I'll, I'll get my flamethrower to get. No. Going. No. Oh, no. Oh, oh, that's okay. Oh, no. But <laughs> so, Critical Role likes to finish their streams with 15 minutes of me repacking boxes. Um, it's the yeah. Ready when you guys are. Pretty Liam. music to really pretty music. He okay, he's run. building, he's building. It's the blow up Matt Mercer right. doll we've been waiting right. for. <laughs> this is so oh my god! Oh no. my god! Did you just say that on the Matt Mercer doll! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh. You're gonna die! Oh. What? What? Move those letters, move those letters. What? Oh. Wow! Oh. 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 I didn't even. Oh. Oh. This is just covered in all this shit though. Killed this! We all killed it! Yes! But yeah, I think 
Oh god, I got this. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's amazing. Unbelievable. Holy shit! So guys, 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 roll initiative. No! Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! We can put the It's a treasure box! What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? I can't even. I love that we're blocking the entire view of it for the screen right now. Thank you, thank you, this is I can't even. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, yeah. Wait, so you can take pictures like, like in a second. It's uh, fine. By the way, it's fine. Oh my god. I, I did too. You guys are insane. Who is it from? So that happened. <laughs> Who's that from? Who's that from? The, yeah. His name yeah. is on the box. Lift the box up. It's What's on, on the, the box? No, no, there's box. on the there's a flap on the other side of it. Lift it over to you. The other the other side. The other flap. All the of other course, it's on the other side. <laughs> Give me oh my gosh. thing. That oh, yeah, Lift that over. Flip that over. And it's okay. On the, Almost. Almost there. It's from Jeff Bishop. Unless it unless Jeff Bishop from oh, Dreamway Trading shipped it. Oh. Which is possible. So oh. also thank you, Jeff, for shipping it. Because that's amazing. Right. And Thanks your job sure. is shipping it straight. You sent that tweet us uh, so we know. But if it is, Jeff, thank you. And if it's not, whoever did send this. Who is it? Arislin. Thank you, Arislin. Thank you for clarifying. What the shit? Wow. Thank you for feeding them every week and for keeping the studio running. That too. Oh my yeah. God, thank you so much, Arislin. That is amazing. gone. Oh, I can't even take it all in. It's, it's just amazing. kind of too much. It's like, fuck. Look and Arislin gives us food every week. Look at it. Yeah. Look at it. <laughs> it's one of our favorites. I feel like it Compared is. To the mini oh, God, sure this was size like appropriate. That, that's beyond yeah. ancient yeah. white dragon. That's like. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this, is, this is how I envision yeah. Bahamut. Oh, yeah. I know they have the miniature of Bahamut out there, but this is the size I envision. Like, in his plane. That's how. Yeah, that's like way better than the one you were wanting. This might. Sleep with me tonight. I might just curl up around it like this is my like dragon horde. Yeah. Around yeah. your treasure. Yeah, around my dragon. It's very meta. Uh, especially given the week I had. Um, yeah, you know. But yeah, oh man. This is ridiculous, guys. Thank we you have, so much. Thank you very much. We have a dragon. We yeah. also have amazing fans. We do have amazing oh fans. That's At the beyond. Best. And I have fire. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We're gonna hold on to him like this. I love affection. And let him look at the box. All right, guys, once again, <laughs> thank you so much. Getting close to midnight. Thank you for your patience and hanging with us along for the stream. Um, we'll return next week as the, the groups get to reconvene, reunite, and... Yay! Enjoy that it's aspect. It's brother and sister Vax, I can't wait to see you. Oh. Get it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You guys are incredible. Yes, and thanks so much to to Wilford L. Oh yeah. Yes. 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 And Mary Elizabeth. And Mary Elizabeth. And Mary Elizabeth. for watching and being amazing fans. I did nothing. <laughs> We're here for more support. His support yes. is I love awesome. the show. There you go. It's guys, amazing. Thank you, again. you guys are great. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. We'll see you next week. And uh, is, it thir is it Thursday yet? Is it Thursday yet? Hashtag. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>